we on the tag team. These fools they fell asleep and woke up from a grand dream. dream. From the west, with them usual suspects. Grew up with combats, gang bangers and roughnecks. Second hustle, making that money like daily the subject. In the back of the homies, we were strapped up, ready to bust text. And what's next? Became a warden of the state. They used to lock us up in cages, running from places we used to cock. And if it ain't about them dollar signs, not all my mind will conversate. Don't in Montana, the world is mine, I used to contemplate. Catch me in the S550, chasing this paper, got no time for Since I entered number one, I used to claim it and I dominate. In a city full of drama, gotta dodge the snakes. Lost souls, dodging them demons, I never lost the faith. Usual suspects, player this the West, the vest won't work, cause we aiming at your head. Our residents, we represent the West Side. Usual suspects, so what's next? Just let's ride. Usual suspects, player this the West, the vest won't work, cause we aiming at your head. Mr. Criminal, you know, be on the tag team. These fools and fellas, you yeah. can walk up uh. on a bad dream. My agenda, no surrender. Never. Used to bust start of a Nissan Integra. My pistol used to look like a hockey stick. From the land where Mexicans like to politic. It's obvious that we very uncontainable. Yes, my city Inglewood unfadable. From the cradle to the grave, we give it all. The power that we have through every street brawl. Shot calling, player, I'm a born leader. With my blue flag, Chuck Taylor's and wife Peter. My side bitch is my girl's best friend. I swear, this criminal life I'm living on the edge. Suspects, player this the West, the vest won't work, cause we aiming at your head. Our residents, we represent the West side. Usual suspects, so what's next? Just let's ride. Usual suspects, player this the West, the vest won't work, cause we aiming at your head. Mr. Criminal, you know, be on the tag team. These fools that fell asleep and woke up from a bad dream. Man, everybody wants to be a gangster till it's time to do some gangster shit. It's critical! It's not the fear coming out your pores when a real gangster comes through the door. All that hard talk, homie, I don't believe it one bit. See me get scared when it was time to hit a lick. Your old homies out here got you on the shine. Asked about you, they replied, he ain't no homie of mine. You're the type to get treated like a bitch. Pistol whip it took for your shit. Got you jumping shit. Before you speak, I see right through the week. Ready for war as they retreat. Where they go? How you talk, how you move, boy, doesn't add up. Doesn't add Act up. up, get your body wrapped up, all in plastic. <laughs> Real killers moving silent, some sicker than the virus. Trapping how we live in, but boy, you're nothing like us. Big tinted young dopey about to clear them all out. Bunch of phonies did nothing when they all got called out. Put a strap in his hands, watch how we shake. Give me a pistol when I'll show you, homie, that we're not Give the same. Taking pictures with your tool, only doing it for them views. In a wheelchair and you still can't walk a mile. In my shoes, Never. applying pressure on these cowards as the weak get devoured. Position of power hits you harder, like when they play hit the towers. When it's time to take care of biz, you know I handled it. Our territory expanded it when they called I answered it. Quiet down, no need for talking loud. That exposure is the reason why you're about to drown. So I suggest you evaluate and start making some changes or come in contact with familiar faces. It smells of fear coming out your pores when a real gangster comes through the door. All that hard talk, homie, I don't believe. One bit, seen you get scared when it was time to hit a lick. Your old homies out here got you on the shine. Asked about you, they replied, he ain't no homie of mine. You're the type to get treated like a bitch. Pistol whip it took for your shit. Got you jumping shit. I ain't a puppet, another rapper mascot. Same them shit, just so my records sell a lot. Never. Matter of fact, better watch what I say, cause the feds got another Rico indictment on the way. I'm behind the scenes, nobody gotta know. Our suit of business. Been four hoes, but when I talk about it, I really be about it. Shout out to every G that was with me in LA County when I was right there fighting back to back cases. Program time, stay on your toes for the mother races. Check my resume, that's the shit I'm on. Ain't all over social media, bumping my gun. I ain't on TikTok doing a trendy dance. Don't check it with me, cause I ain't gonna give you no pass. Everybody always wanna talk gangster shit, but freeze up when it's time to really handle biz. They fighting over a bitch. I don't care about her. She for the streets, you and your feelings like a coward. Stop pushing up your gun when you ride in the walls. You ain't a gangster. Relax, you trying too hard. It's not the fear coming out your pores when a real gangster comes through the door. All that hard talk, homie, I don't believe it one bit. Seen you get scared when it was time to hit a lick. Your old homies out here 
that you on the shine Asked about you, they replied, he ain't no homie of mine You're the type to get treated like a bitch Pistol whip and took for your shit Got you jumping shit yeah. Everybody think they gangsta till it's war time Clash Show want to give a shout out to all our sponsors. This month, our sponsors are as follows. Little Rascals Jumpers in Riverside, California. Tap in with Little Rascals when you have your next birthday party, quinceañera, graduation party. They got the dopest setups, the dopest rentals that you could get for your backyard. Jumpers, tables, the whole nine. Tell them Mr. Criminal sent you for that discount. Then next, we got my homie JB underscore fitness. Getting everybody right. It's summertime. Get your mind right. Follow the page for a little bit of that motivation. Tell them Mr. Criminal sent you. Then we got the homie punching back. You know the logo and the slogan, punching back. Attorney Rosenberg, my homie, defending L.A. and Southern California. Attorney Rosenberg, tapping with him. Uh, solid sponsor, keeping everybody defended out here. All the criminals. You know how we do it. Criminal cases getting defended. There we got Rap Kings. Tell them I sent you Rap Kings. If you want your businesses rap, your vehicles rap, any raps that they do, you know the kings of the raps do it. Rap Kings, that's the logo right there. Trade Craft Farms. Shout out to Trade Craft Farms, keeping the Crime Family podcast lit. We in here smoking 24-7, 365. I just had our guests lit off that Trade Craft. So keep on tapping in. Keep supporting. Give them a follow. Give all of our sponsors a follow. Much love to everybody out there. And let's keep on doing it. Much love from the Crime Family Network and Bonnie and Clyde. Let's go. And this is Jimbo's foot. This, this is Fire Lou. This is Goldie. What's up, Mr. Criminal? It's your homeboy, Steven Lou. And it's your homeboy, Ricardo, giving a shout out. Yo, what's cracking? It's me, Alvino. This is Veronica. It's my Nico from Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Calling in from the San Fernando Valley. Calling from Montebello. Already on Wicked Boulevard every weekend. Out from Denver, Colorado. And we back, baby. Los Angeles. Supporting the Crime Family Entertainment. Mr. Criminal on air live. The most active. The most talked about. 
the most controversial podcast on the West Coast. Mr. Criminal on air live, and we back tonight. It's Friday night, and we are officially live. And tonight, we're going to hurt some feelings. Tonight, we're going to ruffle some feathers. Tonight, we might get a little controversial. But I got my homeboy in the building, and we go way back. I'm talking way back. And we got one of my original homies from my original beginning of my career. The homie, OG, Bozo is in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's cracking, mm. pedal? Chilling like a motherfucker. Miss you, fool. Likewise, fool. And it's way overdue, huh? Yes, sir. Every time I talk to my boy, he's always looked out for me and gave a lot of good advice, a lot of uh, schooling, a lot of love since I was a... Uh, in the game, because I was younger than all, all my homies in the game. I was a youngster, and the homies were coming in and out of prison, and you know, we were doing our thing and, and giving opportunity to real ones. And they would look out, and I would look out musically, they would look out in other ways, and now we're here, man. 23 years of a uh, long friendship, and uh, we're gonna honor the homie Stans, rest in peace tonight. We're gonna go down memory, memory lane, we're gonna talk about the history of Bozo. We're going to talk about the infamous albums that he dropped when he was uh, first coming in the game. But tonight, we got to address some, some situations. We got some news on the board. And as I'm sparking up and getting everybody ready for this interview, we're going to have the Hood TMZ update you guys. What's Tell them what's up, up homeboy? Like Critical in the building. What's up, homeboy? What up, Crimes? What up, Bozo? Cr Critical what Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, um... <laughs> So something big happened today. Uh, a grand jury has indicted Keefe D um, on charges. He's they painted him as the ringmaster in the murder of Tupac Shakur. Mm. Yeah, as a retaliation on his nephew. Did they paint it or did he paint it for the yeah. last 20 years on Vat <laughs> no, Black yeah, TV? Yeah. That, you know what? He, he said um, the authorities were saying that he, he has been putting himself at the, the scene of the crime for the last couple years already. Um, saying that he was in the front seat of the Cadillac that you know the white Cadillac that pulled up against um, with Tupac, Man, so that's uh, I don't know how to <laughs> say it, dog. I, I mean, gotta stay quiet on that. I, I mean, that shit is amazing to me. Like that's a real OG crit. That's from his ego. Hood. That's ego for you. That's dog. a real OG crit from his hood, though. Anybody that knows them in Compton and the the South Side, they said that, that fool was like really with it back in the day. So. That's clout chasing at its finest, huh? What That's do you think? Crazy. That's just like the internet came and just fucked Tomboy's head up, huh? Just, oh, excuse my language. It just messed his head <laughs> up, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. So what do you think? Wait, he was trying to get a book deal, a movie deal out yeah, of that, and they ended exactly up getting a prison deal? What do you think? That's exactly what he was trying to do. Wow. Mm. Well, Because you got to understand, dog, that fool signed a deal before. And from what I understand, uh, the deal was like one of them deals where it's like, if you testify and cooperate, we won't charge you for none of the, you know what I'm trying to say so yeah. um I think that he took that shit to the heart like you know what I mean like it's time to tell all you know what I'm saying like he said I'm around with it, you know what I mean <coughs> that's crazy <coughs> excuse me <coughs> flyboy brought some weak ass weed right here <laughs> nah <laughs> that shit dry as a motherfucker. <laughs> something, uh, something wrong that's with that bugler he gave you right now I'm gonna have to go to my anger management <laughs> classes after this because this will brought me some whack ass weed. But nah, I think that's oh, crazy, man. homie. I think that uh, there's been enough Tupac movies out there and enough documentaries for this fool to keep on snitching on himself like that. That's just my opinion. Like, wow. I don't know. What do you think, Crip? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you'd keep talking about it. That's. And we just had G Malone over here the other night talking about his song Tupac Must Die. Have you heard that one? Yes, I heard it when it first dropped. What do you think about that? You're really smart with concepts and you're dope with them. What do you I think about that? I thought that um, I thought that his perspective on that song was dope. Yeah, like I it was too. a, it was a, it was a new, new um, way of seeing the whole situation. You know. Yeah. But it was a real way. He was being honest, and and you know a lot of people don't want to hear the truth sometimes, but he was being sincere. It has to be told. Yeah. You know what? I, I like the fact that he said I had to speak from a crib's point of view. Yeah. Because that's dope. Because uh, you know, a lot of people know that. Pac had, had a bigger voice, and they say that the, the history is written by the victors or the winners, right? Yes, sir. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think anybody won in that situation. So it's good that both sides got to tell their story. And I think that G Malone's tapped in enough to tell a real crip story, you know what I mean? And tell it from a good point of view. So. Well, he was around. Yeah, he was yeah. definitely around. He was around. He might have been in that car, too, right behind <laughs> him. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> he was like 14 years old back then, bro. <laughs> 
Nah, but we got Bozo in the building, and we're going to rewind all the way to the beginning, back in the days. I want to talk about the first time I remember meeting you, homie. Yes, and the sir. first time you walked in the studio, and I remember like yesterday, homie, it was the crime lab, smoked out, bong smoke everywhere, stomps in the studio, peace, those my homeboy long face, rest in peace, stomp, stomp a rest in peace. It was the little studio. The remember? little studio before I expanded it. <laughs> the little booth in and, the corner. And yeah. you pulled up. And I remember your confidence. That's yeah. the number one thing I remember before anything. Almost to the degree of cockiness. I remember thinking like a little bit like, fuck, homie, is this fool like, he knows like, he thinks he knows a little too much. But when I seen you spit on the mic, I understood it. I was like, yes, okay, this is, this is a breath of fresh air because not a lot of homies back then knew how to spit. And a lot of fools that came to the mic acting like they knew how to spit as you were, yeah. were a letdown. Yes. And one thing about the penis, <clears throat> homie, when you guys step to the mic, Stomper, yeah. you, any of the homies, you guys were tearing shit down. So let's talk about your entrance to the game. That was my entrance to you, but let's talk about your entrance to the game. When you became Bozo, when you became an uh, artist, an MC, because one thing I will highlight is more than just a Chicano rap artist, you're a hip hop artist. You yes, spit, sir. you Thank actually you. spit, you go deep, you dig deep. And uh, I wanna know where that shit came from, homie. Give us a little background. Um, The music comes from my father. My father um, used to sing rancheras when I was a kid. Um, it was pretty common on the weekend. Like today, Friday, it was I already knew I was gonna be up all night running around because mm -hmm. pops didn't give a fuck. He was mm -hmm. gonna be drinking. He was gonna be singing. Him and his boy. Him and his was compadre. he singing originals or like like Charlie? He was just he was singing what he, what he what he grew up on. You know got what I'm saying? Got it. Got it. But um, but seeing somebody that familiar to you, not have no no type of embarrassment or or, or how do you say it? Like like um, nothing holding him back. Just to just to see that freedom of expression from my father, like. If it, it, it falls in your lap pretty quick, you know, yeah. like 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 this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like this is how you express yourself, and, and there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, you know, just growing up as a hip hop fan like a motherfucker, um, me and Stomper were always into the music. You know, back in the days, you used to be able to go to um, Music Revolution or or Tower Records and steal the CDs, you know. Mm -hmm. So we had every fucking CD. So just having so much access to so much music at that point in my life and you like we just brought up Pac like the the place that Pac had in our life at that time you know like I think it was very um well obviously influential you know but we but we saw Pac as one of ours too you feel what I'm saying yeah so I think that um you know growing up at that time you gotta think like we had Pac we had West Side Connection like the West was strong you know and it was talking about our environment our lifestyle you know what I mean even though it wasn't a saying it at the time but um, it was talking about our lifestyle, so we related like a motherfucker, and we gravitated towards that fast, you know? Um, right away, I started doing time as an adult, and that's when I started rapping. You know, sitting in the cell, Stomper would be in the cell with me, 2400, you know? And he would be like, let's write music, let's write music. And I'd be like, write music? Like, how, how do you even do that shit? Like, how do you write music, you know? So we get out of jail, and um, Masterpiece booming. And he's like, Bozo, this is what we gotta do. We got to do independent music, independent music, the way he's doing it. I go back to jail, and that's when he meets you guys, you know? He meets you guys while I'm doing, like, a three-year bid. Three three years, four months. So I parole, and obviously the whole time I'm, I'm busted, I'm just, you know, freestyling, you know, writing raps. No format, no bar fucking, you know what I'm saying? Cadences, none of that shit, just writing music, dog. And when I met you, that's when I learned how to write music, um... We came to your pad and we did Newtown. Mm -hmm. That was the first song we ever did was Newtown. And um, shit, like I missed your guys' um, initial run, you know? So when I came home, back then, like we didn't have phones and you know what I mean, in the system. So it was like, there was no, the outside world dog was a whole different world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when I came home dog, it was fucking like mind blowing to see the homies fucking doing what they were doing. You know what I'm saying? It was like, cause back then you gotta understand like, yeah, we heard of, Kid Frost and all the people that came before us, right? But we were never around them, like, to meet them or... They weren't accessible. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. High Power was accessible. And not only that, but it was, like, singular. Like, they yeah. had one song. It wasn't a wave. Yeah. Like, we had a fucking Yeah, it wave. wasn't a movement. It yeah, wasn't it was a, movement. a straight, straight It wave. wasn't a movement. And then um, what blew my mind, dog, was when we went to... Um, the first show we went to go... Do, well, it probably wasn't your first time. It was probably, like, your third, I think. But it was the first time I went to the Pepsi Center with you guys. What's the Pepsi Center? Denver. Oh, shit. We used to rock that Yeah, shit fool. Out. And we did a show with Too Short, mm -hmm. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yes, sir. And I believe it was Chingy. 
It was Chingy it was and Chingy. I believe Nelly, no? I forgot, bro. Mm, yeah. It might have. I don't know. See, they don't realize the stages yeah, yeah, yeah. we were doing, the shit that we were doing. Back yeah, then. we were. Yeah, we were backstage, fucking with short and shit. This was <laughs> short was like fucking young short. You feel yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Like, yes, sir. so um, so that shit right there, dog. Like that shit right there. Like, it just, it, you know, it just woke me up, dog. Yeah. It was like this shit's real. You shit's know? real as fuck. Yeah, and then I used to watch you dig watching this guy on the computer. I, I was like, you understand? We weren't used to that shit. You know, like homies didn't sit. On a computer, knowing what to do and how to engineer music and shit, yeah. and, and this was before YouTube and shit. Yeah, hell yeah, this was before YouTube. So um, it was mind blowing, dog. But I gotta admit, dog, like I wasn't prepared, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't ready for those blessings, dog. Like I was, I was too consumed by the street shit, you know what I mean. But um, but music definitely did save my life. I got, you know, I'll, I'll say that openly. Like that should save me, dog, because um, without that, I'd be expressing myself another way. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we used to. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we for all sure. used to. Well, it, well, we believed back. To, look, dog. There's a difference between then and now. Like we didn't rap about shit that we didn't do. Like we just, it, it, you know, because we we all we were all from hoods. We all knew the business, so we knew who was who and who was what. And we all knew each other's homies. That's what I'm saying. So, so we could put so, each other's car yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we couldn't, um, you know, fake it like like how openly fools fake it now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't um, possible. It wasn't possible. Yeah, yeah, not only that, like. The hood um, validity was mandatory back then. Like it was mandatory. It was strong, dog. Um, because you, you guys know, would be fifteen deep, we'd be fifteen deep, they would be fifteen deep. Like we would all like okay, and then each of our homies would be like, okay, I was busting with you and yeah, Corcoran yeah, yeah. and it was Wasco. parties. It was Everybody, parties yeah, every time, every up. time, every time, straight up. But I do remember one thing too, though, dog. Like I still remember um, the resistance because our hoods were beefing with so many fools. So in LA, it was hard for us to like move the way we wanted to. Because it was still so much beef. If it wasn't your hood, it was my hood. Their hood, like we couldn't. You know what I mean? It was. It was. It was. We were fighting ten fights at one. You know it what I'm saying? Real, yeah. So um, yeah, I remember, dog. I remember, you know, like like having to be diligent the way we moved. You know what I mean? Um, I remember um knowing that you know what I'm saying like most likely shit's gonna crack because it always cracked at oh. every show. Somebody was getting packed out. Someone was getting shot at. Someone was getting stabbed. Um, but I remember enjoying the fuck out of it. It was fun as hell, right? You know? Yeah, well, yeah, fool. I, I mean, it's it's like we were like, doing what we were doing on the boulevard, but getting paid for it yeah, out we're of state. Yeah, we're kids. We're kids. Because we are doing the same yeah, shit on Whittier. Uh. We were doing the same shit on Hollywood back in the days. There was no difference. Like, I remember doing the same exact things, getting getting into it with the homies uh, back in the days. I don't want to say the hood. Everybody knows mm. on Hollywood mm. and Ivar whose hood mm -hmm. that is, right? And, like, getting into it, them fools in the ar arcade, and motherfuckers getting chased out the arcade and coming back. Like, just crazy shit. Like, well, that we was used to normal. Run, we used to run into the, the Old Town Gangsters on the boulevard. <laughs> exactly. And it would be fucking... Stomper told me Guerra, that you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's really, like, um, why the home... Like, my hood. Yeah. My homies were so excited when we linked up with I you I remember. Guys. You know what I'm saying? I, the passion. Yeah, yeah, because um, because the enemies were, were trying to shine, dog, in the hood. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and then, yeah, it was legitimate music, but we were gangbanging every which way possible that we could through music on the streets um it was crazy times dog it was crazy times but i'm definitely um appreciative of living through that shit you know what i'm saying because the bonds that i have with men now are different you know mm -hmm. like the bonds are solidified like um you know like i say we've been there done that so that's why we fuck with each other you feel what i'm saying it's the it's the familiarity in the in the in the stories like it's just different area codes you know what i mean but it's the same fucking movie for every single one of us you know what i'm saying but um but yeah, man, music was a beautiful thing, man. I, that's why I've always been um, thankful to you. Um, and even Capone, like, I guess, um, behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for the opportunities given because those opportunities, dog, they were like, dog, it's, uh, they were rare, homie. Like, just to, just the fact that God put us on that path, dog, was like, it was a blessing, homie. You know, like, the things I've seen, the people... I've met the experiences that I've had and shit. Like, even when I went to the joint, like, I had all the bitches that were taking care of me were bitches I met on the road. Like, the shit took care of me all the way to the last, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, the music, like, Capone was looking out too at the beginning, you know? Mm -hmm. Until the chess play started playing between him and Stomps and all that shit. Then, you know what I mean? It, it, it went, it went, it went bad. You feel what I'm saying? But even now, dog, looking back at all that shit, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? It was all good. Like, it was supposed to happen that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, time reveals all, dog. You know what I mean? Your purpose is in the place that you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You just got to make yourself available for that time. You know what I'm saying? You know, <clears throat> you said something that sometimes I reflect and I self-reflect. And I think when you say 
we might not have been ready for what we had coming because we were so one foot in, one foot out the streets, right? Yeah, for sure. It was so live, right? Sometimes I think back and I think, damn, we went through so much shit and still here. There's a lot of us that are still here. And I think it was. Well, I remember when I called you. Yeah. And they raided me. Mm -hmm. And you were like, for real, dog? And I was like, yes, it's all bad, fool. Mm -hmm. And then um, I met up with um, Capone mm -hmm. after that. I don't know if you were there. We were at Fingers. And we had a conversation. That's when Capone was like, look, fool. You gonna go on the run? Go to Denver. We got that shit sewed up. And I was like, say less. And that's where I went. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of that, before you cut me off, you rude motherfucker. <laughs> I was saying that we have a responsibility, homes. Huh? And I really do feel truly that we went through yeah. everything we went through. And it's not just to represent our hoods. Mm -hmm. That was part of the story. But there's still we might not even realize what the end goal is, what the end story is, what God or or our blessings were meant for. Because yeah, at it's that not time. Just, it's not just to to clown and, and, and promote more bloodshed and all that. That's cool. That was part of our story. But there has to be something more. And I, I still deal with that every day. Like, what's the responsibility? What, where am I supposed to take this? What am I supposed to do with my influence? I feel that you you also um, probably reflect on that at times too, do you? Or you're not don't I, I do. Yeah. Big right now because um, it's one of the things of like, um, like as a hustler, dog, you know to put yourself in opportunity's way, whether you know what the opportunity is or not. You understand what I'm saying? But the hustler instinct just, it, it, it's, it's, it's embedded in you. So you, you always wanna be available for it. But waking up that way is hard. You understand what I'm saying? Like waking up that way every day is hard, dog. Like it takes poise, you know what I'm saying? Like, like being clueless to what's next, you know what I'm saying? Because like what we're doing right here, is one of the things that creates opportunities that you don't even know, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. exists, you know what I'm saying? And and it'll, and it'll open doors to callings like you didn't even have, but other people will see them, you understand what I'm saying? Like other people will tell you like, whoa, I see something in you, we need to do this, you know what I mean? And it, and it, and it, but it puts you, you know the law of attraction, right? Like Absolutely. it puts you in a position to attract um, success, opportunities and blessings, you know what I'm saying? And that's the, that's what I learned from this shit more than anything. Because before I put myself in the, in, in the in the path of wrath, fool, like you know what I'm saying, uh, destruction. It wasn't. It's like I tell my homegirls, right? My homegirls will complain about dudes that are, don't got nothing going on, you know, that they meet. Oh, these fools are bums, you know. None of these fools got. It. And I'm like, so where are you looking for these fools at that you're talking about, you know? They're like, what you mean? I'm like, well, you're in the hood. What do you think you're gonna find in the hood? That, that's what you're gonna find, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want something different. You need to go somewhere where where in intellectual men are at, or, yeah. or men will respect. Like, does that fool you're dating have a mom and dad? No. All right, then then he might not have family values. You understand what I'm saying? Like, these are the things you gotta see. You know what I'm saying? So now, after being through so much shit with this music shit, more this time I got out because, you know, the last time I was out I was learning. You know what I mean? And observing and being guided. Well, this time it was about guiding myself. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what I did learn, dog. Like, like your availability is your best. Um, thing to bring to the table you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah homie for sure and and i remember before we go and fast forward to that i remember <clears throat> stomper bringing you up many times like it was a passion of his for us to introduce and, and meet you i remember he was just like on the tour bus like yeah homie my homie bozo fucking rap sick like when he comes out like you're gonna see like always telling me like when the homie gets home i'm gonna bring him to the studio and i'll never forget the day because he wasn't playing i remember he told me a couple days like my homie's almost home i'm gonna bring him through he's home i'm gonna bring him through boom there you were you know what yeah I'm i was out three days that's what three pulled days up. yeah to the path so what was what was your uh first impression of rapping on the mic the first time did you feel <laughs> ready did you feel <laughs> oh, like, how'd you feel I, I did feel ready most definitely because i'm one of the dudes that like you know like I, I accept the challenge you know what i'm saying yeah i saw that but um i definitely was um blown away you know like blown away to even hear yourself on a on a record you know what i'm saying like to have um your voice mixed master with the song and shit is like that shit i was a dick i was hooked i, I was a rap fool. that was it. top huh? yeah like it, it was over dog I, so that since that day I, I haven't stopped composing music in my head i remember you guys would like come every time and bang out the cds boom 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 new pick all yeah. over it balls all <laughs> stomps and boom yeah, yeah. and i'd be like yeah this is some real shit homie like you fools are really putting it down so uh let's let's take it back to the the first album the first recordings like what would you say 
was your main thing that you took away and learned from those times and being in the studio with us or, you know, because we're all learning, homie. Yeah. I was learning by making the beats, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I literally would be, you guys would be right there over my shoulder and I'm literally learning new shit daily. Mm -hmm. Like, I, we were all learning and growing. So what would you say you took the most important lessons from back then? That, um, I'm a cancer, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm emotional to an extent, you know what I'm saying? And I realized that, um, Embracing that would set me apart in music. Like my expression of emotion, my expression towards violence, like even my expression of the shit that I see around me, I knew that I had a different way of telling it than other people. You understand what I'm saying? And I knew that I had to embrace that, you know? I knew that I had to bring that to the table, like not, not necessarily like learn what everybody else is doing because that's their thing, you know what I'm saying? But to find a way to make it my own and create my own baby with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that, that was definitely... That was definitely eye-opening because all the prison shit and all the jail time and all the juvenile fucking books that I read kicked in. You know what I'm saying? The storytelling, the the way that authors word their words, the way that they paint pictures, like, it all played a role. You know what I'm saying? And, and all them times, all I was doing was reading books to stay busy, to kill time. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I learned that, yeah, that, that the way that you express things can change a lot. You know what I'm saying? You, you can either address things um, emotionally or you can just address things off of instinct, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I think that that's what I bring to the table, dog, is just a different perspective, you know? Um, I've been through so much shit, dog, like as a kid, even to now as an adult, dog, like I've had a lot of loss. <clears throat> so um, that sits deep inside of me, you know what I mean? And when I hit the booth, like that shit comes out, dog. That's, that's the best way for me to um, navigate through my emotions and, and my losses and my wins, you know what I'm saying? Because now we got a lot to brag about. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got a lot to brag about. We went to the joint. Gang of times, I never let it change us, you know? Like, we stood humble, we kept love in our heart, and we learned up there not only violence from the homies, but we learned loyalty, you know what I'm saying? And we learned we learned how to um, how to cultivate those bonds even further and stronger. Because when you don't have shit, dog, and all you have is each other, you fall in love with your homies, dog. You fall in love with the homies on the yard, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's your family, that's your brotherhood, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, hearing, hearing them... The expectations for you when you get out you know what i'm saying it's one of the things like when you're you're a rookie you know what i mean and your family's gassing you up like when you get to the league dog i can't wait yeah. you know it's the same shit on the yard like bozo how much time you got left ah another year or two dog when you get out it's gonna be you know like woo. so to meet those expectations is dope because to be honest with you the most love i get is still from the slums you know yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm playing my part most definitely you know and i see the um the evolution of this shit man like it's dope. Like I, I almost feel like I predicted this shit. Like five years ago, I was like, man, this is gonna, it's gonna take off, dog. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna take off little by little. Like um, the numbers are coming. I knew that once, once the 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 community saw our moves and how we were doing it, I knew that they would follow. I knew that they would follow suit. Because at this point, dog, it, it wasn't like when we were doing it. You know, at this point, the 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 tools are given to these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they need is there. Even just. Can you imagine getting a distribution deal back then? Shh, mother. Hey, let me bring up something real quick. Yeah. A lot of people don't know about. Right? Do you remember when it was you, Capone, and went up to the Interscope building? Hell yeah, I remember. Remember that meeting? Absolutely. Remember we're all waiting? Absolutely. <laughs> we all thought we were going to go to the fucking mansion. Remember we thought we were going to 50 Cent's Madison's party and shit? Nah, that was the that was a, That was the plan, were, right? Not for sure, uh -huh. 100%. Yeah. That was the, the first or second time, because we went up there like three times. I, I well, that's the time. time I remember the first time. Okay. When Mob Deep got signed, and we were there was like a party with Mob Deep mm -hmm. and DJ Drama mm -hmm. and all them, right? Yeah. So you were right there with yeah, us. Yeah, I was right there. Yeah, yeah. right there smoking with Mob Deep, yeah. chilling, talking shit. Yeah. Seeing fit these big ass heads. I right was like there. this, cause I, man, Mob Deep, like those are my guys. I remember that's the first man, thing like, I thought for when I saw Fifty. Oh, I was like, damn, homes, they make his head look smaller in the videos mm -hmm. or something, cause I about to got a big ass head. Yup. Yeah. Um, Yayo wasn't out yet. Yayo was still in jail. Nah, Yayo was in jail. Yayo was in jail. But I remember that shit, dog. Like, come on. It was lit, bro. No? Like, yeah, well, yeah, come on. Dog, like, their fools were on, on. Like, yeah. dog, nobody's had to run like that. You feel me? And so, um, being considered to be signed to GMS. Yeah, 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 most as definitely. As Latinos. Yeah. You know? That's an accomplishment. That was huh? huge, fool. Sitting in Peter Rosenberg, yeah. Eminem's office. And I couldn't believe it, dog. Money Real Excel, shit. the main owner and president of G Unit. Like, those are moments I'll never forget. Yeah. Like those are accomplishments that 
I wish we had social media back then. Yeah, most I definitely. wish I had selfie phones. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, but we didn't. We were just living it, mobbing it, doing our thing. You know, yeah. like those days were pretty dope ones. Hell yeah, that was big. That was big. That was a proud moment. Yeah, huge. I remember we were driving over there. I'm not sure if we were in the Hummer or in the 550. We're on my cream Escalade. Oh, we were in the yep. cream Escalade. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah, I remember when you man. I remember when you pot, bought that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, the same week we came to the pad and you had in the driveway. Yeah. Face, facing out, you used to reverse in. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 I remember. Memories, I remember right? um, when when um Lil Flip came through. Yeah. Remember he rolled that that fucking Titan five hundred dollar joint over the fuck Titan. it was. Yeah. It was like five Titan. Yeah. yeah. We're in the Philly backyard. Titan. You didn't have no grass yet. Remember? I didn't have no grass. <laughs> and we're all chilling, smoking by my sixty three. Yeah. yeah. I just got the crib yeah. right before right. I planted the grass. Right before my mm -hmm. homie Ruben, rest in peace, put the concrete down. Wow. Yeah, Lil Flip was on back then too. Lil Flip, Lil was, Flip on. was the biggest artist in the he world. He was on, dog. And he was we in the were backyard. Messing, people, we weren't messing with people that were like has huh? No, no, no. Like no. we were like, like, but on. this is the thing, homes. I don't think you realize it, homes. We were on. We were mm. the most lit Latinos from the West Coast, period. There I didn't a, realize it. Hey, there was nobody selling outselling us, homie. No, no, no. If it wasn't no, Dr. No, no, Dre no. or Snooper Game, homie, you weren't fucking with us. Yeah. We had the whole shit on lock. Yeah, well, I remember at the Pepsi Center when we would set up the booths, <laughs> ours was the only one fucking cracking. Hey, bro. I used to tell people that it was sad, homes. They used to put us in the corners at Lowrider after a while because say we're, they put us in the middle of a booth, right? Mm -hmm. And say that we're a booth right here and there's like 20 booths this way, 20 booths this way. Mm -hmm. Homie, those booths were shut down because we had lines that yeah, way I and remember. that way. And the people would be like, excuse me, could you get off my things? Yeah. People would just be standing yeah, there with yeah, posters yeah. waiting to meet us. Yeah. Like, we had shit. It was like a pandemonium. Yeah, it was dope. So, yeah. I, dope, I, dope I feel moments. like people would never understand or experience we used that. To hit the, we used to hit the states, different states, and need the weed plug. This this fool always had the weed plug. Everywhere I am we the weed plug. Everywhere we went. <laughs> everywhere we went, this fool. Like, that was the first thing we learned. Yep. Hey, pull over right here. This gas station. The homies going to meet me. Ooh, fool. Oh, they're gonna drop me some shit up. Boom, bam. We were on right there, lit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, hey, nothing like changed. That. Critical doesn't yeah, suck. It was like that. Yeah, it was like that. We still doing out. it like that from Missouri to Chicago. On that motherfucking, the motherfucking tour bus too. We we're all sleeping on the floor. The hey, you remember that shit? Yes, Dick. Hey, dog. What's the, the funny? Fuck? What's the funniest tour? Hey, fool. Being on the tour bus was like being in the fucking county jail, fool. A bunch of that shit homies. was fun, dog. Like the gang module on wheels. Well, I remember Can when you know? them, I remember when them. I remember one time these bitches followed us for like. A whole state. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> couldn't get rid hey, of them, fool. You could never. Hey, some fans, fools, for reals. Hey, let me tell you something critical. Sometimes we would leave the shows, and there'd be 30, 40 yeah. cars following us, homie. And they'll get a little freaky, because we couldn't shake feet people. And we'd park, tell people to leave, leave tripping on people. And then sometimes, like, uh, people like that. They mm -hmm. wouldn't stop following us. Something get a little fatal. They like, would give us the scary. house. I yeah, remember, oh, I remember yeah. people like, hey. The pad's there. We'll go stay out of room. You guys take, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, nah, we're going to go to a room. You know who just fuck? offered me like that? Remember Tommy from New Mexico? I do remember Tommy. That fool just hit me up and was like, hey, you guys are pulling up in a few weeks. Pull up. I got a car for you. I got an SUV for you. I got a, a couple of rooms right here at this new pad I just bought for you guys. That shit is real. That's, that shit dope. Is still, That's love. It's still like that. Shout out to Tommy in New Mexico. We're going to be um, seeing you soon. The whole crowd family. Temper needs the, the master bedroom. There was another <laughs> homie that used to always look out for us. Remember the homie that got the um the limo? On, uh, we're over there on Colorado cruising. On Colorado cruising. Raul, his name was Raul. What the? Gr was Ooh, you're not gonna believe this. What? Trip out on this, homie. This fucking shit blew my <laughs> mind. So trip out on this. I'm at my Denver show uh, yeah, yeah. two months ago. Talk to me. And I'm with my wifey, mm -hmm. and we're chilling. We just had a bomb ass dinner. I take her out for a nice like little dinner. We're kicking it, and we got a badass whip. I got a, a drop top Mustang. And I'm like, you know what? It's middle of the night. We go eat. And I'm like, I'm going to show her what we used to kick up dust at. She should see, because this is new to her. She's not mm -hmm. getting to see, like, all, now all the all the states we used to go to. Because mm -hmm. before she was raising kids. No, I remember, kids. I remember. You see, my son is big as hell. Yeah, he don't need her at home no more. Yeah. So now my wife could come and yeah. explain, explore with me. So I'm showing her, like, look, baby, we used to stay right here. Remember the ghetto-ass days in we used yeah, to take over? Yeah, I remember the ghetto-ass days well, in. Well, they rebuilt it. That I shit's gone. That shit. We used to have fools shooting that shit up, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, raids inside the hotel, the whole shit. But anyways... I'm showing her, this is the days in, this is this, this is this. You remember his old school apartments where he used to live? Yeah. So <laughs> we're going down federal. It was 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, Grumpy, right? Grumpy, Grumpy was Yeah, Grumpy. 2.30 in the morning, I go, yeah, my Good homeboy, dude, man. My homie Grumpy used to live in these apartments. And she's like, babe, is, it, is that him coming down the stairs oh, with some big-ass khakis and fucking bald head? I go, 
Let me see. I look for his fucking grumpy, dog. Damn. We manifested that shit. That's crazy. Law of attraction. So I made That's a U-turn. I pull up. He's like, what's up, Cardinal? Exactly. Yeah. Like, like nothing Back in the changed, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, fuck. Why'd you pull up on this fool for 20 years and you just act like that everything was the same? looked out. When I was in the joint, my boy, he looked Is out, that right? Bro. Hey, shout fuck, out to yeah. Grumpy, man. I've shout been in to touch with him Colorado, again. Man. He, came, he came by the show with his family, dog. His daughter's like taller than me now. I remember his, his little baby. Like, they're all big now. I remember his little girl. He just had his little girl when I was out on the run. Crazy, right? Him and Smiley. Remember Smiley? Smiley's villain's brother. Yeah, I used to get fucked up, man. The Rascals, right? Yeah. used to be Fighting food at the bar every fucking time. West side. That shit's crazy, yeah. dog. Love, I like dog. it. That's that's family tree right there. Yeah. Hey, what, a lot of people don't know that you were out there uh, fucking around with my homie Villain from my neighborhood. Hell yeah, I used to stay with Villain. You used to stay with Villain. So I was with Villain. Pico Nuevo and I remember and I was on the run, Lake man. And fucking um, Villain, bring, like unexpectedly, dog. I'm on the run. I'm down. It, it's hard, dog. When you're in those situations, you know, like you're facing life. You know, shootings, robberies, and shit. You know, they're on your ass. And um. Shit, he brings me a birthday cake, fool. Man, shout and out then, to my boy villain. And that then, fool um, got a heart. Yeah, yeah, him. And then um, and then Smiley used to have a rack full of all the throwback, like Michelin Ness, all the oh, sick yeah, ones. Oh yeah, yeah, with, right? the, with the matching yeah, hat. Yeah, with every the matching time. hat, fool. So this fool comes, he's all fucked up, and and he grabs a '76 er jersey, and he gives it to him. You know, I see a '76, right? The throwback, mm. and he goes, turn it around, and I turn it around, fool, and it was Bryant, like Kobe's dad. Oh shit. Yeah, you know. And he was like, what you know about this shit? And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> I, don't I didn't even know they Kobe's shit, dad. Man. Yeah. And he was like, my boy, this is just for you, dog. I remember, though, dog. I remember. Seven sticks all, seven sticks all sick, fool. Yeah, I remember running around over there, man. There was another instance. Of, oh, fuck, man. I just had it in my head right now. I was trying to remember some shit. Um, damn. When we used to do the, the, the content on the road, before these motherfuckers were doing content, you know what I'm saying? Like, Talk about it. You bro. know what I'm saying? We used Tell to film em. everything, Tell dog. Em. Like, we had content for days, dog. Tell them. I remember um the home. What was homie from Cali Lifestyle? They used to come to the hood. Creeper S. Creeper S. S. A. Yeah. Oh, them right dog, put, we had. Look, the homie, real quick. Hold on. We had. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He throws wrong his fucking yeah. big ass bro. Yeah. Fool. Hey, fool. What the fuck? Hey, dog. We had good memories. But hey, we, made, we, made, active, we made street, we made street legends like famous back then. Oh, for sure. Because a lot of homies. All the homies. All the homies used to come out. They were real hood dudes. Like, they were never on camera. And all they were doing was filming what we were doing. Yeah, that's it. Just chilling, And man. people out of state were like, you chilling. guys are so crazy. Yeah. You guys are chilling, out of control. Dog. And we're like, what the fuck you mean, fool? We're just living, dog. Yeah. You know? But that shit was literally making us, like, hood famous all yeah. over the world. And, uh, you know, uh, Evil and Wicked? Remember them fools? Evil and Wicked? Yeah, the fools that were always in the DVD with them. All oh, turned yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, one of them passed away oh, recently. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to the homie Wicked, man. But, yeah, uh... Good times. Them fools used to party and turn up like crazy. Yeah. Remember bottles like crazy? Always fighting with Capone and then friends again like every week. That's what Capone used to drink. I'm like, yeah, fool, like, I, just, on, I just fucked that fool up, dog. See those stitches on him? I gave him to him last week. <laughs> like, damn, we're just kicking it, fool. What the fuck? Yeah, what the hell's fool. going on? Yeah, that shit was wild back that then. That shit was dope, dog. Crazy dope. ass good memories. And then uh, remember Cycle from, from, <laughs> from Oxnard? Yeah. That fool always had the little camera. Yeah. And then guess who else always had the camera? Critical, give me a type for this one. I have to introduce <laughs> it. So I had to come through with it. <laughs> the little silver back, one? Fool. That's the silver one, the gray come one? Come on, homie. I still had a... Come yeah, on, that's homie. Pretty, that shit. Look, he talked about it. He don't even know. Look, yeah. I had to surprise him. <laughs> remember this shit, That's bro? funny, yeah. So this... Damn. And watch this. I'm going to grab the first tape. <laughs> what about these I tapes remember, we used to make, We fool? used to put the night vision on that bitch. Come on, and, and, and record the homie smashing. Right? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you see the my shit. <laughs> you think it's a stomper. <laughs> yeah, I remember You're that. talking stomper. That was, that <laughs> stomper was out of control, huh? My homie, my homie Stomper fool used to fucking... He was out of control. Meet all the drug dealers. At He'd the be parks, like, hey, huh? fool, I, uh, I smashed one of my enemies' hands last week. You want to see it on camera? I'm like, fuck no, fool. This fool's doing the move. Yeah, man. He's always doing that. You're thinking of stomp. Look at this. Hold on, here we go. Washington trip, 11 8 2004, homie. Look at that. Damn. Uh, high power 2004 says on that motherfucker. Yeah, this is when I came home. So, guess what? I'm gonna put these shits out. I'm gonna do once a week now. I'm gonna drop all these That's tapes. sick, bro. I got a gang of tapes to watch. Show Damn this shit. memories, man. All these tapes right here, every That's single crazy. one of them is gonna get converted. This is hours and hours and hours yeah, and hours. Yeah, footage on that. A man. bomb shit, fool. Hey, yeah. One more time. What are you saying? Membership. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to put it in the membership section. And this is it. Look, fool. Remember this one? 2005. The Crime Lab. 2005 LA Crime Family Footage. This shit 
You're all over that right there. Yeah. Yo. When did you come around us the first time? Four or oh four. Right, you're all, you're all over yeah. that shit. You're all over yeah, that shit right now. Let me see. I'm gonna put that tape in while we're talking. I want to see what I find. Probably Stomper going crazy. Someone going crazy. <laughs> I used to catch fools uh, getting down, fucking fighting, <laughs> checking each other, telling the homies film this while I check somebody. Record wow. the show. They, they don't even have the same bottles no more that we used to drink back then. Remember the gold schlager? We thought we were balling because it had gold oh flakes in it. Oh my god. <laughs> That shit's like the worst hangover. We thought we were balling, dog. Hey, Cause that shit had gold flakes in it. You remember? Or not? That shit was the worst hangover. We're balling ever, out that shit. Yeah, that shit was ugly, fool. So, fast forward, homie. Moving forward, you get you get busted, obviously in Colorado. Yeah. Speak about your experience busted that time. How did it feel being busted, knowing that you had a career on the line, knowing that you had homies out there? I know that was hard, homies, cause it was hard for us. Like, damn, homie, the homies gone. You know? I remember Stomper was making free bozo album, free bozo T-shirts. Um, the label was was pumping you up and promoting you. Like I just remember all that shit. So, how was it like being inside it and knowing that that was out there? So it would it, like it's one of the things, dog. Where like I didn't really know what was going on. You feel what I'm saying? Because of where I was at, you know. Um, yeah, because you know back. Fuck, dog. I was doing like back then, dog. They had just opened up Twin Towers. Okay. So we were at we were at war with the deputies. So we were slammed down, like put away, dog. You know what I'm saying? But. What I was getting was random visits from chicks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that the homies would send, you know? That's crazy. Groupies and shit. All the yeah, way yeah. from over there? Yeah, all the way over there. So then um, I was over there like four months, dog. And I couldn't do time there, dog. Like I ended up going to the hole right away. Um, the structure just a whole lot different. Yeah. But to say the least, though, it was heartbreaking, you know? Like I literally... um, Shit, we had just done that show with um, Crazy Joe. Remember Crazy Joe? When he was pointing <laughs> at his socks. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that, that crazy. That motherfucker, shit. dog. That motherfucker, crazy, that motherfucker must have wore every piece of jewelry they clucked to his ass. Hey, fool, that fool was, that 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 fool was getting like, his money, huh? That motherfucker had like four rings on a pinky and shit. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. Like, that fool yeah, like, hey, homie, when you come to my city, I got I the got green you. Cadillac for you. Yeah, that fool was crazy. But, nah, but yeah, dog, it, it was disappointing, dog, you know? And, yeah. and for the most <laughs> part, for the most part, I gave I'm gonna up go to hell for making fun of that fool. Nah, he's a good dude, right? Yeah, I know, that's fucking, the boy. That's the homie. But yeah, dog, it was hard, fool. It, it was definitely hard. Like, and then I see, man, you're crazy. You know what I got snuck in was your um, was your um. I can't read it. Only the strong survive DVD. Mm. Remember you put a, a DVD out with that one? I remember you sending me a picture in a letter, or I don't remember how I received it, fool. But I seen your cell, and I seen. Everything I seen you had a blue panel right there on top of your TV. Yeah. You got a see-through TV, and you were showing me like you had a PlayStation, and mm -hmm. I, I remember you had the fucking thing. You know? And I was playing the motherfucking DVD, yeah. and I was like, "Fuck my life!" <laughs> this was out there fucking still going hard, dog. Like, right? damn, hell yeah! Look at these fools, darn. Old school. What's up, homie? Represent. Ah. Look at this. I don't know who this is. Show this shit. Some crazy motherfucker. Some crazy ass food outside. Back there. You can't see it. It's all good. Next time. Next time. I'm gonna upload all this shit. But yeah, we're rocky shows all over the world. Yeah. You see Dark. Yeah, I missed the Japan I see tour. Daffy right there, fool. Look at Daffy. Daffy was dark as fuck. I remember oh. when you went to Amsterdam, fool. Remember that? Yeah, fool. Yeah, that shit, when you we went, went. We went deep. I didn't make it. We went really twice. Busted, but that shit was hard. I was like, fuck. So this is this is us right here. Look at Daffy's dark ass right there. I remember the homie Daffy. Everybody Daffy's dope, Daffy. man. Yeah. Daffy's the boy, man. You were kicking it with Daffy. When yeah, you I was over there running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, tell us a crazy Daffy story, fool. I know you got one. Well, the thing is that he he couldn't believe he was around me. Is when that I, right? When I, when I, no, he was so he was so excited, dog. And um, I think it was that that dark blue that expedition. Fucking, there's Creeper right there, fool. Look at that crowd, huh? That was every single day, homie. Yeah, dog. Every we're single deep as fuck. day. Fool. We used to go to Lake Lake, deep as fuck, like a hundred deep in that motherfucker. Remember this show? Look. Oh, shit. Bozo's fucking uh, broke the whole step. Stomp, 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 look, at, look at those fans, fool. It was everywhere we used to go. What crazy. show was that, fool? I don't know. That it looks like Denver, wa no? It says Washington, my boy. Oh, Washington? Yeah. Arizona that's, was sick. That's villain, that's villain filming. I hear his voice. Yeah, man. That's a lot of good memories yeah, on this. Yeah. We're going to bring them out. And we're going to go down memory lane. So we're going to go once a week and we're going to do... Uh, Throwback classics or some shit. I'm gonna do something like that. I remember one time we got MC Magic all mad because we, we ate all his food in the, nah. <laughs> the Roxy. At the Roxy. I remember that. We're at the Roxy. I was drunk, high as fuck. Hey, he do, you, do you remember? Uh, Man, he was mad as a motherfucker. Hold on, real quick. We got a, a donation. Let me hit this. 
Oh. Shout out to Milton Northeast. Says Bozo's a real one. Saludos from Seeking New Money's team. Doughboy Tony. That's right. I heard of Doughboy Tony. Appreciate you, my dog. Then we got Heart Hit Heart Inc. <laughs> he said Cubo Crimes and Bozo are those tapes high eight. You know what? Some of them are high eight and some of them are DVs, mini DVs. I got both. So yeah, we're gonna come with it. But yeah, for what do you remember uh as far as uh Magic didn't like us, I remember that. Magic never liked us. <laughs> Couldn't stand our ass, fool. That one. I don't think a lot of rappers uh, like us. Well, I mean, would you is... would you blame them? We came in. Let me in tell you. Okay, I'm gonna say this real quick. Right. We came in and we pulled all these fools' whole cards. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm not saying Magic because he, right he didn't. He didn't. He didn't that hard. But a lot of these fools just that cocky and with their fucking chip on their shoulders and thinking they're all Hollywood. And we came in that motherfucker, took that shit over G style, kept that shit uh, yeah, thorough and authentic, sure. and they couldn't handle it. And we still were right there standing in these motherfuckers' faces, and they couldn't get rid of us. Look, tell and me they if would I'm lying. tell us, you guys could only come back here with five passes, and I don't know how me and Capone would get like 50 motherfuckers <laughs> back there. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why they hated us. I'm saying, though, look, tell me if I'm lying. What's up? We're doing a show. Then I was smoking weed when he didn't. In like the it. IE somewhere. I forgot where. It was so long ago. Okay. We're deep as fuck. Uh huh. The headliner's Little Rob. Come on, here we go. Little Rob's scary ass wouldn't come out the fucking trailer the whole show. He, that was. Come on. You remember that? I don't remember that particular show, but you that remember? doesn't sound unfamiliar. You remember that one time? It was me, you, Stomps, and Capone. Mm hmm. I remember. I don't remember the building. But I remember going through a hallway and he shook Capone's hand and didn't shake yours. Who? Cool. Lil Rob. Sadio? And you told him, hey, my boy, what's up? Yeah. You, you know how to say what's up? And then he just, look, well, I thought we were going to pack him out, to be honest with you. I thought it was over you know, for him that day. Okay. But, 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 but he ended up <laughs> shaking your hand and then we left and you were upset. And, and we were like, what, what, what are we doing? Like, what, you know, and we were like, ah, nothing. And then all Capone, of course, you know him, he was like, Oh, leave it alone. It's all business, you know. You, you know. So we're like, all right, dude. We so had him in the scope that day. We we're gonna stomp the shit. Remember? Out of him. Yeah, 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 fuck I yeah. I remember we're that, that shit. I just didn't want to disrespect the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I remember, uh, that. I remember I chopped it up with him after that, and that's when he did that that little uh, skit on my album. Mm. It was like he's always done like little funny shit behind little the shit scenes, in, yeah, yeah. and then try to like patch it up like that, you know. But no yeah. big deal. Huh? Yeah, no big deal. You know, I mean, you know, I ain't losing no God, sleep. God over. bless that man. Whatever he's doing, but yeah, he was a scary Larry for sure. There was a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, for sure. For I don't sure. want to speak on it, but it's the fact that we seen it together. Yeah, yeah. And we seen a lot of fools act like that. It was kind of disappointing, huh? It's like, that's what they say. Don't meet the people that you like. Listen, don't meet your up. idols, yeah. Because you grow up and you see them, and then you're like, damn, this fool's a weenie ass fool. That like, was super not sad. this fool, you know? That was super sad, dog, because um, those were opportunities that we missed out on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, those were opportunities that we missed out on. Like, whether, um, you know, whether he was familiar with us or not. He should have acknowledged the hustle and the yeah. passion that we had. You See, know what I'm saying? But but this is why I want to define something. People in the comments right away, right? Mm. They get all like in their friends and like hating on hating on what? Nobody's hating, dog. We all we've all been very I'm successful. Hating. I'm hating. Game. I'm hating. I'm gonna speak. I got I'm no hating. hate. I don't like pussy ass food, so I'm hating you. Yeah. Hey, well there it is. So there, hating, Bozo said, "Fuck it." No, <laughs> I mean, it, dog, come on, dog. Like, you seen it with your own eyes, though, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They say no fabrication, no clout. So come why on, don't dog, you think dog. he wanted to shake my hand that day? Because I don't remember that. Um, I don't know, dog. I think that he was just familiar with Capone at the time. It was before, or that. something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think that. So I, I got think it. That, I think that. Yeah, you, 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 you. I forgot exact words you said to him, but more or less it was like, "What's up?" You know what I mean? Like you ain't gonna shake my hand or what? You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I remember, I remember clear as day. I remember I was like, all right. That's not normal. This fool homies right don't like, homies don't care themselves like that. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, most definitely. So, yeah, I mean, right. that says a lot. You feel me? But yeah, I remember that shit, dog. I can remember that shit clear as day. Like, you know, I remember um Twister kicking fucking the homies out the studio to do the verse for Capone. Hey, dog, you remember that? You're scared as fuck of the homies. Said too many cholos in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we took the bands and we took some bread from Capone. We're like, we'll be back. <laughs> I remember. Uh, fuck it, if they let us in, you go pay for the drinks all night. Like, I remember they were trying to kick everybody out and I remember yeah. very clearly uh, me and Stomps were like, look, fool, if this shit ain't gonna go down, it ain't gonna go down. And they were like, I remember Capone was like, okay, if the, the homies can't be in here, we're just not gonna do the song. Mm. Because it was like too many, and it was like, all right, just a couple. We're deep. We're deep yeah, as we're, fuck. Yeah, we're we deep. probably went a little too unprofessional. Too deep. Well, you gotta but, think though, too. Man, we were looking up to Twister. You got, you yeah. know what I mean? Like he was, 
He was a beast, kamikaze, bro. Like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. Like, that fool spit her. So we and it was at the top of his prime. He was at the time. That's when he did the song with and Kanye. We're, we're in the studio, yeah, like fresh on the radio. Uh, yeah. So we're in the studio on Beverly Hills, and I remember we're doing that and all strapped up. I think yeah. I had my 45 stomps, had his like 40 cal, like everybody strapped Burn her up. up. And I remember, uh, yeah, you just were be, being careful, you know what I mean? Like, we had a lot of money on us. We we're about to do this deal, and we're just looking out for the team. Yeah. You know? But uh, I remember very clearly, like, if we got a dip, the song ain't getting done because uh, ain't nobody going to take advantage or, or get funny with the homie or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, I remember, I remember how proud we were, though, when Capone did that track, yeah. little boy. We were proud, man. I remember performing It was that a shit milestone with, yeah, with us. fuck yeah. We had been grinding as a team, yeah. and we hadn't hit that level of success to be able to do a song like that. Yeah. And we were just at the... I remember right, touring that song. Right, oh, hard. yeah. We were right right at the fucking, uh, you know, the how you say it, the ceiling of right before mm. busting through Chicano rap, like like superstardom yeah. at that time. Because at that time, this genre was through the roof. Huh? Yeah. And we, be, we became the face of this shit at that part, you know? Uh, I'm not going to say this. <laughs> if I say this, then they're going to clip it and say I'm talking shit. So Hit Hard Inc. said something, but uh, he's just dissing Little Rock. So I'm not going to say it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm going to show a little respect. We ain't here to no, slam yeah, people yeah, either, yeah. Homes, you know? No, I mean... It is what it is. I mean, we, it's just the truth, man. Truth, you know, a truth, lot of truths hurt truth, people's truth feelings, hurts. Huh? <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. And you know, yeah, I'm yeah. at a position in my life where I feel like I'm doing positive shit. And if I spoke my truth, yeah. I hurt a lot of people's feelings, huh? Yeah, yeah, for and sure. And I don't know if you remember, my resume is really strong. I mean, we destroyed a lot of people's careers back yeah, then. Yeah, for sure. And I was at the forefront, really, like, calling these fools out and dissing the shit out of them. Yeah, you were the main battle rapper of all of them. Come on, huh? This fool got me fucked up. So if I really wanted to say something and go there and spit some shit, I could say some shit. Well, too. I remember, um, I did the song mm -hmm. to Rob, the diss song that did Capone you? wouldn't do. And I gave it to Capone. And we were supposed to drop it. But um, he decided, he was like, let's keep this one in the vault. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's palabra, that's what he said. Huh? Let's keep it in the vault. Yeah, let's keep it in the vault. Yeah. yeah. The other day I seen some shit and I just laughed at it. I don't even want to talk about it. It's some comical shit, but very emotional. That's all I'm going to say, but. 2023, we are doing positive shit, and I'm not here to slam nobody. I'm glad that you were able to speak and see some yeah. of the truths. And sometimes us speaking and saying the truths of what we see hurts people's feelings, but it doesn't matter. And and people, I'm starting to see people say like, "Oh, I thought criminals on this unity shit." What? Well, look at them talking shit. No, motherfucker, I'm putting people together that deserve to be together. But that doesn't mean that I want every motherfucker out. Can't like everybody. Man. Like, come on, homes. What the fuck? That look like yeah, I'm just gonna be seeing kumbaya all day. You know what I mean? Come on. I like seeing Kumbaya well, only on Thursdays look, and Fridays. If people didn't want shit to um come to surface, yeah. Then 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 people should learn from their past and and embrace the present. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It's like you know gangsters don't die. Nah. So why are you trying to bury us, boy? Like like acknowledge motherfuckers, dog. Mm -hmm. Cuz this is what we going to do. We going to put you on blast if you don't acknowledge motherfuckers like. You know the scary berries always got worried, you know? Yeah. I always notice that. But anyways, off to another subject. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat like Kara's going. Uh, what was I going to say? So getting out the second time. Mm. Now you have a chip on your shoulder like a young crime. Hell yeah. Talk about it. Why? What um, was happening? What was going on through your emotional mind state? You shit, can't see well, fucking going, cancer. Well, what's going on was this, dog. Nah, what's up? honestly, dog, I came <clears throat> home enthusiastic, you know? Okay. Um... I was How like, long did you do highlight? For Ten years, two months. Damn. Ten years, two months. Um, while I was busted, I did um, what what compilation of yours did I do? Um, what the streets created too, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I did over the my, over the phone. Remember? Mm -hmm. I wrapped it over the phone. Mm -hmm. So um, I come home, and I'm just, I'm I'm enthusiastic, dog. I'm eager to link up, link, link back up with the homies. You know what I mean? Get my shit cracking again. But I failed to realize like shit just wasn't the same. You know what I'm saying? The business in itself, you know, the, the music business was just, um, it was in a, I don't know, dog. I feel like it was a limbo at that moment. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, certain labels didn't don't know in what direction to go with all this digital streaming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And YouTube and shit and, and how YouTube was basically like breaking most of us independent artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I reached out to Capone, um, and Capone's like, come on, let's, let's do this show. Let's do this. Um, let me get you on this track. Let me do this, this and that, you know? So I'm happy as fuck, dog. And I'm thinking, I'm all right. I've been sitting in the joint 10 years. Um, shit. Let me let me talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but Capone had other ideas because he had other shit going on, which I understand, you know? He had shit going on prior, like plans and shit, artists, whatever, so forth and so forth. 
So um, once I was able to figure out what I could do on my own, it was like, fuck it. Like, why, why, why keep waiting? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, shit, I got with these kids, dog. Like, they were like 17, 18, and they're, you know, they knew the whole shit. You know what I mean? Upload yeah. this, do this. We'll shoot a video, boom, boom, and that was that was it, dog. Like once. And, and was that uh, the label you were working with? No, that was just um my my niece's friends from high school. Some Damn. kids that yeah, they went to engineering school and all that shit, you know. Hell yeah. So at that that point they were like, shit, we'll record you in the laundry room, bro. Damn, and that's I don't dope. trip. Yeah, they were like, we'll do it, whatever. They were hungry. They were hungry. Yeah. You know who else was hungry at the time was fat ass Pinks. Pinks was hungry as fuck at that time too, right? <laughs> and her hungry ass was trying to like sign all of us for like. Jumbo Jacks and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, um, <laughs> what a dick. Huh? So look, dog. Her big ass, right? Um, are you beefing with Pinks? Oh man, nah, it's not even beef. It's not. Even, it's not beef. I mean, but you guys don't see eye to eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah. So, um, uh, <laughs> what was I going well, let's to? Let's keep it positive. Oh, so anyways, it. um, she, she, um, you know, she hit me up. Was like, hey, you know what I mean? I'm starting this label. Let's get it cracking. At the time, I had a lot of love for her, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let's run it. You know what I mean? Let's run, let's get it cracking, let's, let's do this, this, and that. Obviously, shit didn't go as planned, you know what I'm saying? And and um, as Capone being the man that I know, you know, I reach out to him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm like, look, dog, between me and you, like, I'm going to go my way. Um, I can't be sitting on the shelf. Like, I'm hungry, fool, you know? Like, I got to do my shit. So he's like, all right, man, the best luck to you. And then, like, the little back door shit started happening you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like i'm calling producers that i have been working on with because of him and they're like not answering the phone no more you know um certain artists that are still signed to the label are telling me like yo we, we were told not to fuck with you no more you know what i mean not to answer your calls we can't affiliate with you whatsoever so to me of the environment that i just came from the only people you do that to an exile like that is piece of shit yeah you understand what i'm saying so to me it's like man i just did 10 flat with the homies how the fuck I'm gonna let some rapper put me on Leva? And that was it. Damn. And after that, I was like, I looked at every victim I could possibly find, from Chino Grande to Crook One to everybody that caught caught it. You know what I mean? Like, um, they all caught it, fool. Cause I just felt like um, I just felt like there wasn't enough transparency and what was real and what wasn't. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I felt that um, certain individuals were influencing the youth and the community to do shit that they didn't even do themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just went on some goon shit, man. Like, you know, did my G shit. Like, you know, I, I, there was validity behind what I was saying. Obviously, like, my lifestyle speaks for itself, you know? Like, it, you know, like, you call anybody from any hood, like, chances are I've done time with them, you know, or ran around the streets with them or whatever, so forth yeah. and so forth. So I let my nuts hang, you know what I mean? I took the stripes, I took the valor, and I used it to my, to my, um, to my advantage, you know what I'm saying? And it worked. I mean, for what it's worth, like, I ended a gang of motherfuckers' careers too this time around. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I got fools right now hiding as we speak. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's not look, dog, and it's not to say that I'm tough, right? It's just say that that I love, I love what I believe in. You know what I mean? Like, even if even if I was gonna lose those, I would have still fought those battles because I believed in what I believed in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I but I, I believe I sat on the yard with too many homies that were embarrassed of who was representing us and who the face of us were. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. Temps is here in my right or wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Because there, there, there was too many Fugazi fools for too long. You know what I'm saying? So, um, shit, when I, shit. when I came home, I felt like I had that obligation. You know what I'm saying? You had a voice of more than just yourself. Hell yeah. yeah. Mo to this day. To this yeah. fucking day. And um, and I've been through some shit. You know what I mean? With, with that being said, you know, like, but you know, it, it's nothing that, that I ain't been through before. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, the hurdle's gonna come, dog. The, the, the contrarian's gonna come, but... You know, it, it, I've been taught just to take flight and think about it later. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. That's all. That was uh, the way we were raised, like, especially, like, if your homie was wrong, it didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. You take flight. Yep. You clean that shit We'll figure later. it out later. Yeah. Me and you'll get down later if yeah. you misled me. Yeah. But as it is, I we love do what we're doing. I love yeah. that way of going. But we do what we do. Yeah, that's, that's just. I miss that dog, shit. Dog, like, right now, fools will have a disagreement, dog, and that's it, bro. They'll never talk again. They're fucking hate each other. Your kids are shit. Your wife's this. It makes it's, it's like, like, whoa, mas like masculinity is losing, honestly, because I feel like things are getting so watered down. Like, men used to be tougher for that. We we talk shit cap all day with our brothers, with homies we love. Might sock one in the lip, might get socked in the lip. Go yeah. at it, beat the shit out of each other, and they be hugging and get more drunk after. Yeah. And then you know what your homie's about. 
Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, the homie's got it. He, he, watch out for that fucking right hook. This fool's nasty with it. Yeah. And then he knows what you got. And then when you run into some fools you don't get along with, you know, you could depend on that fool's right sure. hook. You know what I mean? Now these fools don't got that. It's yeah. like they, they get into some shit, everybody runs. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Well, they're not outside. They don't have to be outside. They can do everything from behind closed doors. Like behind, um, uh, back in our era, I hate to sound like an old ass man, but back in our era, mm-hmm. um, Valor is what got you fame. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your honor, your stripes. Like, those were the fools that were known. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't fools doing goofy shit on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. it wasn't entertainment. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, um, stripes are who you can entertain the most. How many likes and clicks? Yeah, how many likes you get? So that's the difference. But, um, but little by little, though, I, I like to believe that we're getting back to that, though. We're getting back. We're getting back to that structure. We're getting back to that. To that. To that hand on hand, dog. Like I see it in the streets. You know, like in my area, like. I see it. I see it all over. Like, um, people are tired. Well, I want to say the young men. The young men are getting tired of being called the soft generation. You feel what I'm saying? And they're ta- and they're taking it personal. You know what I mean? As they should. You know what I mean? As yeah. they should. Like, if, if if um if the streets are dishonorable, who do you blame? You blame the people that fucking walk those streets. You feel what I'm saying? So well, it's it's time to self reflect. And ask ourselves Hold like Hold ourselves accountable Yeah most definitely That's most the most definitely. important and, thing. and what's important dog What's important And it's not about fucking It's not about ego dog Like it's not about um, Like I said who the tough guy is It's about keeping Our community and our people pure To what we believe in You know what I'm saying uh, And I believe that That's a lot of the reasons why um, We haven't hit the places We want to play What I'm saying is We haven't reached the limits That we're, we're supposed to be reaching In the industry You know what I'm saying Because they know We're going to push a hard line they know we're not gonna do no weird ass shit. They know at the end of the day, um, there is a structure, dog. You know what I mean? That we abide by. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 that structure is that we all hold each other accountable. You feel what I'm saying? Like nobody's gonna let you way. slide on no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I hear I hear other races bragging about like, oh, I'm my own man. You gotta listen to this person. This. It's not about listening to a person, dog. People don't understand that. It's about listening to the history that we come from. You know what I'm saying? It's about listening to our ancestors and our that lineage. Like, that sounded like uh, what's that Wato's name? Uh, blue face manager dude. That everybody talks about. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. I know. It sounds like that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's just crazy. And that's that's a lot of uh, misguidance that a lot of the. That's hate, bro. That's a lot that's of the hate. misguidance that people. That's hate because the old cheese, our older homies were. They're even more dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to think. You know what I'm saying? Um, Definitely. But, but nah, man, it's a beautiful thing, dog. Like. I'm enjoying um, Cause you know When we first started We didn't hang out With other rappers That weren't with us Nah You know what I'm saying Like if they weren't with us They were in Amigos You know what I'm saying So now I'm enjoying Dog like like Seeing all the homies Doing their shit It's, it's different right But yeah it's love I love it It took a lot For me to it. stop Like being in my corner Yeah yeah Cause we're yeah. school Like that from the streets Yeah And then from the streets We came in the rap game And then, then we were like That extra Yeah You know what I mean So it's like to let that go but i do feel it's more powerful and it shows a lot of growth you know yeah. what i mean because if you could stand next to people you might not necessarily see the same views or visions with or have the same um you know background and you could still be able to pro- program with them function with them make money and celebrate this culture why not huh? yeah know? yeah for sure i think that's more powerful huh? <clears throat> for Instead sure of creating man. all these imaginary lines that we don't have you know what, I mean? that we what is that we're leaving we're leaving some for the ones under us to you know what i mean to yeah. do better with you know what i'm saying like we're learning from our mistakes we're embracing them and we're demonstrating that now with the love that we're giving each other you yeah. know what i'm saying that, that's beautiful dog hell yeah you know what i mean because right now they hate us more than ever that's true you know what i'm saying we let our nuts hang too much these bald heads shine too much in the sun you know what i'm saying <laughs> so they don't like that shit, dog. Right. and it is what it is you know so it's my responsibility to at least ask and i just want to know your mind state mm-hmm. um a lot of people know that that behind the scenes you have these beefs. I didn't know that mm. you were beefing with Chino Grande or Crook One and all that. I think I did know Crook One. I'm lying on that one, but not Chino. Um, have you ever had a chance to reconciliate or see eye to eye with these cats, or is still like fucking? Um, with with um, I had a brief conversation with Crook One recently, right. and it was um, believe it or not, it was it was um out of love. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Um. He 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 experienced something that I don't think he experienced before. One of his one of his friends dying in front of him mm-hmm. at a video shoot. And I told him, dog, like, look, this ain't this ain't about the past. Like the conflict me and you had. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know, dog. This is what I was warning you was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you in the field, dog, don't fumble. 
know what I mean? If you're in the field, don't wear the wrong jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this, this is this for keeps. You know what I mean? So, learn from this shit and 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 grow, dog. You know what I mean? Stop, stop playing. Like, we ain't playing out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we not playing out here. And he was he understood and and, and I respect that about him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There was no fucking ego. There was no um. There was no how do you say like resistance? You know? Yeah. I think that at that moment he embraced it and, and he saw. Like, all right, these fools ain't just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, these fools are actually trying to guide us the right way. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as Chino Grande, like, nah, man. That that conversation, like, and it's not, and it's not because of hate. It's just that we're in two different worlds, you know? Um, in my world, I still believe in integrity. You feel what I'm saying? So that's not gonna happen. Um, but you know, peace to him, dog. Like, I, you know, I, I don't speak bad about him no more. You know what I'm saying? But what happened did happen. That's why I brought it up. You know, like yeah. I be, I beefed with them fools and um, who else, man? With Capone, it's like whatever. You know, like it's whatever, dog. Like I'm him. glad you had that conversation with me. Yeah, yeah. And you were open for it because when I was on my squash and beef run, yeah, I was like, you know what? These are both my brothers, and I would like to reach out to them. Yeah. And I did that, and I was like, you know, I talked to Capone. He was cool about it. You were cool about it, and you're like, you know what? I ain't even on that shit, you know? Yeah. So I'm glad that you guys were, were, were down to... Yeah, because believe it or not, dog, like that shit, I learned from that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because then I found myself in those same, same circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Like people, um, how should I say it, dog? Like maybe misinterpreting my intentions. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I understood, I learned that by attacking him, I pushed away a lot of people. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Um, at the time I knew it would happen, don't get me wrong, and I didn't give a fuck, but um, I learned that sometimes you just got to pick your battles wisely, dog. You feel what I'm saying? Because um, like I told you before, keeping poise is, is the ultimate trump card. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know? So, um, but like I said, it's all good, fool. Like, you know, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my shit. Like when it was bubbling, we didn't run into each other. And that's for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And now, now it's been years, dog. Like shit, it's been fucking like six years or some shit. I give a fuck, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad. You know what I mean? Like, you still seem a little mad about Pink's though. Pink's, you know what? You know what gets me about about old girl dog is this dog. That she's a female dog, so she knows like I'm not gonna put hands on her. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So it's an unfair fight. So how do you attack a female when you can't? You, just, you, you know think you mean? could ever get past that with her? Hell no, with her, no. Nah? Nah. She, not even, not if, even a crime. I'm going to tell, tell, tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Come because, on, because, stop because, this shit. Because, because she talks about Let's family. stop this shit. Because she talks about family. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. And I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So so based on that, that's that. That's that. Look, dog, this this chick went to, went to the extent, homie, to contact my oldest daughter when I was beefing with her. Wow. To find out personal information about me, dog. You understand what I'm saying? And then use it against me. You feel what I'm saying? She came in as a friend. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And th- Yeah, dog. And then, you know what I mean? And then had my daughter's name. And, and, well, you know I'll what I'm say saying? this. I would love to see all you guys' beef squash someday. And if it's ever possible, if you want to throw it on me and on my back, I'm the one to carry it. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't like to see people... Uh, when I say brothers in this game, right, I don't use that term loosely. My brother Temple right here, and I really mean that. I don't have a lot of friends that show that type of love, right? But you guys are my musical brothers. Yeah. We created history together, right? And everybody knows that family sometimes don't see eye to eye. I got family members that I don't talk to that I haven't talked to in 25 years, right? Mm. So we could be brothers and still not see eye to eye. We could be brothers and not talk for 20 fucking years. But that don't mean that we have to be beefing. We still got that that love somewhere within each other. And I do believe that as high power as a group, that still exists. I think that as much animosity as motherfuckers might have, as much egos motherfucker might held on to, if we all really sat in a room together and got those initial convos out, as men, we would all get past it. I said, as men. Yeah, as men. That's, as that's men. Nice. There you go. So I can't speak on the other situation. I just hope it all works out. You know, I don't like to see anybody beefing homes. At the end of the day, I'm on my... On my, uh, we are the world shit right now, you know. We yeah, are nah, the nah, it's cool. It, it's you know, I, I, I hear, what, I hear, I hear yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? But um, shit, hey, you know. But like haters will said today, criminal singing his kumbaya. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love mm. people's point of view. Hell yeah, I'm singing mm. kumbaya, man. I'm out here trying to put people together. Hate it or love it. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to haters will. But yeah, um. I was going to say, man, um, fast forwarding from that, I actually had a message from my baby girl. She's at home watching right now. She had a question. She wanted to know from baby girl, 
What motivated you to keep going after facing obstacles like being away for so long, doing a decade behind bars is a long time? Um, I disappointed my father. Mm. My dad died while I was in jail. Damn. And, um, ah, God. yeah, so that happened. And, um, shit, I just figured, like, damn, dude raised me right, you know? Loved me. Gave me the swagger I have, shit, the looks I have, the height, my talent, you know what I'm saying? And all I did was um, ignore him, dog. And at the end, um, shit, I was lonely as fuck without him. <clears throat> so that's what that's what got me right. Like I had to make amends with my father. <clears throat> and wow. So um, so I got off my ass and I just took care of business. Wow, that was deep, homes. My condolences, homes. Uh, how long ago was that? Um, I was, it was, um, the year of 2000, shit, 14, I want to say, 2014. Wow. So fast forward to now, you've been taking care of your family, you've been a, a businessman, you've been on your grind. Would you say that you feel like, uh, you would have made them proud at this moment? Hell yeah. Hell Stupid yeah. proud. Absolutely. Crazy proud. That's what I wanted to get out of you. Um, crazy proud. But it's funny, though, because I had a son, right? I had my, yes, my last baby boy. Congratulations. Emil Thank you, dog. Emiliano Alger Reyes. And that's my that's my dad walking around the pad, fool. That's dope. The lips, gestures, his personality, his swagger around females. Like, that, I'm like, damn, this you see it again. Yeah, and I'm like, man, like, I, you know, I don't. I, it helps me not miss him as much no more. You feel me? That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. And I needed that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, man, um, hell yeah, to make him, man, beyond proud, dog. Hell yeah. Done a gang of shit, man, motherfucker. One thing my dad <clears throat> told me when I was a kid, right? Mm -hmm. He was like, I was already fucking around, <clears throat> doing all my bullshit, getting in trouble. I was going to the halls and all that shit. And he, he, he pulls me to the side one day. And he's like, look, man, I don't want you to think I'm mad at you. I'm disappointed in you. He goes, as long as you like girls, I'm proud of you, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just one of them dudes. Like, he found he found an easy way to lie in things, you know what I'm saying? And, and make a motherfucker feel like he was somebody, you feel what I'm saying? Even with just the littlest of things, you know? <clears throat> but um, but yeah, dog, you know? Um, that's what it is, dog. That's why we're here, you know what I mean? Carry on legacies, you know what I'm saying? Carry on the last name. Hell yeah. Do you feel like your, your music since you got out has been helping uh, therapeutical with the, Hell yeah. the shit that you I got out of wreck, dog. Um, shit, PTSD, all that shit's real. You know, um, to this day, I got to smoke heavy to sleep. You know what I mean? I got to smoke real heavy to sleep. Um, and I'm still up early as fuck, you know? The wheels don't stop turning. You got to understand, dog, like when you do that much time and, and you're on lockdowns, you're, 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 as a human, you start to evolve to live in that capacity. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is your mind starts adapting to certain things that you would never even think of. Like, I, I told this story before somewhere when I told people, like, I was so bored in the cell at one point that I would count the words in movies. Damn. Like, the scripts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll sit there you with my hands. I'll, I'll sit there with my hands, dog, but, but subconsciously doing it so that I wouldn't think about his funeral or his funeral, like to think about the shit that I was losing, you know, the people that were dying around me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I would catch myself, dog, after like a two hour movie, fucking mentally exhausted, dog. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't know why until like I actually caught it with my fingers, you know? And then what's sad about that shit now is that my kids catch me still doing it. Like my kids will be like, why is your hands always twitching while we're watching movies? And I'm like, fuck, like subconsciously, I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and, 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 and with a lot of other things though, you know, that happened to me that changed me. But um, but yeah, dog. Um, the music has allowed me to um, drain that energy. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's allowed me to point that 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 energy into a different direction, dog. And 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 it's allowed me to, like you said, dog. Like make 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 amends and make people proud that I didn't before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So yeah, man. Like I said, music saved my life, dog. And and now like I use it to <clears throat> um, bond with the younger homies. You know, and try and. You know, guide them and have conversation with them that that are, that are intellectual. You know, like I put myself through college this time I got out. You know, like um, I've opened up my own businesses. Like, you know, what I mean, I've done my own shit. You know, so um, it's good to have something to share with the homies, even if like all your businesses aren't successful. You feel what I'm saying? Which, you know, we all take losses as businessmen, right? And our ventures and shit. But those weren't conversations you were having before. You know what I'm saying? Like in the hood. You feel me? 
So the it losses feels good. were a lot greater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know? So now it's like, it, it's dope, dog. It's dope to um to have an impact and a voice in, in our culture, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the movement in the community and, and and to be able to have, like, bonds with you, with a gang of the homies, dog, like, that have more wisdom and, and experience than I do. You know what I'm saying? To where I can call at any moment and ask for advice. Hey, f- you right? I'll, like, I'll pick your brain out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Hey, fool, like, what you think? Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. And it's good to know that the person on the other fo- on the other side of the phone doesn't have a secret agenda, dog. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's no, there's no, um, there's no, there's no worrying about, how should I say it, dog? Like, being taken advantage of because of who we are and, and what we believe in. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. It's like we hold each other, we hold each other close no matter what. You know, even from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. Yeah. And that advice you gave me, homie, I shared it on here. And I'm going to say it again. I was going through some shit recently. I've been going through some shit. Everybody goes through some shit daily, right? But you send it at the right moment. <clears throat> I felt like uh, I was unnecessarily dealing with some bullshit that was personal, and I was bumping heads with somebody behind the scenes. Yeah. And they ran to the guard. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you told me, uh, hey, fool, don't even trip off that cat. Yeah. You're like, when you're righteous, it says in the Bible. Yeah. That, that even the stones on the floor were clear your name. Yeah. Remember sure. you saying that? They'll speak for you. Yes, sir. They'll speak for me. That, yeah. that shit stood, stood um, so hard in my mind and in my soul. And I said, damn, homie, that's why I got homies like this in the game. Yeah. And that's why I value people like you in my corner. Because, uh, like I said, we, we could go for 20 years without talking. But just that little bit of knowledge and game that we'll give each other is valuable, you know? And we don't always see eye to eye. And I want to yeah. bring up something that that is real and we don't have to get too deep into it but we bumped heads recently Mm -hmm. as as brothers uh and i'm glad that you know as i expected the disagreement that we had because we're both Mm hot-headed we both got tempers and we both don't stand down you're definitely someone that does not show any type of weakness yeah and i don't feel like i do either so when we were bumping heads it got a little hot and you were telling me how you felt. I've told you how I felt. And we ended the conversation like, look, fool. At the end of the day, you told me very clearly, like, fuck all this bullshit. When it comes down to it, what what, what do you think where I'll be if some shit happened? Yeah. And I said, you know what, dog, you're right. Yeah, for sure. And then when, when, when it came down to it, you respected my point of view and I respected your point of view. And we said we could agree to disagree, right? That's not common anymore. No. Why, why can't people have disagreements and get over it quick like that? Because there's no respect towards each other. Damn. That I mean, at the end of the day, dog, you got to actually respect the person that you're talking to, fool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, dog, when you talk to somebody, and I'm sure you can relate, right? When you talk to somebody you don't respect, you don't even see them standing in front of you. You're seeing through that motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so, you know, there's no, there's, there is no, um, fuck, mm. I didn't do it. I, I did it. I okay. did it. Just leave it out here. Fuck this stupid ass thing. Okay. But, um, online, but nah, dog, but, but you know, um, and at the same time, they don't even love each other to that extent, though. Yeah. You know, there has to be some love to be some respect, you know? What they say, respect comes with admiration and fear. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think that, look, dog, I think that it's important to admire each other, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that it's important to admire each other, and I think that it's important to have fear, too, towards each other. Not, not to the extent of, like, bowing down towards each other, right? But just on the just on the general respect that it's like that's a man just like me. Yeah. So if I'm capable of doing some shit, what the fuck makes me think that man ain't capable of doing that or furthermore? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and that's when you're living in the present and reality, right? When you're living as a child, you live in your imagination. You constantly think you're the baddest motherfucker on earth. True. And you're 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 Batman, you're Superman, you're you're all, all the of bitches. Them. You know what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter is, dog, you get shrunk quick. You know what I mean? You, you could become a Lego Batman fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so I have that understanding. You know what I'm saying? I have that understanding, and um, and I should have it towards you. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that should, that should be, um, that should, that should be relevant no matter what, dog. Because you're a man. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. You're the first. You and Stomper. You and Stomper are the first young men that I met that were born to be fathers, dog. You know, like I remember as a kid being blown away by this little fool right here running up to the door and then your little girl is little, 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 baby, little, you know, shout out to little Robert. He's talking about little Robert right here. And your, <laughs> yeah. and your lady and shit. And I remember like thinking to myself, like, 
damn, that's what I want. You know, like, and then you're younger than me. You feel what I'm saying? So to, to like that shit was eye opening, dog. And, and that's why I appreciate meeting you when I met you because you opened my eyes to a different world. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You opened my eyes to um something that I didn't even know I wanted to be. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I didn't even know at that time that that's the place that I wanted. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, shit, like that's why it's important for men to be around men, not little boys, not 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 young men, like man men. You feel what I'm saying? Like you were a man young, fool. Like you were a man way before your time. You know what I'm saying? Like like um, and I always, I, you know, I've, I've always, you know, held you in high regards because of that, bro. Because um, it's important to highlight that shit, like. I don't want to highlight the fact that you're a successful artist. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that that nowadays... That's superficial. Yeah, dog. It, it's, you know what I'm saying? But not only that, fool. Like, that tells you... I think that I think that families... I think that men's homes will tell you a lot about them. You know what I'm saying? And then it'll tell you everything you need to know about an individual. You know what I'm saying? If a man takes care of his of his family, dog, he's gonna, he, he'll take care of you, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, if a man, um, you know, carries intelligence and he's truly intelligent, he's willing to share it with you. You know what I'm saying? A, a man of true intelligence know that two smart dudes in one room is better than one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, shit, that's important to highlight, bro. Like, that's important to highlight. Like, we all have flaws, dog. And I'm sure you rub people the wrong way. I rub people the wrong way. But at the end of the day, dog, um, what you guys don't see is the shit that we're holding down behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't see the volumes of sacrifice, the volumes of late nights, the volumes of, of having to hold back from doing wow. shit you want to do because of the people that you're obligated to take care of. And um, and I take pride in that, dog. You know okay. what I'm saying? I take pride in that shit. You know what I mean? And um, You know what I mean? I didn't want to be Simba. I wanted to be Mufasa. You feel what I'm saying? Always, you know? I wanted to be Scar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanted to be Mufasa, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, um... It's dope, dog. And, and that goes for all the homies. Like, you know, when I see King doing his shit, you know what I mean? Uh, um, I see the younger homie drummer. Um, all the homies that are that are out there right now really making an impact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, are, that, are, that are imposing their will on this industry. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's happening. Look, dog. We're doing shows, dog. They're getting packed. You know what I mean? Um, we have the culture behind us, right? And they still hate us, fool. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool because at this point, what's happening is this, dog. By force, we're building our own lane. So in a, in a little bit, dog, we're not going to need nobody, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the corporations, the LLCs are only going to get bigger and stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Investors are only going to get bigger and stronger because now there's entities, dog, that don't pay artists for hype. Now there's entities that pay artists for what they're really yeah. worth. Mm -hmm. The numbers, the streams they're actually doing. The facts. You know what I'm saying? Like... Man, the bags are there, homie. The bags are there, dog. So so now it's about, you know, spreading this knowledge with the homies and telling the homies straight up, look, dog, I got a bag for you. Just keep working. You know what I'm saying? Even if it doesn't come from me, I know the directions to point you in. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's crazy? There's a lot of people out there that, that will leech off of you and they'll sit next to you and they'll, they'll claim that they work as hard as you and they want the shine. They want the fame. And then they don't get it because they don't put in the work like mm. you. They don't put in the long nights, the no sleep, right? And then that shit turns into envy, the jealousy. Then it turns to hatred. That shit, I've seen that shit happen a thousand times. What's your point of view on that? My point of view on we that. All, we all go through it. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But my point of view on that is like, we're, we're look, dog. We know the creature that we are, right? Yeah. Like, we, we know. We see it in the mirror every day. And most people will tell you, like, why are you putting your expectations on them? They're not you, fool. Don't think they're going to match you, dog. Stop stop thinking that because you set an expectation for them motherfuckers that you hope for yourself is only setting yourself up for heartache. You know what I mean? Yep. And disappointment. You know what I'm saying? So that's the part that we, we as men, got to embrace, whether we like it or not. At times, dog, we get too caught up in this shit and we want to bring everybody with us, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is that nobody brings everybody with them, fool. True. Nobody does. Nobody, dog. And it doesn't matter if you're in a legitimate business, if you're an artist, if you're doing catering, if you're a pastor. The pastor's up there by himself. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that's behind him is the choir, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's just how it goes, dog. So I think that um, we got to understand, dog, that our light is our light, fool. You know what I mean? The light that's here is meant to shine on you. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's on you for a reason. Like, if 
because you know damn well how that light landed on you. It was by your work, not by somebody doing you a favor looking out for you. Straight you understand up. what I'm saying? So we gotta always remember that, and we gotta and we gotta because we're 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 avoiding from them learning the lessons that they need to learn because we're spoiling these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where we're bringing them we're bringing them too close to the finish line. You know, and it's like so once we show them that they miss it, fool. You know what I'm saying? We can't show them the finish line. You you can't miss something that you never had. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, it, you know, the, they need to be obsessed, dog, like they are with, with females. You know what I mean? They need to fall in love with it. They need to want to mold it. They need to want to put babies in it and grow families with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, with this music shit, like, that's how they got to see it, dog. You know what I mean? It's not for me. It's not for me to make nobody a man, dog. Motherfuckers got to make their own way. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And, and we don't have time out here to slow down and hold nobody's hands either. And, and carry well, on. Well, you know how it is, dog. You lead by example. What fucking more do they want? Yeah. What more, dog? Like we're giving it to them all day, every day. Dog, wasn't nobody giving a shit, bro? We we didn't even see a, a, a picture of the inside of the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody was coming to the hood and like check this out, little homie. Well, nah. If anything, they fucking stood away from us, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, these motherfuckers feel entitled to this shit, dog. You know what I mean? And I ain't giving away shit. Cause I know when you give something for free, dog, all you do is 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 setting somebody up for failure in the future. You know what I mean? Good point. And I ain't doing that shit because I don't want nobody looking at me later on like it's your fault. Nah, bitch, it ain't my fault, dog. Go look in the mirror, boy. I ain't got nothing to do with your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people don't have the the accountability factor. Everybody nah. wants to point fingers and all that kind of shit. It's crazy to me. But well, that shit's easy to do. That's why, and, and it's that's, instinctive. That's why I point out. When people don't take advantage of their their power in this game, yeah, and a lot of people think that we speak on other people because we need them. We don't need them. Yeah, the community needs all of us, and that's what I speak on. But people don't get it. People think that when you speak about somebody that you're hating on them or something. Nah, I'm just I'm just speaking about the when lack, you lie on somebody, the lack, you're the lack of contribution, and that ain't a motherfucking lie. And I speak on that wholeheartedly because I really sleep, breathe, and ble bleed this shit. You know what I mean? Just like you do. The passion that I have is different. You know, it's not just for a, I don't know the word to say that to, I don't want to put nobody down, but whatever the fuck they're on, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same motivation. I want to, I want to rewind a little bit and I want to take us back, back down memory lane because I got my memory and I want to speak on it. Um, and it brings a smile to my face <laughs> off top because the homie was so fucking powerful minded, the way he spoke loud, the way he was confident as fuck. Rest in peace, Stunts, man. Rest I wanna, peace, Stunts, I brother. wanna know when <clears throat> was the first time you ever met the homie, because I know you guys are from the same hood, same area. So yeah, we met at the park. All right. He wasn't from my hood yet. I was. You know the protocol. Bang on old boy if he looks tough. Yeah, you he know was a tagger, saying? right? Yeah, he was a tagger from my face. So I banged on him. We bumped heads. Um, we went a summer without talking. Being we weren't friends at all. I went to jail to juvenile halls for a little bit. When I come home. So so no. tell the story, fool. Don't don't go that fast. Oh no! I want right, to so, I want to know how so you guys home, bang so, on each other. So it's on it's on Mines and Roseby in the hood, Smith Park. Boom. Yeah, it's Smith Park the, was a famous park right there. Park. Yeah. So me and Prowler, my road dog, I'm on the BMX driving. The homies on the handlebars with the 380. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like 12 noon, fool. You know what I mean? The middle people just riding around looking for somebody to hurt. You know? Mm -hmm. So then we see Stomps. This is when he had his little ponytail. He still has a little ponytail. He was bald, he has a little braid up points up. He was on his Cheeto Ramos. Yeah, and his BMX all thug. Well, che <laughs> Cheeto's on his, it's on his stopper shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. get that shit right. Yeah, that's right. You know that's I mean? right. Shit. Ask Cheeto. He grew up on us. That, oh, Don't hell let yeah. him lie to you. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? But, anyways, besides that shit. <laughs> I was just clever. <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, nah. So, um, yeah, so I see him pedaling. And right away, I head in his direction. So the homie probably jumps out. You know what I mean? All you know, disrespectful back then. Where yeah. the fuck you from? That's it. You know what I mean? What, what, you, what you want, homie? Where water are you from? Boom stomps like I don't bang, homie, but my family's from the hood. You know what I'm saying? And I'm from I'm a I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tagger. You know what I'm saying? I'm from OFA. So we're like we we know the older homies he's talking about. You know yeah. his, his family. So we're like all right, fool, feed man. But we're like fuck that fool. You know what I mean? We catch him again, it's <laughs> over with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that was the mentality. The, yeah, that's how. There's the only pass he getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, fast forward, dog. I go to jail to the halls. I get out. I'm 17 years old, and Stomps is in the hood now. He's official. You know. And he still don't like me from that incident. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I low key don't like him neither. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, but you know the gang forces to hang out with each other, and then certain things happen, dog, where me and him just became tight as fuck. You know? Yeah. And it's funny that your son was telling me what he's going to school for, 
because that's what Stamps was going to school for too. Damn. At the same, at the, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah crazy. He used to have all the um, the body parts on the wall. This is before computers, you know. Well, well, before the lab to print the shit out, you know. Yeah, Stamper was smart. So he would make the the black and white copies at college, and then he would come, and you would walk into his dinner, um, where they had the table at, and his mom had cleared the wall for him to, like, with tape, paint them all up on the wall. So when he was studying or watching TV or he was in the kitchen or whatever, he would always see it and study. You know what I mean? Unintentionally. You know what I'm saying? So um. So yeah, man, me and Stomper became close as fuck, man. Like, um, he was a fly ass, handsome ass, fucking funny ass, best dude to party with, dog. Confident ass, man. Um, yeah, dog. Um, and that shit was very contagious, dog, you know? Yeah. It was very contagious, especially when it's your homeboy, you know what I mean? You could claim that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's your brother, you know? Um, we traveled fool, like before even the like Stomper was the first one to tell me, like, we need to leave, fool. Spring break. What the fuck is that? Like, all the bitches are all out. Fool right now. It's fucking spring break. We need to go to Rosarito, Tijuana. We need to go to fucking Havasu. We need to go do all this shit. And that's when I was doing robberies. So he didn't have money for the trips, but I did. But he knew the locations to go. So we would sit with his mom, and his mom would be like, where do you guys want to go? Where, where should we go? And she would be like, well, I think Havasu's the spot, you know? Damn. You want a boathouse? Like... We could get a boat house? Like, yeah. Dang. Like, we could, you know what I mean? We could rent it. And we'd be like, fuck it, let's roll. So we'll go to the hood, pick up all the other motherfuckers, and let's go. Where are we going? Don't worry about it. Just get get a bag, food, put some clothes in that bitch, we gone. You know what I mean? And we used to go out, dog, and party and turn up, dog. And besides all the thuggery shit, you know what I mean? Like, we did a gang of gangster shit. Like, I seen, well, Stomper's, yeah, man, Stomper was fucking, he was Jesse James, dog. You know, old boy, shh. Did not hesitate for a second with that blammer, dog. You know, and um, and, and he was a dick because he wouldn't even let you drive for him. He wanted to be the driver and the shooter. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So you're sitting shotgun like this ain't protocol, bro. Like give me either the steering wheel or the or blower, that, one or the and other. he'd be like, "Fuck that, we're in my car. If shit goes down, I'm gonna make sure that it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I had a part of it. Like I'm not driving, dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So get another blammer or fucking get the fuck out. You know? And he would get mad. Yeah, he get Remember mad. He'd as get fuck. really irritated, like. Oh, like he was like like little Hulk uh, Hulk on you, yeah. you know. I remember a lot of times. He yeah, fucking he would fucking like wig out in and and um like mad. But we had fun though, dog. Like I had so much fun with that food, dog. Like I remember, I'm telling you, he came to the pad. I was three days out, and he was gonna bring me to your house, and he fucking gave my sisters the speech of, "Don't worry, <laughs> he ain't going back to jail no more. He's a star rapper. We're gonna blow this fool up. I got a record deal waiting for him." And I'm like, record deal? Like, what are you talking? This fool's lying to my family. He wasn't lying, though. You know what I mean? Like, the shit was popping, dog. And, he wasn't and playing. He wasn't playing, he dog. He had a vision. And, and, um, and it was beautiful, dog. It, 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 man, I had such a great childhood because of that fool, dog. Like, on some real, real shit. Stomper never left without picking me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how it is. Sometimes the homies will leave you because yeah. they forget. or That motherfucker never forgot, dog. Nah, for The shit. whole squad, he picked us all up. Um, and then when he loved you, that fool loved you. He loved you. Um, Unconditionally. Gent like with a gentleness. Fool, like you know a what brother. I mean? Like, yeah, dog. Like, he was, a, I don't want to say it, but he was sweet, dog. Like, he was sweet towards the people that he loved, dog. Both the, sides the kids, of Kids, men, women, like, you know, mija this, perro, you know what I mean? Like, it was just constant love, For dog. For sure. So, so a motherfucker, like, you, you couldn't help but to just fall in love with that dude, dog, you know? And, um, but this lifestyle, dog, you know? It comes with it comes with burdens, dog. You feel what I'm saying? And um, the homie carried a lot of them, you know. Yeah. And then um, you know, fucking health as well, dog. And you know, health. You don't take care of yourself, dog. It'll catch up. You know what I'm saying? So learned a lot from that too, though. You know, I learned a lot from what he went through and and how it went down and shit. I've been taking care of myself a lot more now. You know what I'm saying? Um, his son, I see both his boys all the time. You know what I mean? Um. Um, Ralphie has a big football game tomorrow. I might go, as a matter of fact, his oldest son. Go, Ralphie. That's another thing, fool. Like, if I bring Ralphie through the door, you know, fucking, what the Trip fuck? out. That fool's man, dog. I'm telling you, that boy looks just like his father, fool. Like, That's dope. It's fucking ridiculous. But, yeah, they pull it to the pad, fool. They'll, Ralphie, will, it'll be a Saturday, fool. I'm in the front yard, bottle tequila, playing music, and he'll pull up, fool. All the little homies deep. What's yeah. up, boy? Let's chill. Let's chill, fool. Okay, let Hell yeah. Let's drink. Let's do this. Let's do that. His mom will call me. Hey, fucking, whoa, whoa, I got you on trip. You know, so, um, I've I've taken them as an opportunity to keep Stomps close to me still. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
Like I've 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 really um I've really been real thankful for that. Like it's it's a beautiful thing though, you know? Um to see the boys to see that um the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like and to see that regardless of what me and him were going through towards the end, he never spilled it towards them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when they come around me, it's fucking love. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I could tell that he was still talking highly of me to his children. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, fuck it. You know what I mean? Um, It's life, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Shit, shit, um, man, it, it, it really, it'll teach you some things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, And, 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 and appreciation for your brothers around you, dog, and the people that really do. When you have homies around you or family or whatever that you know truly love you, dog, you gotta take care of them motherfuckers, man. I'm looking at his close. One of his last messages to me was June 8th, 2020. He said, Gracias, criminal. Love you, little brother. Uh, he used to always call me that. He said, You remember Flagstaff in Las Vegas? He rode with us a few times, bro. Let me know. Uh, I guess he was uh, talking about someone that you guys lost. Mario's memorial service mm-hmm. organized by Priscilla Mendoza. Yeah, his uncle. Yeah. Uncle Mario, man. COVID got him too, man. Damn. Yup. Damn. Yes, yeah, sir, man. man. Mr. Homie, man. Fucking Mr. Homie, man. Rest in peace, Stance. My first memory of him was flying in to Portland. And uh, I flew in, and I remember Grumpy was on the tour bus and him, and they were just fucking spitting. And that's when they became so deranged. Yeah. I remember Capone named him on the road. And uh, I just remember that shit like yesterday. The I remember the spitting. first album. I remember their first song they had, produced by Kale, Rest in Peace. That was that um, shit was hard. It's still hard as fuck. Hard, we play it. homie. We them play fools it still. just busting back and yeah. forth, going off like that, just ridiculous. You know what I mean? That album was hard, fool. Yeah, was fucking hard, hard as hell, man. Shout out to shout out to Grumpy too. When was the last time you talked to Grumpy? Have you fuck, still since been years, man, huh? Since before the ten years. Whatever happened to that fool? I don't know, bro. I, I, all I hear is you know, like he's in the streets. You know what I mean? That's that's what I hear. You know? Yeah. Um, but he's you not know, busted right now. N- I don't. I, I couldn't tell you to be honest. Yeah. But I just heard you know he's on the streets and shit right now. Yeah. You know what I mean that fool's definitely a street cat. You know. Yes. That was like definitely mother- one that you couldn't take out the hood. For them. Nah, that fool. And he that got fool. a good heart too though. Yeah. Good yeah, dude. That's eh? my boy. Man. Love, love. Another, another, another real fucking genuine, fucking loving soul, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real, for real. But with it. from the minute you met him, if, if if somebody brought you that he loved, you were a brother, fool. It, was, it sure. was love and. We're beating everybody up. They fuck with us. Like, what are we doing? Hey, fool, Grumpy was knocking fools out yeah. on the road left and yeah. right. And if he didn't knock them out on the first hit, oh, big ass Big hands. ass hands. If he didn't knock them out on the first hit, Stomper knocked them out yeah. after. You know what I mean? I just remember that kind of shit. Like, them fools were yeah. really about that shit. You know? Yeah. They were I just, wild. I'd just be tripping drunk. out on these fools. Yeah. They'll get turned up and, and... Super turned. Yeah, I remember. I yeah. Remember. You remember that one? <laughs> I got a good story. So, <laughs> look. <laughs> I just remember one. So, you remember we went to go do a show... In Colorado, right? Okay. Um, Capone did the halftime show for the UFC fight. You remember what happened when we went up to the rooms? Nah. Okay, let me tell you what happened. I don't, I don't remember if you were there. You had to have been there. Though. I don't remember no UFC fight. I okay, never performed so he, at a UFC okay, fight. Okay, so then you weren't there then. Okay. So when he, he was doing a UFC fight. I'm not even sure if it was UFC yet. I don't, I don't know what the fuck. But it was a mixed mark. It was a Pentagon, right? Damn, it was a Pentagon. I never performed like it that. It was a Pentagon. The, the, the stadium was across street, and then the... The, the hotel room that we were staying at was right across the street from me, right okay. in front of it. Okay? So um, so he does his shit. And then, man, you got to I don't remember the name of the motel, but it's in Colorado. And we used to drink in the bar in the bottom before we used to go fucking perform and Talking about Pueblo. Pueblo. Yeah, I remember that okay. spot. That All shit right. was famous right that there. Shit, yes. We okay. knew the owners of the bar, yes, everything. Yeah. Yes, sir. They used to mm-hmm. take care of us. Sick. Mm-hmm. So um, when we went back up to the rooms, one of the losers of one of those fights... Um, was mad at Capone for some reason. I don't know. Uh-huh. And was trying to... A uh, mixed martial artist, professional, was trying <laughs> oh, to beat Capone's ass that night. In the room? No. in the So he's in the hallway of the motel rooms, banging on doors looking for Capone. <coughs> oh, shit. And he's like, fuck you, Capone. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Come outside, motherfucker. And we're in the room. Me, I definitely don't remember Look, that. listen. Me, Grumpy, Capone are in the room. Stops. <laughs> okay, and this don't sound like look, it's gonna listen, end no, good listen, for this listen. So Stops is like, nah, fool. This fool is a monster. Okay, the fighter, he was not an average man, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This fool is like four dudes in one. He okay. was heavyweight, bro. You know? He was coming. Yeah, we we're about to blow his fucking back out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So um, he's knocking on the door, and then Stomper's like, he looks like a point. He's like, what are you gonna do, dick? <laughs> 
<laughs> he's like, you're gonna go outside? And Capone's like, fuck no, I ain't gonna. Lie. <laughs> fuck, am I going? He's like, uh, Capone's like, I don't even know that fool. What am I gonna go out there for? He's like, yeah. fool, he's calling you, dog. You know what I mean? So the fool, now the fool's pounding on our door, dog. Oh, he's at oh. your door. He's at the door. He knows you guys are in there. He knows we're in. Okay. He's not sure what room. So he's going back and forth, back and forth. So then, so then we're drunk, fool lit, right? So then Stomps is like, fuck this shit, fool. I'm going outside, eh? And he goes, give me the camera. So he gets the camera and to kill the, I don't know what he was thinking, dog, but he comes out the room, he closes it, and he's like, what do you got to say about Capone on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> and that fucking fighter fool's like, you're a bitch, bro. Fuck you. I'm going to beat this shit out of you. He's like, we're, but the guy's not knowing like how to react. You understand what I'm saying? He's thinking that we're like an actual fucking catch some kind of footage, dog. Long story short, dog, Capone fucking, I mean, um, Stomps records this fool threatening to beat the shit out of Capone the whole time till where he finally like calmed down and leaves. And then we go back in the room and Capone's like, what happened? And then Stomps is like, here, dick, this is what happened. <laughs> he like, he left the message for you, bro. And fucking that was it, dog. Like we hit, we, well, Capone was in the room all night. We still went out to go turn up, you know what I mean? Because he was already cool with us, the fighter guy. But this fool didn't want to see him but, down yeah, there. Fuck, I didn't want to see him neither. None of us want to see nah. that motherfucker. Man, them boys, they fight for real, you know? You remind me of a couple of times. I remember situations like that in the situation uh, with Stomps in, the, in this hotel when we were tripping, some fools tripping on us in Las Cruces. Do you remember that? No, I wasn't there. Uh, yeah, I remember that time. That, them fools were, uh, yeah, it was some crazy shit happening. But yeah, either way, those are those are the, the memories that we, we laugh at and we just trip out on. Uh, do you remember the time we were in Arizona, Phoenix, and we're all smoking in the hotel, and they kept telling me not to smoke? Yeah, it was my I remember room. that, yeah. And then they called the Huras, mm -hmm. and we started running down the fucking, mm -hmm. uh, the flights of the emergency fucking fire stairs. Emergency flights, yeah. And we went down the back, and it was like 20 car loads dipping out the front, out the back, and they're all coming in the front, yeah. never caught us. We're all dipping on the main streets of Phoenix, fucking still smoking. That was when, like, if you got caught with Yeska, you do, like, 10 years in Phoenix. Yeah. Like, five at least back then. Shit, that was fucking, they were, I remember when they raided the bus in Utah. Talk Remember they gaffled it. us up in Utah. They follow. What what happened? I think did the homies beat somebody up? We just got done whooping ass. Yeah, yeah. we beat somebody All up. All of us. And then you were putting hands on fools yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat yeah. somebody up. <laughs> we beat the shit out of them. Beat the shit out of them. Oh, it was them guys, huh? The other side. It was the other side. Yeah, and I remember it was the other side. So we pulled up to the autograph <laughs> signing. We were doing our shit. Stomper was in the bus. A couple of homies were in the bus smoking yes guy. And then someone hopped out the bus and said, "Hey, fool, these fools are tripping." We were inside. Me, Capone. I don't remember who else, but it was a couple of us. My homie, long face, rest in peace, couple of us. All I remember was by the time we tried to get to the bus, them fools were outside of the, their cars tripping, and one of them had a, a, a like a dent puller. Mm -hmm. Remember that shit? Mm -hmm. So everyone started scrapping. I remember Stomper threw a fucking, uh, the 40 at yeah. fools' face yeah. started cracking. Everyone was throwing blows. We all jumped back in the bus because a blammer came out. Uh -huh. Somebody on our side had a blammer. Mm -hmm. I remember it was like, we we're backing up, and then, as we're backing up, the fool's like, look, fool, there's cameras everywhere, even back then. He's mm -hmm. like, fool, we're, everything's getting recorded because he wanted to let off the homie that had it. Mm -hmm. And they were like, just chill, chill, chill. And this fool thought we were being weak, mm -hmm. so he fucking started breaking the window of the fucking bus with the with the um, the dent puller. And then we tried to dip. Yeah, I remember. And I remember very clearly, like yesterday, I don't know why or who ratted or who said what, which I didn't even have the strap, but we got pulled over like three mm -hmm. parking lots down, and the hoodas had a circle. And they were digging in the bus because somebody has, obviously, mm -hmm. we, we stashed some shit, right? And uh, I remember they put me and Capone in the back of the car. Do you remember that? Yeah. And they put me and ba Capone in the back of the car. And I remember they were like, we will not stop until we get that gun off this bus. I said, I don't know about no butt gun. The only other homie said, I don't know about no gun. I remember very clearly, little Tweety mm -hmm. was rapping to some little underage honey because mm -hmm. he was underage. Yeah, he was, he was like 14. Yep, he was and all a of a sudden, boy. I remember <laughs> as they pulled up, the girl ran up to the bus and she's like, what, what, where are you going to be after? And he's like, here, take this. Like like he told her <clears throat> and gave her the strap for when the little fucking Hannah took off with the strap and they uh. searched the shit out the bus and never found it. And like 10 minutes later, little Tweety goes, well, I remember, I remember, remember his voice? He yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. Careful, hits the strap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, I remember looking back though and, and that and, shit was like 2001. And old boy that got cracked with the 40, like they were dragging him into the oh, car. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were leaking hey, gotcha. Hey homie, we used to go out of some yeah. battles. Do you remember what happened that night at the show? We all got separated, fool. It went off in the club that yeah, night. Yeah, I remember that night. Yeah, it yeah. It bled into the club. Then fools came yeah, tripping. Yeah, yeah, I remember when it's so the club. That was another fool that yeah. was with us and he was a boxer, remember? The oh, Italian um, fool's like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a boxer, I'm a be your high yeah, power yeah, security. Yeah, the yeah. Whole what's time his I name? Fool that fool got fuck. knocked out in two seconds. Yeah, he had a glass jaw like a motherfucker. Hey, fool. So all, all, no all I remember, all I remember was this: we were on stage, 
And I just remember seeing a bottle fly by. And we never had that energy. And I said, what the fuck was that, homie? And I said, oh, hell no. Nah. Someone's fucking throwing fucking bottles at us, homie. The next thing you know, I remember the security fool that was talking the whole time he was with us. Remember, he was all mm-hmm. fucking, hey, homie, I'm not fools out. Up, I got yeah. this. Well, he jumped down quick. He got boom. Yeah, Within he meant seconds, it, but he wasn't ready. He, boom, boom, <laughs> they fucked him up. Right, now, the yeah. next thing you know, I remember we were throwing shit back. They were throwing shit back. Your homie was, was there rumble. with us. What was your big homie light skinned fool? Big Baby Huey. Baby Huey. He was there. Remember? He was laying fools yeah, out. He was knocking fools he out. He was knocking that fools shit. out. He was our silver leg gang, yeah. homie. Yeah. Boom. Baby. What's up with him? He's Man, done? that fool's burnt out the game. Oh, yeah? Yeah, right. unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is, you know? Big old stud, man. <laughs> he's a big, right? stud. He's a big, big monster, stud, yeah. fool. Yeah, that's my homie from my. I remember movie. Villain grabbing fucking we'd fight, and I remember Grip. Oh, Villain, Villain just texted me and said, "What's up, fool?" Grab fools from the fucking. You, you know how you let's say your little kid like you have a toddler, two year old or something that's going too far, and you grab him from the pants and you lift them back. He was grabbing grown ass men like that. Hey, I was, I was like the, I was the tallest homie, though. but I was like one of the smallest homies from my hood, right? A yeah, lot yeah, of, yeah, my yeah, homies yeah, were yeah. big. All, all, all of us were big. Back yeah, then, we were healthy. We were not me like these motherfuckers. Nah. <laughs> These motherfuckers can't hang, bro. Hey. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are, are, are horse jockeys. Fool. We're like fucking, <laughs> we're like globe trotters out there, motherfucker. We nah, put, but put let's be real though. Even Locote was a big old fool. Like, hey, I told him that story the shit. other day. He remembered for when he locked up on me in the studio. It was just me and him, fool. <laughs> and I'll never forget that fool was like talking all kinds of shit. And I looked at that fool and he made this face like, like, what's up, homie? You remember he used to do some shit with his face? And I told him, fool, you ain't talking to me like that. And next you know, we're up in each other's face, and, like, we're just about to start throwing them. And he goes, that's right, little homie. That's why I like that was, you. That, you was, a, that, I was like, the face that, that was the face that opened the budget every time he needed you. <laughs> <laughs> the Suge Knight of the rap game, huh? That shit was fucking funny, though, out there, man. You heard, you heard from him lately? Nah, you know what? Okay, you know how I'm Hold on, I'm not done with my story. Okay, let's go. So these fools start throwing the bottles at us. Yeah. I and remember though, you know, I remember that shit. We hop off, and the next you know, we go from performing to mm. fucking all of us scrapping. Mm. And the next you know, we're all getting down, and you just hear a blah, 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 yeah. blah. The whole club cleared out, and then that whole shit got shut down. We all just started jumping in random people's cars. I jumped in some fans' cars. I don't even yep. know who the fuck. I jumped in with they, some older people. And then, then they wanted to kidnap me, because they're like, yeah, oh, my they God, Yeah, they took me criminal. to a motel. They yeah, took they're like, me to like a motel I'm like, hey, homie, take me back to my motherfucking hotel. They're like, hey, homie, hold on. I don't want you to meet my little brother. I'm like, fuck that, homie. Take me back. I'm in yeah, fucking yeah. Salt Lake City for where we at right now. People used to be crazy, fool. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, homie, I got criminal right now with me. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. motherfucker, you don't, homie. I'm going to start walking <laughs> home. For real, fool. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah but yeah, that, I just wanted shows. to bring that up, homie. Like, that's the way our shows used to go down. Yeah. Right. And that's why my wife used to be back in the days like, oh, I want to go to your show. Damn, I'm like, no, nah. you don't. Nobody brought, nobody brought no chicks. Because, no... because it was violent. Yeah, it was violent as fuck, dog. It was violent. At any given time, fool, fools were scrapping in two seconds. I remember I, I would be so annoyed with fools talking in my face drunk. I, it was very rare. And then Capone had to like school me, like, hey, fool, you can't be socking up the fans, dog. Yeah. Like every show we go to, you're bombing on fans, fool. Chill out a little bit, dog. And I had to learn, like, that that's not the way to get down. You know what I mean? Yeah, most definitely. But go ahead, tell your story now. Fuck, I forgot what it was, man. Oh. Hey, you want to rewind the tape, Crimp? No, no, don't rewind it. <laughs> <laughs> don't rewind it, don't rewind it. Hey, they're nah, loving yeah, these stories, man. That was good times, man. Shit. Hey, but, but you know, they lit up my bus in Salt Lake. Yeah, and I think that might have been residual, yeah. <laughs> residual I income. Heard about that. Yeah. yeah, they yeah, shot, yeah. they shot one of my artists in the school. That was, and this fool did. He did. You know what he did the night he got shot? Fool, I don't gotta clown this fool. <laughs> this fool with my that record label's name on him, his name slash crime family. All ah. this fucking shit was like this the night he got shot. Ah. <laughs> They shot me on my ass and put a picture of his school with the bullet holes leaking. I'm like, yeah. That's like what I was going to say. When, when I went on the run, time. when I went on the run, what? I remember Locote pulling me to the side and he was like, Ozo, you all right? And I'm like, yeah, fool, I got some shit going on. He's like, check this out. I just moved to this secret ranch in Riverside. If you want to come hide out with me, you come hide out with me over there. And all I'm thinking is like, fool, I ain't going to go. You're probably cutting chicken's heads off and doing all kinds of crazy shit. Like, I'm not going with you, dog. Yeah. But he but he opened his home to me. You know what I mean? He was like, fool, you don't got to go to Colorado. Yeah. He's like, fuck that. Like, come to, the, come to the ranch with me. I was like, nah, fool, I can't do it. Hey, something about Locote. I'm telling you, the first time I met with him and his homies was nothing about rapping. It was extra gangster shit. I can't even talk about it, but it was just too much. And I was just like, fool, I got to get out of here. You motherfuckers are doing the most. You know? <laughs> him and his homies were the most for it. Well, he was trying to fight all the rappers back then. Oh, yeah, for sure, for Locote sure. Even me, everybody. fool, was trying to fight me, motherfucker. I had to tell that fool, chill the fuck out, huh? Hey, fool, don't put no fucking spell on me right now just because I'm talking about a whole story, too. Fool, chill out. <laughs> Come on, I'm a child of God. 
But anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Nah, for real though. So, um, not good memories, homes, good shit. I remember uh a lot of dope spots, a lot of dope different things that we did. Like I said, Villain just texted a little bit ago, said dope interview. Um, shout out to you. And then we had little Yogi YB 999 said dope interview. Shout out to Crimes and, and Bozo. And then we also had, I don't wanna forget about the people that are showing love. We also had the homie on took a picture. Hard hit, hard hit, hard ink. Said much respect from Corton from Big Tense for Big Tense, Big Bozo, criminal. Hit up Bozo a couple years ago. Hit me back during his break when was working at Time and Temps last year. Got back hour later. Real homies, real humble. Salute. Most definitely. People see that that you guys don't forget where you come from, homie. So what does that mean to you to still have the love that you have? for everywhere you go, because it's obviously still appreciated the, the contribution that you've been giving to this right now. Shit, I'm thankful and I'm humbled by it, shit, yeah. to be honest with you, like, you know, because, um, how can I say it, man? Sometimes the the doubts and the hopelessness that they instill in you mm -hmm. behind prison walls or in the streets, yeah, you don't shake it, you know what I'm saying? Now uh, what? Wait, wait! Uh, I want to stop that mm -hmm. real quick because what? What? What do they instill in you with doubts? Because I'm gonna be real. From my mm -hmm. experience, I never went to prison, mm -hmm. but I was obviously a ward in the state. Grew up fucking mm -hmm. straight juvenile hall baby. I, if me, me personally, I'm telling you, me, mm -hmm. it, it gave me a lot more confidence. Mm -hmm. It gave me a lot more chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I didn't experience that. Explain to people why it gave that that experience. Because um, so what happens? So what happens is this, dog. You become a product of your environment, right? Yes, sir. And and all you know is us. Mm -hmm. You know, and that shit goes on for a very long time, especially when you're doing stretches, you know what I'm saying? So the other side of that isn't gangster doesn't get to breathe or ever come to surface. Mm. So you're always that person that's liable to cause violence, liable to fucking cause destruction. You're the person that needs to be in that fucking box locked behind the door all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? And they don't do it. Verbally, they do it physically by the way that they treat you while you're in prison. You know what I mean? Everything that 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 Slamming takes you part, down, everything, all that kind dog, of shit. everything, Taking all away that freedoms. Shit. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so so you do grow some kind of complex subconsciously, whether you realize it or not. You know what I'm saying? And when you come home and you're around people of worth that have been out here living life, accomplishing things, dog, it's belittling, dog. Especially for a man with pride. You know what I'm saying? Especially with somebody that that's used to being somebody. Because as a kid, you got to understand, dog, like, the gang shit and doing time and all that shit, it's glorified like a motherfucker. But once you get to that man stage, it's like, what well, bills are you paying, dog? Like, and ain't what, nobody what, talking about that shit. What, and you know what I'm saying? What do, what do you own? Like, what are your plans for the next five years? No, no, you know what I'm saying? That's like, the shit I'm on. Nobody, nobody, you know, so when you have those conversations, dog, it you're, you're almost hit by surprise. You don't even know how to respond. You know what I'm saying? Because all the other conversations that you've been engaging for, for whatever, so many years... It's all negativity, dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, so a lot of times, I still can't see myself as somebody of um, of so much influence and importance. You know what I mean? Like, I do give myself credit for you know being a solid dude and all that shit, right? But I never see myself as somebody better than the next man or 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 bigger than the next man. You know what I'm saying? To me, like, I know when shit hits the fan, dog. Worms gonna be eating me just like they're eating you. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So um, nobody's gonna go past that. Yeah, dog. So it was hard. It was a hard adjustment. You know what I mean? Um, like even when I put myself in school, to go back to school was extremely hard. But I knew I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? I knew that I had to get out of that comfort zone and and dig back into my intellectual intelligence. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was a process to build myself back up. Damn. You know what I mean? Like like I had that grit. You know what I'm saying? But but I also had shame inside of me that I was sleeping on my sister's couch at 30 something coming home from doing 10 year bid without nothing to show. You understand what I'm saying? So um it was hard, dog. It, it was definitely hard, but um it's humbling though, you know what I'm saying? Because to this day I don't I don't ever um think myself too big to go hit a fucking nine to five shift if I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I never see myself. Um, I like that that you said that in the track that I posted on the shit. Like yeah. I'm up early chasing this bread. Like, yeah. like that's real man. Shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So um, it was an adjustment, dog, and it took time. But luckily for me, though, I have a strong foundation. I have a lot of strong women in my family. You know what I'm saying? Um, my daughter's been very fucking played a big role in that shit too. They never let me lose my confidence. You know? Yeah. So um, when I came home, 
you know, they, they made me feel like I can do it, though. Like, everything's all right, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been taking losses, but now it's time to rise up. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I did. But, um, but yeah, dog. And I, and I, you know what? And I, lo- and I love to share with my people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I love to share whatever little experiences I can and whatever, um, you know, even a smile with them, dog. You know what I'm saying? Laugh and shit. Like, I go live. I, I try to answer every question. You know what I mean? Bring people on. Like, I just... I just like to see the people that are following me, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that your following says a lot about yourself, you know? For sure. You know what I mean? 100%. Now, <clears throat> to take it to a level of, how should I, how should I say, authority, because mm-hmm. I feel like there's a, a position of you that definitely speaks for the people mm-hmm. when you see shit that you don't like or, or something that's offensive to our culture. Yeah. And obviously, we had our conversations about our shit with, with a song that I had. But I seen recently you had a, another one where you were speaking on uh, some twins or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. some females. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so what makes you feel like you got to speak up? Do you feel like because nobody's doing it, like speak on that? That. Well, aspect. I think that I have a different perspective on the game. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I've had the opportunity, unfortunately, to sit back and watch. Yeah. You know, I had a lot of years to sit back and watch, analyze, and before that, being a fan of hip hop, I learned a lot from that too. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, I, I as I as I've seen hip hop grow into the monster that it is now. I've seen it little by little monetize its self-respect. Little by little, like, it, it, it lost its integrity, it lost what it was supposed to stand for, and it lost its substance, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I've seen that, um, I don't want to put a, a color or a face on who exploits the culture, but I've seen the exploitation of the culture, right? And as we stand right now, I like to think that us, in our genre, or our community, we still keep the integrity intact when it comes to... Not only the individuals that represent us, but the shit that we're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know that it's a thin line between something being brought to the table that can either be funny or insulting to the people. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that it's important that while we're going through... Because we're all growing, dog. We're, this genre is still growing. It's not done. You know what I mean? It's not done growing. We're still like in a, in, a, in a premature stage of it. So I think that us, like us that have been around, right? Yeah. We have the opportunity now to learn from hip hop's mistakes, so we can see things coming before they come, and we need to nip them in the bud before they become bigger monsters. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I originally think that when when other races start using the N word, the black community should have shut that shit down right away. Quick, though. quick, like that shit. It should have never been a question. It should never been accepted. I agree to it that. It should never been as a way. So that's why I see us in our position now. You know what I'm saying? And for somebody to turn the word beaner into a a, a I don't know, some kind of a phrase of compliment. Like, first of all, us that are born in this country, we don't have the right to use that word in any type of way. Because those those labels and those derogatory um, names were meant for our people that just crossed the border. So we don't own that phrase, dog. Which, that, which was my pops. Her, you know what I'm saying? Which was my pop, so I take that shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, too, yeah. right? Okay. So to me, it's like, I know these young generations think that um, it's about shock value, you know what I mean? It's about, um, you know, um, saying trans and, you know, um, getting hyped through negativity and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think that um, when it comes to our culture, if somebody's saying something with the ability that we have to reach out and uh, really impose our will, we should. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that um, nobody should ever um, take that obligation for granted. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Because at the end of the day, dog, it is going to hurt us. You know what I'm saying? And like I told, I had a conversation with... um. Compton AD, re- Compton AD recently, right? Yeah, shout out to homie. Shout out Compton and, and the homies at the uh, community. Um, he 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 came across a situation with a dropout that was um, you know, calling out his name, disrespecting him, whatever, right? So I reached out to um, AD dog, and I told him, look, dog. When we originally went up there to no jumper, you know what I mean? Um, you should have let us smash the shit out of old boy. You know what I mean? I told him, you see what happens now? Like, you give these motherfuckers a pass, and they start being encouraged by it. You know what I'm saying? And now, you got this outsider bringing people from your circle yeah. to talk against you. You understand what I'm saying? I told, him, you gotta, I told him, you got to understand, dog. Like, the value in your presence in this music game is based on the validity, the lineage, and the respect of the elders that came before you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they left you guys an inheritance, dog. Like, being a crip isn't nothing to play with. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's there's men that died and put in mad work for that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? 
And now for some goofy ass outsider to come and stir the pot between you guys, you know what I'm saying? You're losing the validity of what you guys, what is your, what is your biggest value? You know, do you get what I'm saying or no? Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so that's why I feel like if I have the opportunity, dog, and I have the ability to pump fools' brakes, then I should. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it doesn't always have to come with violence. I, I think common sense is a very fucking humbling weapon, dog. You know what I mean? When when you when you that a lot of people lack. A lot of people lack. A lot yeah. of people don't have the intelligence to see it. They just see the surface of shit, dog. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They don't see the layers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't see the roots or nothing. So I think that for us that we know that we have that vision, dog, and we have that awareness and we have that presence of mind to keep our mouth shut, fool, is to just encourage it. So that's why I talk my shit when I can. You know what I mean? Because um, I feel like I know enough and I feel like I'm in the right place to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I do. You know what I mean? I feel like um, I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like speak up for you guys, all of us. But I feel like we know each other well enough to know that um, to we know each other well enough to know how to uplift each other without having to consult with each other. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Like we know we stand on, we know where we come from, we know our beliefs. So as long as we're keeping it on that tip, then we're all gonna be in agreement. You feel what I'm saying? And even if you're not, it's something that you could at least still respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not no goofy shit to where you're like, man, that motherfucker ain't. You know what I mean? Who the fuck is this who's talking about do this and do that? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like other individuals that have come around and try to act like they're, you know what I mean? You got to tap in with them and no, 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 no. Like, stop it, not dog. even our character. Not, yeah, exactly. So like, like, we don't um, even care ourselves. Like yeah, that. so, you know, I, I, you know, I take that shit with pride, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I know I mean well, you know? Yeah. So at the end of the day, I, I go with my heart as far as that, you know? Hell yeah. As you should on, on anything that you believe in. It's just your outspoken. Now I get I got a lot of people in here that are saying a lot of shit. And uh there's somebody right now that's hating on both of us. And they're saying, What are these dudes speaking on? They're not even Rasa. I want okay. you to speak on that. Because everybody knows what I am. Uh -huh. Everybody knows what you are. I want you yeah. to speak on that and, and give your opinion on that. What what <laughs> cause I I feel like there's a lot of uneducated uneducated people or maybe just a lot of uneducated haters let's talk to them about it let me speak yeah so that. i'm gonna say i'm you know what like this shit right here is pretty simple dog you know um i think that people look dog i think that people fail to realize that the word ra rasa translation the 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 how do you say it what's, what's what am i looking for the definition of that word means race mm -hmm. it doesn't mean country mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it doesn't mean um, um, borderlines. It means a race of people. Like the brown man is a race. The white man is a race. So when you translate it in Spanish, it's raza. So for somebody that's claiming to be more Mexican than me and not know the definition, the meaning of that word, just tells me how stupid that motherfucker is to begin with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something, dog. Like That shit, when people bring that up, dog, it's insecurity, dog. It's a deep insecurity that... that you're doing something, dog, and the only way that they could diminish it is by telling you that you're not 100% something else, dog. But I'm going to tell you one thing, dog. One thing that I am for sure is a man, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? So I could give a fuck about what some goofy-ass fool is tapping in to see me, dog. You know damn well I ain't tapping in to see that motherfucker. For sure. You know what I mean? There ain't nobody in here. The fact, my boy, that you know my name and my presence, dog, I already own you, baby. Don't ever and, try and to speak were, up on they that. They were tapped in exactly at 7.59 waiting for us to go live, too. Yeah, That's the exactly what I'm part. saying, dog. And, and, but it's cool, though, dog, because you know what, dog? It's like what, what, what individuals fail to see when you're being petty, dog, you just, you're exposing your whole fucking hand, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't, call me, you can't call me a PC, boy. You can't call me a bum. You can't call me a deadbeat dad. The, the, the day that you say that shit about me, you're going to hurt me, bro. But all that other shit you saying, dog, that's just, you know what I mean? That's just telling me you a fan, homie. Yeah. You know so much about me, dog. You even know my lineage, motherfucker. But you wrong, baby. I'm an ESL student, bitch. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo hablo, escribo, leo español, pendejo, pa' que valgas verga, estúpido. No puta know. madre. That was the spider look. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you hear spider look talking shit about motherfuckers? Yeah, dog, ESL? look, man. That shit made me laugh, huh? <laughs> Um, you know what? But you know what, dog? Like, what? the more fools like that talk, I'm glad, though, bro. Yeah. Because they're being honest, homie. 
Yeah, they're letting and, their and feelings they're let, really be known. They're let, yeah, finally, because they got nothing to lose at this point. Yeah. Before, dog, when it when it when we were breaking bread, and there was and there was consequences to talking certain type of way, they didn't talk, bro. Motherfuckers weren't saying none of that shit. Tw like 15 years later, old boys talking that shit, and it's like, dog, that shit was unnecessary, bro. Like, at the end of the day, homie, like. You don't have to talk highly of somebody to show them you love them or, or have respect for them, you know what I'm saying? But to talk less on somebody reveals a lot about what, what, what you're not saying, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you talk about somebody that you've actually... Dog, like, for what it's worth, we put money in his pocket. I'm not saying me because it didn't come out of my bank account, right? Mm -hmm. But either way, we broke bread as men, dog. It's like, how do we go hunt together and at the end of the day, you say I wasn't worthy of our game? Damn. Of what we brought home, like, are you fucking crazy, homie? Like, you you were you were at the same job site that I was. So how does that make me any less than you, bro? You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, I I don't know how that makes sense, but I guess to somebody that um, you know, was a snake and wasn't disgenuous to begin with and was an opportunist, that's what's gonna come out, homie. You feel what I'm saying? It's the truth. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. way down the line, and I don't know that man. You know, like, I don't know him. I, I don't know shit about that dude. But um, as man, dog, like. For views, dog, and for hype, like you know, what I mean, you you, you gon' you gon' belittle somebody that you broke bread with that that helped you earn. At the end of the day, every step, dog, it counts. You know what I mean? Every step that you take counts. To so to discredit somebody because I don't know, dog, like you haven't seen them in a while, or whatever, like that's just fucking weak, homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, but to be honest with you, though, dog, and I'll say it right here in front of you, dog, like you've accomplished way more as an artist than that whoever did. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like um. And that's facts. I mean, we could pull out numbers. You know what I'm saying? Um, sure. Speaking of numbers, you know what I think is funny? Talk to me. <laughs> I saw a little update about the that that list that they put out about the top 40 rappers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Doug, let dying. me tell you something. I'm sorry about that. Fool, dying, that bro. fool Juan on Fool Community, my boy, when I see you, I'm slapping the fuck out of you. Who is that? Um, that fool that that fool <laughs> that pimps LA icon on fucking Fool Community. Who's, wait a second. Hold on. Hold, hold on, on, homie. Let so me that, stop this. Hold, hold on. on, hold on, on. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Did I just start some shit that I didn't mean to? Nah, you didn't start nothing. I'm just talking. What the okay, fuck? what happened? Oh. I didn't even know. I right, was just let me that, talk my I was shit talking then. about the fucking list. Yeah, well, that list is the few community. Am I wrong? Or am I directing the slugs at the wrong person? All right, let me tell you All something. Right, go though. ahead. No, go All right. On. Talk. talk Full community shit. is ran by this dude named Juan that no, never shows his face, right? Okay. Another fucking Mr. Little E. All these Vatos, homie, for some reason... Don't show their faces, homie. All right? For whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But I know what he looks like, so it's all good. Don't trip. Um, and these lists, dog, are being... what? Honestly, dog, the lists are a joke, homie. Because there's only certain individuals out here doing shows, selling them, and making moves, and doing homie, certain shit. I don't like, know how I keep getting left. I don't need no list. No, no, no. I'll, you tell, you one list, time I'll tell you one time right Hell now. Yeah. I could tell when people left, leave me off. And I don't have yeah. no beef with them. But you got to be blind to the fact that... Of who's really selling shit. Yeah. I don't even gotta be on the list, yeah. but I know that there's a lot of motherfuckers that should have been on that list, and I guarantee, like uh, they were on the bootleg kev shit, and they're like, yeah. "Fool, this fool don't even have nineteen thousand, twenty thousand fucking followers yeah, a month." Yeah, that's because you got a lame dude yeah. making the list, dog. Okay, okay, I understand. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is this, though, dog. Like these goofy ass motherfuckers, homie, think they're safe behind that camera, my boy. Like it's all good, homie. Like keep running the game you running, my boy. Like, at the end of the day, you, you're going to have to pay the piper, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. And, and it's not a threat. That's just the way life is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And every individual as a man has to understand that, homie. For everything you say, you got to pay a price, dog. And if and if, and if if there ain't no stock in you, dog, you can't afford that price. You know what I mean? Like, these Vatos got no stock. Whether it's Icon, whether it's him, they don't got the stock to be talking the way they're talking, homie. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you something, homie. Like, there is no integrity in that shit, homie. Like, you got Vatos right there talking about other individuals, dog, just based on their popularity, homie. Like, they don't give a fuck about honor on that platform. They don't give a fuck about righteousness. They don't even give a fuck about people with integrity, dog. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but you know, you keep playing with the devil, you're going to see him, dog. And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? But those lists, to me, they're for the little homies, dog. To be honest with you, I don't yeah, want to be yeah, on Yeah, I feel list. like that. To the me, same way. the little homies need those. And, and, and congratulations to everybody on that fucking list from top to bottom. Um, you guys need that shit, and I hope that yeah, encourages I mean, you no guys. Yeah, no disrespect to them. The nah, people nah, nah, on the nah. List. never I'm that, saying, never that, never I'm that. I'm just saying, there's something off with that shit. Well, it's, Every it's time, obvious, and it's I meant biased, the same homie. thing back it's in biased. the days. Uh, there used to be another list from a rappers from, or like a page from Texas. Yeah, yeah. And they'd always yeah. do our shit, and yeah, I'd just yeah. be laughing at like, who, who's making these fucking lists? Yeah. And I remember getting on one time like, four, you guys like 
a wake out here? Well, like, the, the, well it's you see bait. what the fuck is really happening? It's bait for this, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the difference between baiting a shark and baiting a flounder is this, dog. The shark gonna eat you, dog. You gonna bleed around the shark, baby. You can play with a flounder all you want. With a shark, you gonna bleed, dog. That's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? And all this goofy shit going on, dog. Like, ain't no passes for this shit, homie. Like, you guys haven't learned? So what was your original beef with them? Like, where did it start? Um, Cause I didn't even know. I wouldn't even have asked it, it was, about it. Look, dog, it's not a beef because if it was beef, dog, oh, it'd already be done with, right? Respect. But my opinion, yeah, my opinion losing. on these vatos is based on have the fact that. Have you ever met Icon? That, um, really? Yeah, I met Icon. I met okay. Icon. I know Icon well. Okay. I've done a lot of shit for Icon, right? But um, but I do. I, look, dog. This is the thing. This is the thing about me, dog. If I invest in you, dog, and I show you love, right? And and I show you um, I'm, and I'm a gentleman towards you, dog. Like like that means that I have respect for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But once you lose that respect for me, dog, like ain't no getting it back, dog. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I couldn't get Icon on the phone right now and have you guys squash. And I see it. Hell no. Um, I don't even know Icon like that either. Dog, it's not. But it, I just it, don't it, like having seen motherfuckers go at nah, it. Nah, like dog, this. listen, listen. It's not beef, homie. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not beef. Like you said earlier, right? Yeah. Um, you should be able to get at men and and confront them. And the way that they're confronting us is backdooring us. They're backdooring us. See, at least I have the nuts to say it in public. Fuck old boy and fuck old boy. I don't like him. Like, when you backdooring me, dog, that shit, that, that shit just irks me more. I see. You understand what I'm saying? Like, when you're behind doors talking about me and, and, and trying to put me on level, like, other oh, motherfuckers have, dog, that's the wrong thing to do. And I kind of should let his homie know. Whoever's behind, hiding behind that camera, like, I'm the wrong one to play with, dog. Like, it, it is what it is. You know, and it's not threats. What I mean by this is this, dog. When I say I'm the wrong one to play with is this. It's, it's not because I'm bigger and tougher than the dude, right? It's just that I'm too smart, dog. Mm-hmm. You don't want to play chess with me, homie. Trust me. Damn. Trust me. You don't want to... Come on, my boy. I've been out how many years? You see me play chess from behind. Come on, baby. I don't lose, dog. I, 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 I'm too strategic with this shit. Like, I'm not going to hurt these dudes physically, but I'm going to hurt you, dog. Trust me. Like, I have too much merit, dog. You can't play with me, dog. Damn. You know what I'm saying? When I say shit, it sticks, homie. You know what I mean? And and then if it don't stick, we'll make it stick. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know what these dudes think they're doing, dog. Playing and shit. Um, but all that fucking um, trying to backdoor motherfuckers. I seen that food for food community say that I would never be allowed on their platform. They said that about you. About me. Why? Right? Because you already stated this shit publicly. I don't even give a fuck why they said it. The point is that they said it. Damn. You, you understand know, what I'm saying? You don't know why though. Um, nah, not really. That's but, weird, huh? But I'm sure that um I said something that hurt their pussy or something. I don't know. I mean, but the fact is though, dog, like I I can say it though. You know, do you get where I'm going with this or not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, my this is what I'm saying, so the public can understand, right? Neither one of them motherfuckers on that panel is gonna say what they're saying behind closed doors to my face. Mm. See, I'll say it to the camera and I'll say it to a boy's face. Damn. So therefore, we're not equals, homie. Don't try to play with me like we're equals, dog. And then use a cheat code like fucking YouTube and closed doors and this and this and that to belittle my presence, homie. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. Like, so... And, 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 and listen, and let, me hear, and let me hear you. Let, and hear me out, dog. This is the first time they're going to find out about how, the, how I feel. Yeah, because I never knew this. It, uh, well, I want to share with you, my Crime boy. Crime family you know exclusive. So, um, exclusive. So, uh, exclusive. Uh, nah, but dog, it, it's, it's facts, dog. Like, like goofy-ass bottles, dog, like... I don't know, homie. Fail to lose. F- they lose respect for the homies, dog. Just cause, just cause views ain't big enough. And it's like, dog, like, I walked the line with your homies, fool. Mm-hmm. You know how many spreads I did with your homeboys? You know how many times I probably went to the hole with your homeboys? You know how many of your homies I've shown love out here in the streets? Like, are you stupid? You want to jeopardize that shit over some fucking bullshit ass? And then, and then, look, dog, like, if you look at Vato's character, homie, it tells you everything. That, <laughs> wow, these, these fools are too see-through, homie. Like, first you see Duno's carrying Icon everywhere. Duno's leaves, Icon stays there with the dude that just fucking belittled the little homie. It's like if me and you go somewhere together, we're leaving together, bro. You're not going to leave without me. What the fuck? Mm. We came here together. So then, then you see him sucking up to old oh boy that the pervert fool on, on that other show, No Jumper Show, Right? Mm. Ryan, old boys, wave. Ryan it, Ryan it, right. Seeing all that goofy shit going on, dog. Ryan it, Ryan it, Ryan it. Then, finally leaves to go with this other goofy-ass fool that don't even show his face. 
but it's doing the same shit that other motherfucker was doing. But the only difference is now this motherfucker's doing it to your own people, Damn. your own backyard. Come on, homie. Vultures are soft, homie. They got no heart. The, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers want to be popular, dog. They need to do is go on a fucking diet. The fuck they need to do? Stop playing games, dog. You're going to have a heart attack trying to fight me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but... It is what it is, homie. Like, <laughs> homie you know back there. You know what I'm saying? I was all serious, and I just see the homie dying in the bag, homie. Nah, I get, I get you, dog. I get you, and I get the frustration. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I? Let me you know ask what? you. Am I wrong, mother? You don't gotta agree with me. You can tell me, Bozo, you're fucking nah, nah, tripping. Nah, 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 nah. Do, do a thousand pushes real quick. Get that shit up. One thing I do want to highlight is that we do want to push positivity on this platform, but I do not. Positivity ever... comes at a cost. Yeah, better. and I don't, and I don't want to censor people. So you're the homie. You should be able to speak. I definitely. I think people, I get caught, uh, sometimes people say, oh, look, criminal clickbait shit, right? When Chito Ranas was here, dog, I could have picked that fucking interview apart, dog. Mm -hmm. I let the homies talk. I just let them vent. You know what I'm saying? I gave a little advice at the end. I'm just letting you vent right now. But yeah. at the end of the day, if I can, as a homie, say I'd rather see that go to the side and go. Look, because the truth is, Motherfuckers that like drama want to hear this. Yeah. And they, they're they going to feed on it. And this is going to get clipped 25 times before the morning, right? Let them. So, so I'm going to have to do it first. Yeah. Sure. But, it. but and that, that's the only reason why I do it. because and, and I have a team that does it because we get clipped so much. But this is the fact of the matter. We have a stronger voice of using our platforms yeah. together, like we said in the beginning yeah. of this conversation. And that goes with podcasts as well. So we yeah. just need to get it together. We just need to clean up. And we just need to have the private conversations or the public ones like this and be able to hash out our problems without the violence, without the bullshit. Because I do believe you have too much to lose. And I do believe that it's not worth throwing fucking yours off for, for some shit. Dog, we don't, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't fear weaklings, dog. Nah, for sure. There ain't no fear no in that fear. shit, dog. And we know what it is. We know reputations. We know we got receipts fuck on all these then, motherfuckers. Fuck everybody. Yeah. Let's go to nah, work, not right? everybody. Not, look, listen. <laughs> Not everybody. Nah, I know. I'm just it's fucking. it's fuck the ones that are fucking discrediting our people, dog. You feel what I'm saying? You think they're doing that? Hell, come on, bro. Like other than other than their list. Other than my, uh, yeah, dog. Okay, let me tell you something, dog. Okay. If you're bringing if you're bringing youngsters in, young young men for when they're twenties. Yeah. And you're and you're asking them about beefs, dog, with other young men. That's the topic of your of your conversation. That's what's happening? That, dog. I haven't had a chance. Well, I've seen a few right. clips. I've seen well, a few clips. Sky, I haven't had a I've chance seen a few see clips, and that's that's all that's happening. So what happened was this, dog. Icon was a mole at no jumper, soaked up all the game he could. They came to full community after learning from his Grand Mason over there, and is doing the same shit, bro. That's all I see, and I'm a man, dog. I'm a very smart man. I see. I've seen. I've been in the worst places with the biggest of manipulators and snakes, dog. I've been with the anacondas for fucking decades. So it's not hard for me to see the games, dog. You know what I'm saying? These fools are puppet masters, but without degrees, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't even know how, they don't even know how to pull strings yet, dog. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but we're going to show them, though. We're going to show them what it is. It's all good. You know what I mean? Um, Damn. I got a couple powerful minds shaking their head yes in this room, and it's kind of making me feel like... Uh... I need to get my shit together, so. <laughs> I don't ever want to be on this side of that shit. I like to be real you know with my people and keep love. Nah, but on some real shit, homie, on some real shit, I do think it's commendable that we have people as passionate as you, because I have my passion too. And there's certain things that piss me off and I get kicked well, Definitely. Off, and I think I've displayed it in life, and I try to do it in a classy way on here. I get uh, accused a lot of playing tough guy. Yeah. They're like, oh, criminal with his fake tough guy shit. Trust me when I say this ain't no tough guy shit. You see me in the hotel rooms slapping For fools, sure. making fools take off their shirts, taking straps from fools, making fools walk out the hotel with tats on their face with, with no shoes on. Dog, did you that's, not think that's me tough guy something. shit? And that was before the rap game had. We didn't have no cameras, homie. And I was really that fool. And but this is a man right here that could vouch for no, it. No, for sure. Hell yeah. I slapped the shit out of fools yeah. to fools pissed themselves. Look, let me give you a perfect example. One of the little homies in the game, right? I'm not going to say his name. Yeah. Okay? Little homie has some issues in the hood, fool. All right. Amongst him and his squad. Homie's solid. Ain't no, ain't no trash ass fool. Mm. Ain't no lame. You know what I mean? He had a situation between him and one of his homies. They fucking posted on their shit. Why are they posting hood, hood shit and their shit to belittle the little homie? You're saying who? The fool community? The fool community, dog. Damn. They, they, look, dog. They posted Southside business, homie. Like... Behind closed doors. Damn. That's just levi as fuck, my boy. I don't give a fuck. 
And that's why I'm mad, homie. Because I, I know the little homie. And I know the little homie's solid. You know what I'm saying? And they try to belittle the little homie on their platform, dog. Just because they think they're fucking cool. You know what I'm saying? Sucks. They ain't nobody to be playing with the little homie's reputation. This young man still has fucking 30 years of thuggery coming. Because he's, he's, he's one of them. He's, he's with the shits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this little homie ain't going to quit five years from now, 20 years from now. These motherfuckers over there putting that shit public when the little homie's still solid, dog. That's some crazy shit. And that's the, the era of the internet. That's the basically what, what we got to, right? I mean, yes. And um, shit, we're going to write a new volume in this motherfucker. We're going to start slapping podcasters, bro. <laughs> Straight up. up you, ain't, you came on here My boy, No, tonight, listen. Bro. This ain't even big talk. Nah. I'm just talking as a man, dog. This is how men talk. Yeah, I mean, nah, for sure. you know, what am I going to do? Write them a fucking detention note? Fuck no. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, bro. It, it's not to be tough, homie. It just is. This is the way the shit's cut, bro. It, it's not to be tough. I could get beat up, smoked on the way home. <laughs> I'm not nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, bigger, badder motherfuckers than me have got laid out. You know? Yeah. Um, But when these suckers are belittling the homies, nah, dog. We can't let that shit ride. What are we telling? What are we telling the little homies that we don't stick up for them, that we don't speak up with them it's for them? Bad, when, it's a bad. When, that, when, that's old, a when bad older, when example. grown ass men are doing that shit to them, fuck that. I'm here for my little homies all day, every day. Yeah, all make day. one, make one, not break one. Yeah, man. yeah, these motherfuckers. Yeah, we broke some, but they had it coming. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Some got broke, but they were asking for it. It wasn't us giving it to them. It wasn't us poking and prodding. Them motherfuckers were knocking on our doors asking for it. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But this shit is like. Man, it's dog. Anyways, yeah. Can I spark up or what? you gonna let me smoke a it cigarette? Now? Yeah. You can't smoke tobacco in here. Well, then bro. give me some. Here, get this one. What the fuck? You said it's trash. Not this. Well, this is the <laughs> shit I've been rolling for. You found it? You this finally like found the good shit. shit? Yeah, I found the good shit. Smoke it. This is some trade craft farms. That new is good. Brand new shop in Omani, California. Tell them criminal sent you for a 10% discount. Yeah, but nah, you and know. And that's Critical's engineering in the back, all <laughs> sick with it. I'm going to send that to Tradecraft. My brother's over there. They're going to be happy as hell to want. And this is a Tradecraft joint. Tradecraft's hey, fire. Hey, it's fire as hell, homie. Hazard gave me some of that shit. Show's fire. Who? Hazard, the, Hazard, the dude that be rapping the rap, and shit? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Uh, well, I wanted to say. But yeah, but off that topic. Yeah, I was going to say, let's change, let's change that shit up, homie, because yeah. I think you made that point clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Paco sure. Fuerte said, Bozo needs a hug. Uh, you know what I need, my boy? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I need, bro. <laughs> Some yes, cop. Look what? I'm going to tell you what I need. Nah, man, look, man. Don't get me wrong, Hit dog. this shit for real. Before you hit that shit. Don't get me wrong. Work. Don't get me Mr. wrong, Mr. I need look. to stay sharp. Don't You're get sharp, me wrong, bro. dog. Look. Come on. When, when you know, like, I, you might not love your brothers the way I do, homie. That's just all it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, I really take pride in this shit. Um, you know, I, when I lost my mother, the hood raised me, dog. You feel what I'm saying? So th this is my family, bro. You got to understand that, you know, Good like shit. I do have my sisters and I do have, you know, a lot of family, but the hood and the homies and the joy and, you know, to this day, they played a big part. So I love my squad, fool. And you can't knock me for it. What the nah, fuck? Not even close. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers dying for the Dodgers. At least it's I, crazy, you know right? what I mean? At least I'm out here with my brothers, you know and what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and we're trying to win. We're not out there. Hey, for when that fool stomp got stomped out, I'm not trying to clown that, but remember the giant got stomped out at the Dodger Stadium? Hey, fool, when that, that wanted poster po popped up, fool, that motherfucker looked like my homie Droopy from my hood so bad. Everybody was blowing me up like, hey, fool, was that Droopy from Silver Lake? I'm like, nah, that wasn't the homie. He's in prison right now. <laughs> what that fool? <laughs> That's fucked up. He was, he, was doing some, home, yeah. he, was, he was doing some time, but all the homies were blowing me up. That was the first thing I told my lady. I was like, damn, it looks like my homie Droopy. <coughs> did he get out soon or something? Like, did he get out early? Because that fool stays at the Dodger games. But thank God that wasn't Droopy. I think they said yeah, it was man. some folks from Rialto or some shit. That shit was funny as fuck, though, but either way he's like nah i'm not trying to laugh with you criminal i'm trying to fucking trip on somebody right now <laughs> who's next dog keep on come on let's go bring him who's next nah, I'm just nah, but nah we'll be we ain't posting that but we'll be victorious too don't worry about it yeah That's always always like you know I said. what Whatever you got to, to to bring to the game, homie, I know it's passion, fool. So that's all that matters. Shout out to Ho Killer sixty nine said uh, with the with the donation. I need a King Little G and Bozo album. The next one is uh, uh, I can't see the name now, but it said Criminal and Bozo. Keep it going. This is a dope ass interview. Much love from the eight hundred five. So, what was the most uh, how could I say surprising thing that you could say when you got out of prison this last time? 
that the game changed? What was something that you feel like um, was they, a big difference from from, they, from when we were running it? Well, um, they gave us an advantage okay. for once, you know. Mm -hmm. um, our community is hardworking, so I'm very passionate. Put up the phone number quick. So once they gave us, um, once they gave us um, digital platforms and all that shit to go independent, I, I knew it was just a matter of time. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, what they're giving us is this: like they're giving us all the tools to create your own label. Straight up. And with the ethic and the intelligence that we have in our community, it's a matter of time, dog, before either the youngsters or somebody in our era becomes a, a, the new Diddy or the new fucking rock rock fellow, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's gonna happen, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's gonna happen. And um, I thought that was a great thing, dog. I just think that um, it's a challenge to get people to understand that it's hard work. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen overnight. Um, we just got to do the diligence and that's stay diligent, dog, and put in the work. You know what I mean? But it's a beautiful thing, dog. I think like independence is fucking great. You know? Hell yeah. <clears throat> as, a, as a matter of fact, that's the school that we were taught. Yeah. And Capone taught us all, yeah. each and every one of that, us that. Uh, we might, not a lot of us... Uh, might have been paying attention maybe subconsciously maybe fully aware but i think each and every one of us had a front row seat to learn the game top to bottom from merchandising to traveling to how to uh you know to to maneuver book shows uh we were fucking in school my boy and yeah, getting paid for, sure. for it you know so i think that was a beautiful thing Holmes. when was the last time you talked to this food capone that's a capone cat fuck a long ass time ago bro to be honest yeah. with you yeah it's been too long i don't even remember would you would you be open to do the high power reunion if if one day you yeah had for sure yeah 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 for sure um I you know I think the situation with me and Capone is like you know he um I don't know man he tried to um approach me in a in a manner that he shouldn't have you know mm. and now he knows and it won't happen again I'm sure you know yeah and I made my point across and that's it like you know what I'm saying like it, you know it ain't about um. It ain't about who won, you know what I mean? It's about who understands who, and that's just that. We understand each other, and that's just that. You know what I mean? Behind, silently, we know where we're at, you know what I mean? And that's I'm dope. doing good, and he's doing his, and that's it. Like, at the end of the day, um, shit, I don't want to see that nothing happen to that man, you know? Hell yeah. Like, shit, fuck that. Like, nah. It's, it's, you know, it's a misunderstanding. That's just that, dog. It's it was with. dope when I called him about the conversation I had with you and you had with him. You guys both pretty much were cool about it. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. was, like, still talking shit. Nobody was, like, it was just, like, it's all good, dog. Like, and he was even like, fool, if you want me to follow him and I'll follow him. Or I don't remember who said that first. But at the end of the day, you motherfuckers didn't follow each other. So, fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, all good. I can't, I can't nah, make everything it, it happen. It is all good because, look, dog, at the end of the day, like, um, I, I, like, I can't speak for him. But if I see him, um, I'll smile, fool. Yeah. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be this. You know what I mean? For sure. And I'm glad you to hear smile that. And just be like, That's what we need. I mean, huh? I mean it, we need that. We do. We but do after... That. After we, we establish certain things. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? At, at a point, you know? You got to let people know that they can't fuck with you, dog. I don't yes, give sir. a fuck, you know? So I was on Whittier Boulevard, fool. Cruising in my six dose. Mm -hmm. Hitting the airbag switches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All you heard was Eric going, shh, shh. But I was, I was cruising. I heard I said, crimes. And I see Bozo hopping out, fucking running at my Impala, fool. <laughs> what the hell were you doing on the, the boulevard, fool? I was, out, I was out looking for a skite. Is that right? Hell you yeah. Man, hell eat? yeah. I was, well, right there on with us, so I got all this shit ass shit. Yeah, so did you get it? Hell yeah, I got it. Yeah? I got that and the churros with the caramel on that shit. Eesh. Right there, right across the street from the, um, the Commerce Theater. Right there down the so street. So you just saw me like cruising like yeah, that? Yeah, I just saw you. It was me and my girl. I was like, oh shit. It's At first, I recognized your car. Yeah. I recognize because I remember when you just got it. Yeah. And then I shot you a picture of my green on Beamer, the 740. Yeah. And then I was like, damn, that shit, because I like that color. That forest green's my shit. It's hard, right? You know what? It, it takes me back to the, remember when the Honda Accords first came out? Like the 94s? Oh, the yeah. The forest green, the tan interior? They had that Shh. shit, yo. That shit hit. Damn. Well, yeah, so I, I saw it and I was like, okay, I recognize your car. And I told my girl, bust the bitch, go follow that for So we followed you and yeah, sure. Yeah. I was like, what's up with this? Let we hopped out on the boulevard and yeah. <laughs> each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit was dope, dog. That was, a, that was a moment that I was like, hell yeah, that shit's sick. I, I, I ran into a. It's my loan from 626 Gangsters. They mm. were out there. Uh, I ran into a gang of fools, dog. I was just going in. Every time I, like, hit the middle of the boulevard, I just see fools coming from both sides with camera phones, you know, like, just recording me and shit. It's trippy it's to see. It's love out there, fool. It's a love. lot of love, dog. And love it's trippy to see that, that that we still get that love. Because remember back in the days in that limousine? Yeah. We'd hit the gas station, hop out, motherfuckers screaming, cars crashing yeah. into each other, yeah. like, dramatic shit. Oh, like, yeah. movie shit, you know? So it's, it's I remember it's chicks dope. trying to go in the... 
guy's bathroom with us. Like, bitch, get the fuck out. Yeah, craziness. Fuck? Tortas, yeah, too. Yeah, like, bro, everything. That's, every, that's why I don't get mad because of... I'm talking about the tortas, mm. fool. Just... <laughs> that's you saying it. I'm, I ain't saying nothing, shit. This, this is your house. You can say what you want on this motherfucker. That's right. I ain't going to tell you, you that's know right. what I mean? how to put out the silverware hey, and shit. Uh, so let me, talk, let me talk about something. Mm. What, what, what was your... What was your no fuck about all this, homie. Let's let's take some phone calls, homie. They've been blowing up this shit saying for are these motherfuckers gonna take calls or not. Homie. And we've been having over eight hundred people in the chat the whole night. This is amazing. Thank you. Appreciate We're you guys, man. Five thousand plus views and we ain't even got off the live yet. And it's amazing, homie. People wanna know, people wanna see, people wanna hear the stories, people wanna know what's cracking, dog. Give me one of your uh before we take calls. I'm gonna start letting the phone calls ring as you're in the middle in the middle of taking the story. And then we'll take some phone calls. Give me one of your favorite high power show memories. Favorite high power show memory. Fuck, damn, there's a lot, fool. Um, too many. Yeah, too many. Um, damn, bro, that's a good motherfucking question, man. Phone lines are open. Let me see. Pass the wire with tips coming on next. Um, damn, dog. I remember we did a, a show in Phoenix one time on the rooftop. All right. We did a show on the rooftop, I remember. And um, these two little, well, I guess it wasn't the show. It was the moment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, Two little kids came up to me, fool. Because I was just helping. I was helping set up the, the booth, you know? So I was getting the, the cases of CDs. Yeah. And I was stacking them. And we were getting big set ass up. brown boxes. Yeah, the big ass brown boxes. And these two little kids come up to me. And they're like, and I wasn't performing that day. I just went with you guys. Mm. Um, but the little kids came up to me and they're like, you're Bozo, huh? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, man, let me get it. That was the first time that had ever happened, you know? The first time like, you got recognized. Your autograph. Yeah. That's just life changing. And I was like, man. I got you. And they had the CD with the compilation, the, the high power roll call. That's hard. Man. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Could we do a freestyle before we get up, up off of All the time. Shit, this shit's easy. Lightweight. Me and you were going to do a quick little cypher after we take these calls, fool, because the people keep saying they want to hear us bust. All right, 626. Is in the building, Pasadena. You're on live with Bozo. What's cracking? Hello. What's up, Crimes? What's cracking, lacking? Oh, uh, chilling, my boy, man. Man, right here watching you and Bozo, man. This is this Mickey right here, bro. Hell yeah, appreciate, appreciate you, you, homie. Hell yeah, glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, 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 man. I'm enjoying this, man. It's one in the making right here, dog. And same thing with Lil Corte, man. I'm, um, man, I'm hoping to see that high power fucking reunions. It's on the way, homie. Don't trip. I've been been talking to Capone about it. We got some business on the way. And if all the money and all the plays hey. live right, we're going to be in a, a city near you soon. And the, the lineup's crazy. That's all I can say. You remember we did a lot of classic hey. shit with a lot of mainstream artists back in the days on high power. So stay tuned. Man, I, 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 I used to promote for you guys, bro, back in the days, bro, like in 2003, bro. Where at? Right, uh, right there, uh, fucking East LA. What's your and name, homie? They call me Baby Sleeve from Westside Echo Park. Is that right? I'm trying to remember you, homie. Yeah, yeah, you already know. 90026, baby. All day, you know, West, <laughs> West Side, homie. Just cracking, though. Much love to yeah. you, homie. All day. Yeah, hey, much love to you guys, man. I appreciate you guys, man. And, hey, keep it up, man. Hey, crimes, you're putting everybody together, bro. Keep it up. Bozo, you already know, dog. You know what it is, homie. Got you. Much love, homie. Yeah. Appreciate you calling yeah. in. Uh, much love, dog. All I, day. I appreciate you guys, dog. Keep it up. All Likewise, Connor. San Diego, you're on the line with Big Bozo. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm coming from Point Loma. What's up, dude? Point Talk Loma. I was just in fucking Point Loma the other day for at the, in the marina. What's popping? Y yeah, hey, um, so I was wondering, how did you get the name uh, Mr. The acronym? Mr. For me? Yes. Because it's not Mr. Bozo. So for me, I got the name Mr. Criminal when I got in the rap game because my neighborhood name was cr Crimes or Crime Time or Criminal. Uh, and Mr. Li I, there ain't nothing little about me. Um, S ain't really right. my style. Like, I, I'm a homie. I'm a gangster. <laughs> I'm a little modern. I'm from the west side. So uh, right. I also went with uh, what I felt defined me. And at the time, the homie Mr. Capone was taking off and killing it. And uh, it just kind of came to yeah. an agreement with the, in the studio session. They're like, I think you should be Mr. Criminal. And it's been that ever since. Oh, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, because I was like, how did, like, Mr. Shadow and Mr. Uh, Criminal get their acronyms? Like, like how does, like, like Mr. Uh, Little One and all the Misters, you know? You would have to ask them like, each and every guys, story, like... but that's how I got mine. 
Okay, they definitely were right misters on. before us, though. I'll say that, and I'll give it up to them for that. Yeah. Straight up. I don't forget my forefathers and my old yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I have cousins that are, like, in gangs and stuff like that, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm half white, half Mexican. Um, but uh, I, I kind of grew up out here in uh, Ocean Beach and Point Loma, so. Cup of America. Yeah. The <laughs> Cup of America. That's what they call Point Loma, yeah. the marina. Hey, fool, let me ask you something. You go fishing out there in Point Loma? Yeah. Um, no, actually, I don't. Then no fisherman is not like, a friend of mine. If I you're did, not a fisherman, yeah. you're not a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't, don't want to, you know, I, I, I don't get involved with the fucking, um, the, 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 all the all issues right. that come with Well, the, much, um, much love. I don't you know mean to cut I mean? you off, but much love. We're going to take yeah. another one. El Monte, California, you're on live with Bozo. Say what's cracking. Hey, what's up, Bozo? What up, what up, what up, sir? Hey, shout out from El Monte, homie. Hey, That's right. Um, <clears throat> All I gotta tell you, homies, is uh, what's doing is uh, it's a uh, real productive for the Rasa, homie. Like, um, I respect both of you guys' angle. Um, Bozo, you're mm -hmm. a genius, bro. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Appreciate it. What a no, dick, nobody's ever that. called me that. That's why I laughed at myself. Thank you, okay. dog. I appreciate it. Fucking Bozo. That's a good no, that's no, a new bro, one. But, but, Fucking but, asshole. But, but the thing is, bro, like, you'd be spitting some real shit, bro, that, um, a lot of these uh, youngsters need to hear, homie. Um, I just want to hit up the line and say what's up and uh, give you guys props. Miss Criminal, you're doing your thing. Um, shout out from Monte, homie. Hey, much Appreciate love and respect, you. homie. All Appreciate day. you, my dog. Hey, Salute, homeboy. Hey. Shout out Arnold Barbosa. Hey. hey, that's right. Barbosa brought dog. you out, bro. <laughs> boy, just got, boy just got that Golden Boy deal, man. Hell yeah. Congrats. We're going up. We're going that's up. right. Hell yeah. Hey, hey Bozo. Talk to me. Hey, one more thing, G. Talk when to me. When Chitty Boy gets out, bro, you got to hit him up. That's my bro, dog. That's my brother. We right here waiting for him. I know. I, I got know Vicious that. right here. He's a little homie that. with me. So, you know, we always keep the homies from a month close, right. you know? Oh, yeah. It's all love. That's right. Neighbors, bro. Hell all yeah. Right. Mucho respeto, homies. Igualmente. Igualmente. Much love. Fort Bragg, California. You're on live with Bozo. Hey, what's up, Bozo? Much love and respect. What you doing tonight, dog? It's Friday. You turned up or what the fuck we doing? <laughs> yeah, right now we already know we're sipping out the fucking buzz balls with the homie right buzz now. Buzz ball, my What's dog. Right? Look, look, look. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gonna stop that right now, bro. Look, my homie. Hey, homie, <laughs> my homie. Hold, right hold, right hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something right now, my boy. Look, look. You gotta stop passing that buzz ball around. Get you a real, hey, homie, get you, you listen, know, get you a real, with, get you a real hey, bottle, my boy. It, get you a real bottle. No, I, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I mix it, I mix it up with the hundred proof. You already know, game buzz, game okay. fucked up right okay, now. Okay, you mixing it? You sure? Yeah, I'm. Because if you're not, look, look because if you're not, I'm gonna oh, tell you yo. something, dog. That buzz ball, we pass it around to the chicks. You know what I'm saying? So you better be mixing <laughs> oh, that shit with no, some no, hard. No, you know what I mean? No, no, no. Oh, no, not right here, homie. Okay, no, okay. Right <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, perro. Enjoy, man. Salud, carnal. I'm glad you guys oh, enjoy no, your night, man. You Hell yeah. My Much love, homie. Right God bless. Garden City, Kansas. You are on live with Bozo. What's cracking? Yo, yo, what's happening, man? Trouble checking in from Garden City, Kansas. Talk your shit, just my boy. Just to show you guys some love, man. Bozo, been Thank fucking you. with you for a minute, dog. I Thank fuck you, with dog. your music. I appreciate it. Keep doing that shit, criminal. You the OG of the game, my G. So, you know, y'all keep doing your fucking thing. And we're going to keep showing y'all love from way out here in Kansas, man. Sure, we appreciate it. It's been a long it's been a long haul, man. We appreciate it. Trust. Hell yeah. Shout hey, out to Hey, trust me, bro. We've been riding with you along the way. I, so I know we, we I know you have. Trust me. You, man. We know you guys are, dog. Trust me. We, we don't ever overlook that shit. We don't ever take that shit for granted, you know? So that's why we still working hard. You, you know, know you know we up here. We up here repping that big suit out here in I'm fucking right Kansas. I was, I was just out there in Topeka. It was cracking. Yeah, I mean, Everybody had I a know. gun out. I, like I said, Everybody I had a gun. Put a stick literally. on that motherfucker. I was like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? For real. Because out here, they, let us, they let us pack a pistol, bro. So you know how we be doing out I'm here. Right, no, and you'd be wrong not to pack a pistol. Oh, no, yes, sir. Damn, Everywhere I go, even to go buy diapers for the fucking kids, we got pistols. That's right. <laughs> That's right, my boy. You have a good night, my dog. Thanks for tapping in. Hey, man, much love to both of y'all criminals. Both of y'all keep doing your fucking thing, man. We're going to keep showing love. Appreciate much you. love, homie. God bless you. Man, we got love all over the world. Look at all these missed calls you're getting, fool. Look at Mexico calling. Mexico, no, you're on the live with Bozo. I Say miss, what's cracking. I, I can't even, look, I can't even put it to fucking... Mm. 
You're on live with Buzz and Hey, I'm, I'm a, a Southside deep point, homie. I'm down here in Mexico, dog. That's right, my boy. Listening to you guys, you know? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás allá en México? Acá estoy en Nayarit, perro. Sí, en Nayarit, carnal. No mames. Chulada ya, da, güey. Shh. Fuck, I heard that. Yeah, I'm Nayarit's down beautiful. Here. I've been down here. I've been down here for a while, you know, and I respect what the homies are doing right now. You know what I mean? It, it, it's a big difference from ten years ago, you know. Talk to me, baby. Talk to him. Talk your shit, my boy. Let him know. Let our nuts hang different this you time. You know what I mean? Bo Bozo, dog. Hey, Bozo. I hear everything you're saying, dog. You know what I mean? Like I'm 40 years old, homie. So I'm at that stage where I'm like, these kids didn't go through what we went through, but let's help them out. You know what I mean? And Most I'm so definitely. proud of you, out there, You know what I mean? Thank you, dog. Always been, always been a proud to Daniel, dog. But seeing this, this is another level, bro. Gotta Thank you, bro. That. We trying to inspire, you, dog. That's the real shit. That's the real shit I can tell you. We trying you know to inspire. I mean? you hey, all the stories, dog. All that people doubting you guys because you guys ain't laughing. What you mean, they were laughing? We put it down for the food. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. We're all laughing, dog. Yes, sir. Last time I checked, my my skin was brown and my mom talked Spanish like a motherfucker. I eat That's the same right, beans you do, buddy. <laughs> the same beans you do. All right, shit. exactly. All right, dog. Hey, and we do it. And we do it more. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Hey, much love, with three homie. Stomper, Man, he's from Hilo Gang, stomps, dog, man. and RFP Stomper from Pico. That's All right, day. my boy. God Thank bless you. you. Another one from Mexico. Mexico, you're on the line with Bozo. What's cracking? What's going on? What's going on? What's going right. on? <laughs> What's cracking, Mexico? What's fine? Talk to me, my boy. ¿Cómo estás, carnal? Desde aquí, desde Oaxaca, carnalito. Hijo de su pinche madre, Oaxaca. Hey, I mean, fool, you, why, why they, look, ask, let me ask, answer me this question, though. There has to be whatever? beautiful, there, is there beautiful women in Oaxaca? Oh, gorgeous women that down here, dog. What's, what's up with these politicians, <clears throat> dog, trying to, trying to make fun of people, calling them Oaxacans and this shit? What's up with that, my boy? I don't know, but I mean, those people don't even know what's going on They don't here. know what's I mean, going on, man. Stuff. They know, I, I'm... I'm nah, glad you say no, that because I, I try. To, I try to say that before I was like, nah, they, the the chicks from Oaxaca are beautiful. Like what? The, and I heard I heard this L.A. council lady talking about, oh, they must be from Oaxaca. They ugly as fuck. I was like, yeah, they fired that bitch. Damn, Yuri, Yuri, some shit. But anyway, Yuri, shout out Yuri. to Oaxaca, man. <laughs> Fly me out, my boy. I'm Damn, ready. You... I'm ready. Fly me out. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> down here is a whole new level of women down here. Down, beautiful oh. women. That's I mean, right. I, I grew believe. up in California, but I mean, Oaxaca's another level. Oh, shit. You real? For real? You, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Now that you play like yeah. that. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, shit. Aren't I you mean, blessed? You can, you can come down here and check out. <laughs> aren't you a lucky motherfucker? Uh, <laughs> all right. Damn, that's right. Appreciate you. Hey, homie. Much. much love. Los Angeles, California. You're on the line with Bozo. What's popping? Hey, man. What's up? Bozo. What's up? Crime. West. What's up with you, bro? Hey, man, I'm a big fan. Grew up hearing your music. I'm over here schooling my wife. You know, all the stuff that I, uh, all the music that I fucking bump with y'all. But um, I have a few questions, actually. What right. Also, Talk to me. Um, were you ever uh, work with Mexican artists? Yes, hell yeah. Right I now. rap in Spanish. I read, write it. Most def. Look, bro, and I'm going to drop a whole Spanish album, like, by the summer, next yeah, summer. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. For sure. sure, I gotta do uh, it. And and you know, like all the Mexican movement is, is popping right now. Hell so, yeah. what do you, how do you feel about that? And I feel like that's an opportunity for, for like especially for Arasa, you know, to uh, collab with a lot of Mexican artists, especially with all the rappers, you know. Yeah, well, I think that the in, the the industry over here is late, you know, because all yeah. them artists yeah, been selling out all over the world, dog. And they've been doing it without these motherfuckers giving them awards and without acknowledgement. So to be honest with you, I'd rather them keep that shit. I'd rather keep our culture what it's doing to ourselves. Fuck it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, like, they're just trying to exploit the culture. We don't need them to, to tune in with them. The world don't need, don't need no, I, those platforms for them people to shine. All the land artists yeah. that are winning right now have been winning. You know what I mean? It's just the states have been sleeping on them. But, it, but you know... Congratulations to them regardless, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is dope, but I want them all to ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck sharing yeah. with these motherfuckers. They don't know they don't know how to appreciate culture anyways, dog. They just mm -hmm. exploit it. You know what I mean? They don't. They don't. You gotta and water really the culture. You gotta anymore. water it. No, and I feel and I feel like like you were saying, we don't need no credit 
or at least the approval from, you know, other races, when I feel like we've been getting love, especially, yeah, I've been getting love from all around the world, you know? Hell yeah, for from sure. From fucking Asia, South America, you know, everywhere. So we, we, we shouldn't be depending on other people, you know? We already have our stage, and that's what you have been We got to clean up our own backyard first, homeboy. Yeah. That's what we need to do. We need to oh, start worrying sure. about everybody else sure. and clean the fucking our own shit up. I mean, I think that's what being yeah, involved yeah. around. But much love and respect, homie. God bless you. And uh, appreciate, appreciate you, dog. Call, man. What the fuck was appreciate that? Appreciate you. It was a fly. Was letting, that shit wasn't a fly. Homie. Was that shit it? was a wasp. That shit was the, the theme from the <laughs> never ending story flying around here. Homie. <laughs> What's up? You're on live with Bozo. What's poppin'? What's up? Killed What's that motherfucker. From Selena's 831, my boy. That's right, right my dog. What you Shout out to the homie Bozo. Thank you, Pedro. Appreciate you. That's right. Porterville, you're on live with Mr. Criminal and Bozo. What's cracking? Oh shit, what's up? What's up, criminal? What's popping, fool? Fuck where you at? Nah. Where are you at in Porterville? I got family up there. Nah, nah, we ain't I didn't in Porterville. I don't know what my my number shows that shit, but I'm over here in Early Mine and shit, Central Cali. That's right. Okay. That's right. What was popping though? Yeah, yeah. It's now nah, just fucking trying to send some shout out to shit. Um to Bozo and shit and the criminal. Appreciate you. You know what I mean? Gracias. I'm over here fucking sipping on some fucking one ninety two proof and shit oh. to the full of call. Oh damn. You know what I mean? Damn, you can start yeah, mixing it with some, you, you're more of a man shit, than I am. Shit. Mix it, <laughs> mixing it with some fucking modelos and polarizers, you know what I mean? Damn. You trying to beat somebody yeah. up, my boy. Beat Hell, beat it's going to be a violent yeah. night. Yeah, it's going to be violent. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, you know, she's trying to send the shout out and shit to Bozo, you know, keep doing your thing. Thank Criminal, you, you know, you too. You know what I mean? And Hell fucking, yeah. um, that no, fucking, no. um... That fucking tour and shit. If you guys do that shit, you guys coming to the cent- to Central Cali or what? We're gonna be Man, announcing right. it soon, pretty soon, <clears throat> pretty soon. We got a lot of up north shit, calling. Well, we got San Jose calling next. Hell yeah. Well, so if you guys come through, upstate. you know, we'll, we'll we'll be there. You know what I mean? We'll be there and shit, and you know what I mean? It's just fucking to support and shit. But um, you know, I didn't even think I was gonna get through the fucking cause and shit. You know what I mean? Well, hey, that's we just appreciate fucking. You, Straight up. You know what I mean? So fucking we're gonna keep sipping and shit, watching the fucking live. Much love. You know what I mean? All day. Well, God bless sure. you. You have a good night, homie. And we're gonna we're gonna let you All go right. for Don't drink and drive, man. Don't drink and drive, drive, homie. Drive. San Jose, you're on live with Mr. Criminal Bozo. What's up? Hey, what's up, criminal? What's up, Bozo? Uh there's Edwin. Uh, how you guys doing? Chilling, Great. homie. Smoking, good, kicking homie. it, talking, I, vibing. I told, can, Trying to calm down Bozo. It? He's mad at the world. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> He's hella funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he gets me. See what I'm but saying? You, you you get me, bro. Now you know why they call me Bozo. You you oh, literally read it all, my boy. You feel what I'm saying? Like uh, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all we always clowning, yeah. dog. Even when we ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Appreciate right. you, dog. Uh, my question, yeah, uh, much love for both of y'all. You guys are legends to me already. So uh, thank you, dog. You know, and criminal, criminal, you know, for a long time. But uh, question for you, Bozo. Um, like, would you guys ever make a compilation with, like, straight Spanish and with, like, fucking with hella different, you know, We do it Chicano all, dog. Rappers? As long as I ain't sucker shit, we do it all. No, you know? that, that's for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, you know, like, I would love to see that with, like, you guys just fucking murder, you know, like, a <laughs> compilation. Yeah, 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 for and sure, You know dog. what I'm saying? You no, know, put the rasa on top. I got you, my boy. We on. Don't trip. Appreciate the support, fool. Gracias, pero. Hey, homie, oh, much man, love. You guys take care. God you bless. Much yeah. love, too. Thank you. All day. Hey, fool. LA icons in here. <laughs> Pick that shit up. He, nah, he's on the check. Oh, okay. He said, uh, am I late to the party? I heard I need to get put on a diet. <laughs> you need to put on some, motherfucker. Claremont, California. You're on live with Miss Criminal and Bozo. There's so many calls, I can't put it on the speaker. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Uh, what's poppin'? Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, um, criminal, I was gonna tell you, um, the one part, um, who you sound like your arm one. I'm gonna hang up on you, homes. You sound like your arm one. Greenfield, California, what's up? You're on live with Bozo and Criminal. What's wrong with the on one, homies, fool? That fool, is just, he needs to slow down. <laughs> My brain's up. already ADHD. I can't stand the fucking two. What's up? You're on live with Bozo. Uh, What's up? Much respect, homie. Currently calling from Salinas, eight three one. Hell yeah! What's Much up? Much respect, bozo. Back Keep at you, man. Appreciate you. Always, you know. I'm no fucking with the Norteños and shit. Fuck that. We will go go and kiss the great. Talk to him. Talk your shit, my dog. Talk your shit. That's right. That's right. Shit. Much respect to you, homie. Keeping it fucking G all fucking day, my boy. That's right. I see you, boy. 
Appreciate you, Doug. Hell Thank yeah. you. God bless you. Se cuida, homie. Se cuida. Aquí nah, andamos resto sure. todos Gracias. los calles, ya sabes. You pray for me, I pray for you, Doug. Remember that. That's right. Much respect, homie. Likewise. Shout out to the homie Cranks. Hell yeah. Much love, homie. Much love from Salinas. We keep it active over here, my boy. Very nice. Keep throwing shot there, my boy. Simón, se cuidan. Ahí estamos. Mucho Buen gusto. Mente, Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Shout out to the homie Tamps. Hey, Big, big Tamps. All day from Salinas. Give him some That's love. right. Much love, homie. All right. All right, G. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, they're blowing this shit up. Gardena, California, you're on live with uh, all the homies. What's up? Hey, what's up, criminal? What's poppin'? Hey, thanks for always uh, answering my call. Hell yeah. I try to answer every call that comes through, but a lot of com- a lot of calls come, but it's all good, man. My, my bad if I yeah, don't get them. Yeah, I appreciate you. I'm pretty sure you already know my area code, 310. But shit. I have a question for the homie Bozo. I had a message on my messenger. Talk Go to ahead. Him, and he said he was in the... What happened, my boy? Remind me. <laughs> uh, do you have any new artists in mind that you want to work with that you haven't yet? That I haven't worked with yet. Um, Man, of course I do. You know, it's just kind of hard to, like, put them all together. But, um, well, as far as, like, our circle and on, our genre, there's a lot, dog. Like, there's a lot of new talent, you know? Like, younger homies. Um, I've done a pretty good job of working with all of them already. But um, I want to continue. I'm like, I got to work with Vicious first and foremost. The homie out of El Monte, the homie Vicious 626 on IG. Mm. Um, I got to yeah. work with, um, let me think who else, dog, that I've been Oh, you know who I want to work with when he gets out is Peso. Peso, I want to oh, work Pe- with Peso when he gets Peso, out. Peso, yeah, he's from LA. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Devour, too. That's another goal right there, the homie Devour. Um, that's what's up. Who else that's out here? Let me think, man. Let me think. Oh, Drummer. I still got to get Drummer, too. So, yeah. Them, oh, yeah. Young yeah. Drummer Boy. Yeah. Them are the That's ones right now. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been listening to your your new album, Mr. Blue Rag. Yeah, yeah. That shit goes hard. I've been bumping that one song, uh, to this grind. Yeah, That's, thank a, you, that's a hard beat right there. Thank you. That's yeah. on project Project Made. Project Made eight one eight on IG. Yeah. Produced most of my album. Hell yeah, from from Lingwood to Pico Rivera. You already know my boy. All right, Stay my blessed. boy. Yeah, sabes. Gracias, pero. God bless you, homie. You yeah. gotta take a few more. You're tired of the call. It's on you. I mean, I'm here. For, I'm here down. for you, my boy. Six oh two Phoenix, California. What's popping? Hey, yo, what's up, yo? What's up, Bozo? What's up, Chris? How you doing? What's up, my dog? Talk I to know me. this voice. Brother Biggs, you already know. Yes, sir. What's popping, fool? I was just, just uh, calling in, checking in. Uh, shout out to you guys. You know, I was calling so up. Sorry, to, brother. Um, I got to go. My homie Villain's calling face. Nah! Villain. Ville. What's up, Bessie? That's what Oh, you was call- why? Why are you calling? Hey, you should have FaceTime off top. Many, look, I'm declining, and it just keeps going. Declining. Should've, you should have FaceTime off top. Hey, you know what? FaceTime my phone, fool, because this shit's going crazy on another one. All right, like, hey, fool, this shit is getting like fucking a hundred calls every second, dog. It's like they won't stop. You know what? You're slow, villain. <laughs> you all We could talk to villain all the time. Nah, let, let the people, let the people call in. Hold on. You know what? For you already called fucking Fort Bragg. <laughs> These motherfuckers keep on calling the same people. <laughs> All right, Claremont, California. This call keeps calling over and over. Claremont, you're on live finally with with. with uh, us. Hello? Oh, hey, Colonel King, I was trying to say some shit. Um, hey, Holmes, put down the uh, fucking pookie, Carter. Hold on, hold on. <gasps> hello. What's up, my dog? Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm here for you, man. Talk to me, man. Shh, shh, shh. Well, I do want to give a Bozo a shout out. Um, fuck, how can I say? Yeah, Come I do want to give you a shout out like I did last time. Oh, I want to give a shout out to you Thank and your homeboy Stomper. Rest in peace. Thank you, my dog. See what I'm saying? He has something to say, man. Yeah, for sure. For Thank sure. you, my dog. Appreciate you, Pedro. For real, for real. Hey, I've been a fan. I've been a fan of Stomper. I've been a fan of Stomper since high school on the real. That's my dog, so, man. I miss him, man. Call. Hold on. Yeah. Thank you, man. Look at Bill. Look at Bill. He wants man. to say some funny shit. Bill, hey, talk your shit, Bill. Talk your shit, Bill. Come on. I'm putting the airplane on another shit. Hold on. Hackensack, New Jersey. We got to take a New Jersey call before we talk. Jersey, you're on the live with with Villain. Uh, and Bozo, Tim's fucking critical street visuals, and the homie in the corner. What's what? Yo, that's that's what he do. Much much respect from Jersey. Hey, let's go. Any W you heard? Bing, Simone, what happened with New Jersey? <laughs> We uh, we in the uh, house, homie Simon. That's right, my boy. Appreciate you, my boy. Stomps used to love going over there. Eh? He used to go there run the mud. What's up, homie? My homeboy Stomper, the rapper. You know what I'm talking about? Simon. He used to go over there run the mud. Simon. Yeah, the homie used to always be in New Jersey running the mud. Hey, 
Hey, my, 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 my respect to you, homies, and I, I, I got to say one thing to turn this shit off, homie, and some real shit. Talk, talk your shit. Come on. Yo, 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 yo y'all got to feel me on this shit. Check me out. Friday night this is what we're going to do. Hey, we can't play music, though. Hey. I don't mean no disrespect. He was going to freestyle but, for us. Man. Hey, no, he's not. He's going to play some shit. Oh, is he? <laughs> hey, we can't. That's going to fuck up the monetization. We apologize, homie. Hey, we appreciate the support, though. Hey, villain, you got two minutes with Bozo, homie. Let it happen. Talk to me. I miss <laughs> you, oh, man. Oh, hey, I, I just wanted to ask you, you man. <laughs> if there was any way that you would collab with a black artist that speaks Spanish. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. Pull up the songs already, bro. You probably got hidden recordings of me still. Hey, villain, why don't you spit some shit in Spanish for the people so you can fuck their Bellica. heads at one time? No villain, this big old black fucking homie right here with all this game <laughs> and all this handsomeness and all this sickness. He be fucking fool's heads up when he spits like that. I'm already right, known. They be like, never... what? This fool be spitting in Spanish harder than anybody out here like that? Yeah, that's my homeboy villain from the lake. Homie, recognize, Wes. I eat the same beans too. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do, you know buddy. What I'm saying? Hey, but now, now, big up to you guys. I get to see you guys back together there on the podcast. I was, it was cool listening to the stories of Stomps, you know. Uh, and you was right; he was a sweet motherfucker in all the best types of ways, you know. My favorite memory of him, he would always say, "Hey, Billin, I'm from fucking Pico Nuevo, Silver Lake, and you're from Silver, Silver Lake, Lake, Pico, Pico Nuevo." Nuevo. <laughs> I remember that shit, bro. Like Every yesterday. Time. But yeah, man, big up. Much love to you both. You know what it is, Maybe man. Spent some good times in Colorado together. Fucking got our clown on. Ran them up. Recorded some good songs, man. Some of some of my best songs I recorded with you, man. So good to Thank see you. you guys. Still, Thank you for still everything standing you did, up, boy. doing your thing, coming together, fucking putting it down, like always, man. Yes, sir. Bad habits are hey. hard to break. Good way to say good habits. Yeah, bad habits. Hey, fool, hey. say what's up to the old school <coughs> camera, fool, one time. Da! Hey, is that is that the one that uh, Stomper interviewed the UFC fighter with? I don't know. It looks like it. <laughs> no, it is. looks like it though. <laughs> Bill, were you there when that happened? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> hey, I told thing. you. I told you. Good shit, man. No lies told here. Well, God bless, Bill, and we're gonna let some of these cats take some calls, fool, cause. You know, you already part of the team. You're going to be here for life. We'll let somebody... No special in. line, fool, because I can't be fucking calling in and calling in and waiting and bing, bing, bing all the right. time. That's right. I need a bat phone. Critical. Hook up a little bat phone for me there that I could always get direct <laughs> line. There it <laughs> is. You, bro. I got you. All right. All right. All right now, homie. You have a good night, big dog. Thanks. Much love. God bless you, brother. That's my brother, Billy, man. He just Boy, got back Bill. from Costa Rica, fool. Oof. What's up with this, dog? I'm going to act Beautiful. like back in the days, high power, Beautiful home. Thing. I'm going to annoy everybody. What's up, fool? I got bozo right here. Blower. What's up, Benson? Yeah, fool. Damn, I still look the same, homie, from back then. What's up, Benson? You do, fool, don't you? Hold on. You want to take some more? Hey, fool, community, fool communities in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, they all, they're all tapping. You want to talk about it, Critical? Or should we just ignore it? About what? Nah, that, we ain't talking. We ain't Shit. talking. They got the said. wheelah. You they know got the is, wheel boy. Out. They ain't talking. talking. We don't talk around this motherfucker. Merced, what's you up, Palms? You were trying to talk to me before. Don't try to talk to me now. Shit. Mm. Stupid. You weren't with me in the the, 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 no, the basketball gym, they no, said, right? No, no, no. <laughs> Fool, I can't get this shit to go to Roadcaster because so many calls are... Dog, try to try to put this to fucking... Try, deny it and try to put it to Roadcaster up from speaker. Look hey, how many fool, calls are coming in. They don't put you... Look, my dog. Look at that. They don't put non-stop. you on the roll call, but they're watching your shit. That shit don't even make sense. You oh, did it that road, way? The, the list. They don't, put you on the, they don't put you on the 40 list. Bro. What's cracking? You're on live with Bozo and Mr. Criminal. What's popping? One of the last calls. Oh. Yo. You guys are willing to do it. You guys are um, with the homie Bozo. You're willing to do any songs with the Upstate homies, like the Bay Recon homies. Those are my boys, dog. Look, the only reason I haven't done nah. anything with them yet is, um, nah. I don't know. We haven't seen them, but I haven't seen them. Nah. 
Nah. Um, is that, is nah. That <laughs> Fuck that. Them fools got a problem, homie. Tell them to get at me. I seen them low key hating and, and, and using the opportunity to hate on me through your post, bozo. Uh huh. I thought that was some weenie ass shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers. I would have felt that way too if I was in the ship. So nah. What's cracking? You're alive with Mr. Criminal and Bozo. What's cracking? Crash. What's up, boy? What's up, fool? Who's this? Sounds oh, familiar. Oh, Sleeve, dog, again. Who? <laughs> it's, it's Baby Sleeve from the West. What's cracking, for? Hey, hey, I was, uh, I was calling, uh, man, I forgot to say, man, R.I.P. to Stunts, man. I remember going to his funeral, bro. Hmm. And, uh, uh, man, that was, that right there, bro, was a uh, crazy, crazy and a uh, fun uh Incident right there, bro. Man, we appreciate you calling in for that. I remember Bozo. I remember you were there, fool. And you remember the fucking. There was a lot of haters right there, fool. Yeah, Damn, that shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. Remember all, remember all the fools, dog, and, and, and I was on the from the west, and, and uh, I, I, your little homie pulled up the strap here. They're like, you, you should, what would she do? I was like, I damn, I don't know, dog. <laughs> That's right. It'd be like that, dog. Well, yeah, hey, you homie, gracias for calling in. Man. Homie, much love and respect, homie. Yeah, I had to say that one more time, man. R.P. motherfucker stars, man. All day, man, homie. Man, man, man that, was, that was a real solid homeboy, man, that we lost. And uh, uh, and Grumpy, too, man. Big Grumps, man. Uh, you Grumpy, were asking where you Grumps, at, Grumpy? Uh, Grumpy. Tap in, Grunts. Uh, gr uh, I, I just found out my boy Grunts, he busted again, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, that sucks, son. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah. at us, fool. Yeah, I, I just, well, much love, yeah, homie. Yeah, with the homie. Yeah, you already know, man. Gracias for calling up. in, homie. Much love, yeah. homie. Yeah, I, I had to call back one more time, dog. Since God bless, homie. homie. You have a good night, homie. God bless you. Plano, Texas, you're on live. We're going to be one of the last calls with Bozo. What's popping? I have a feeling that was uh, somebody in Texas running from California. Oh. Something tells me. 818, you're on live with Bozo and Mr. Criminal. What's up? I can't even get this shit to... Critical, could you do this again? Here. Never mind. I finally think I got it. No, nope, I can't. I can't get to it. Look, every time I'm trying, it's just punking me with a phone call. Deny it, and it's just going to keep coming. Deny it, keep coming. Deny it, keep coming. You see that shit? Baby girl said, Big Temps, what's up, best Ooh. Sorry, Tim, I love. Hey, oh. hey, Big Tim sends his love. And shout out to my baby girl on Street Visuals and Baby Cuz. You know what? I don't want to take no more phone calls. Yeah. It's a bunch of bullshit, huh? It's getting Honestly, a little trivial. It's getting yeah. a little weird, huh? Yeah, you know? Weird. But uh, you know what I will do? Is give you flowers for your contribution to the game. Thank you, I will say you. gracias for being who you are to the rap game. Obviously, you, we all play a position. We all wear a hat in this motherfucker, and your position is appreciated because there's a balance in the shit we call the game, right? Yeah, for we sure. We got people that 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 <clears throat> could be diplomatic. We have people that are more soldiers, warriors, frontline. We have people that are more in the background. We have so many different people that play positions that help advance this thing that we call Latin rap. From from labels, from from homies that support us to so many different things, right? So I would say that we are definitely in a leadership position and the type of words that we speak on, there's no uh, reason why. There's no, there's no accidental reason why. There's over almost a thousand people this whole time we've been live and we're almost at 6,000 people just in a few hours talking. People For are sure. definitely tapped in, people are definitely watching. And uh, it's a very, very important thing to show good how you say, uh, how you, uh, Good say character. Good character. Show uh, class, you know? Yeah, for and I, sure. I like to give it up to my homeboy, Big Temps, because one thing about the homie Temps, he's a very classy individual. From the way that he, he treats people, the way that he gives people opportunities, the way he, you know, offers uh, when we're just chilling out of the goodness of his heart, he'll order the whole damn studio food. Like, that's a different type of gentleman that he don't have to do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You're the, you've always been a gentleman. My son's a gentleman. I like to celebrate men. Like you say, my homie critical takes care of his family. No excuses asked. Yeah. If I need him here, no questions. He's here. You know what I'm saying? So these are the type of people we got to value, and we got to not, we got to stop glorifying the bullshit yeah because as a community i think that we talk about the dumb shit like right now these full community cats are in here going crazy and they, they want they want us to talk to them and they that's should. cool 
but I feel like that's that's this is clickbait. We're not yeah. gonna we're not gonna put. I don't want to put negativity out there. I want to show that we're on some positive shit. Instead of highlighting now, I want to yeah. highlight that we're all doing good. And you know what? Shout out to every single platform. I'm gonna say that because we all have an opportunity. I'm not. We have an opportunity. Okay. To right to highlight our community. Yeah. Regardless for sure, for sure. whether we're, whether we're doing it in the right way yeah, or not, yeah, and yeah. and we do have a platform. So. Um, that's all I have to say, homes. That's what I want to say. I want to give a shout out to you. I want to give a shout out to my homeboy Stans, rest in peace. And uh, sure. I want to highlight something. And this is important to me and my family. And this was in the making for the last few weeks. I just hadn't had a chance to connect with the homie because there's been a lot going on with my schedule. I was in San Diego. There was a lot, but I have something special I want to do tonight. And this is meant for me and my heart. And and I want to highlight something. <clears throat> and I want to highlight hard work. And this might not mean a lot to a lot of people, but it means a lot to me and my family. So when I first started coming up in the game, I put in a lot of work. We traveled all over the world. We traveled all over the country. And like you said, I was taking care of my family. I was taking great care of my family. And I was going out on the road, providing, busting ass, sleeping on fucking uh, luggages. I remember times where me and Stomper were sleeping on the floor in the airport. Yeah, and that sure. fool getting mad because I woke up laughing like, fool, Stomper, we still sleeping? Like, fool, I'm sleeping. Like, we really were sacrificing this. Well, not all glamour, right? Yeah. So through the course of that, I used to dream to one day be able to get a diamond watch, right? And I was like, man, I want to get a diamond watch one day, but it seems so far-fetched and so out of my range. But one day I saved up, I saved up, I saved up. And it wasn't a Rolex, it wasn't the top of the line, but it was a definitely uh, a bust-down Rolex, a uh, bust-down watch that I was proud of getting at that time and I was very, very proud of. And I want to say that in this rap game, everybody feels entitled. Yeah, You know sure. that, right? I know. And everybody feels like, they deserve something or they demand shit or they want from you know people try to pull people try to pull people try to take people try to take but there's some people that add in your life mm -hmm. and there's some people that god put in your corner to add to your life right and i want to take this moment to highlight somebody that i appreciate part of this label someone that's never made an excuse someone that's never made any type of bullshit only bringing positivity to the table from ordering food from the people to giving opportunities. So it might not mean much to most people, but to me, this means the world to me. And I hope the homie takes this with the, with the, uh, how you say that word? With the appreciation from the quarter. Yeah. And I'm doing this because the homies never ask for nothing. And I see the homie grinding every day. And I see the homie doing his thing. So big temps, I'm gonna give you my original oh. diamond watch. Oh that Straight. I motherfucking traveled all over the world for Here, this shit, take huh? a seat real quick. Oh, And this is right. this is for you, huh? And I'm gonna let's put this on the chip, the thing, the thing, the shit yeah. real quick. This is for Big Tense. Anybody that knows me knows I rock this watch in Japan. I rock this watch in China. I rock this watch all over the fucking planet. And this bezel was a couple thousand dollars, and I put I upgraded the watch and put a diamond bezel on it. That shit is now Tense, homie. So on behalf of me, let's go, baby. and my Hell wife, yeah. Street Visuals. And, and baby cuz and critical and crime family, homie, please accept this gift, homie. Thank you, my boy. For I appreciate being who it, you are, homie. And I, mean, I appreciate that, my boy, you know. Uh, you know, this right here uh, speaks volumes, homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I don't I don't ever do anything, homie, to uh, for recognition, homie, or anything to come back. But, uh, you know, I appreciate it, homie. Hey, homie. You know, I, I appreciate you guys, homie. I appreciate your family. Uh, you know everything that we're building on me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, like I said, uh, you know, it's very highly appreciated. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying. And that's from my you know, heart. And, yeah, I appreciate that, my boy. I appreciate it, man. On me, a little payback <laughs> from that He-Man I stole when we were like seven years old. <laughs> my bad. People don't know that. Yeah, people I took don't a know that He-Man from yeah, the yeah. Homie. Yeah. And don't I got a when I was like five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. you know what I mean. But, and uh, you know, like I said, homie, real recognizes real. You know yeah. what I mean. And, and you know, it's a pleasure to be in the building with, with uh, you know, with you, with Bozo, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, I, I just barely got into this rap game, homie, but I, I listened to you guys way since way back in the days. I'm, yeah. I mean, I cut my first gun charge bumping you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've been bumping Bozo, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, just being in the building of, of people that uh, are very intelligent, you know what I'm saying? And I, that's very important in this game, homie. We, we got to uh, carry ourselves to a... A higher standard yeah you know what i mean the way we speak 
the way we conduct ourselves, the Absolutely. way we take care of business. Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, it's very important. And, and one thing I'll say is, is it's an honor to be amongst gentlemen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I do thank you very much, my yeah, boy. Man. And, and uh, you know, yeah, this goes uh, without words, homie, how much I appreciate it. I appreciate you. you know what I mean? Hey, so, I consider you my brother, homie. Fuck a homie. That's right. Likewise, big dog. Likewise. Straight up, dog. I appreciate, and I appreciate that, you, dog. Keep killing the gang. Keep doing what you do. You deserve it. That motherfucker shining. When you hit the when you hit the motherfucking uh, club next time, send me a little <laughs> video. You grinding with that shit, fool. Enjoy it, huh? That shit is straight for me and my family. The only condition, the only condition, and this is from his baby girl, because his baby girl was with me when I bought it. She said, if Temps ever wants to get rid of it, nah. Hell all we nah. ask is to give it back to us. Nah, That's it. Hell no. Nah. Other than that, it's yours. Nah, you got my palabra, fam homie. Family on, live, on live, homie, you got my palabra, homie. This will stick with me forever. That's my motherfucking okay. dog. And that's that's what we want. We want you to be successful forever. Keep pushing forever, homie. We're proud to have you. And whatever you need from us, homie, we're here. And I mean that shit wholeheartedly. Homie. I appreciate and it, homie. Keep on grinding, it. fool. That, that, that's what happens to people that don't complain, grind, push. The homie's doing his own thing. Self-made boss. Invest in himself. No excuses made. Grinding 24-7. Uh, that's the way you win, huh? So keep on doing what you do, huh? And I need that 50, though. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, my boy. I appreciate it. Hey, God bless hey, gracias. you, dog. Gracias. gracias. Hell yeah. Much love, dog. Pre you know, appreciate everybody supporting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know? Yeah. Appreciate everybody on me. Hell gracias. yeah. Hell yeah. Much love, Temps. Now rock that motherfucker. That's Hell it. Yeah. We're going to get it sized for you. Get it, uh, all that shit. So... Oh, What's yeah. up, Bozo? Come back on this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, Let the here, homie Temps enjoy his fucking diamond watch and come back over here. Kyle, fool. Almost 6,000 live. They said, uh, hard work, sweat, and sacrifice behind that watch, baby girl's lifestyle says. She witnessed it. Hell yeah. And I thought it meant more to give you something that I grind from the beginning from, because that shit meant something to me in my heart. You know what I'm saying? But shit, with all the sentimental shit aside, homie, I almost fucking cried right now. Hey, um, I'm proud, dog. It feels good to For see sure. you both. Motherfucker, you sitting yeah, here yeah. with a chunky ass Cuban on. Fool, you go to Cuba with that motherfucker go Miami. I work Cuba? hard. I work hard, my yeah. boy. I spoil yeah. myself because I went without for a long fucking time. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You do for, deserve it. For a motherfucker that's used to having things to go to not having shit, that's hard. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? It hurt, but it made us better though. Shit. Yeah. You know for what sure, I mean? dog. That's for sure. What what could we expect in the next five years, ten years from Bozo, homie? I mean, what you got? Um, on shit. Honestly, look, dog. At this point, right now, I'm just dropping as much shit I can drop because I already gave me gave myself a date to stop. You know. Okay. Um, and after that, um, I want to do some movies. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to do the acting class shit. I want to do some movies. Um. I want to still explore entrepreneurship, see what business I can open on my own. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I don't know, dog. I want to give something back, but with substance. You feel me? Like, um, I fuck with Von Poe, my boy Von Poe, my shooter. Um, he's a cinematic filmmaker, so we're gonna go into writing movies too and directing. That's dope, shit. homie. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the true. next. That's the next. Um, it's the next venture, hopefully. There you, you know go. Lord willing. And when you get into stuff and you go full force, because yes, I see when you go into the visuals, yeah, when yeah. you were doing stuff over there at Fan First, you guys were grinding. Yeah, yeah. I even remember tapping into Fan First and say, hey, homie, uh, props to what you're doing with the homie Bozo. I'm proud to see you guys killing it over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see you doing stuff with peeps. Like, yeah. uh, you stay moving, homie. You stay active. You stay doing your work. So that's what we need to see. People need to take a page out your book and see that grinding and being a man in what you believe in could take you to another place you know what i mean hell and, yeah and change everything man that's really big that's really big um shit man is there anything else you want to cover before we dip out of here bozo um nah man shit thank you lord for everything you've given me hell yeah you have the full community icon on here talk about icons like please tell him he's on my list I think, he's, I think he's being oh, dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> he is, it's all good. It might not even be them. It might be trolls. Because oh, this yeah. fool called me the other day, and I, I told this fool, like, are you serious right now? He was like, fool, I see you on, on this page fucking trolling. I'm like, fool, what the fuck? And I had to tell him. He was like, fool, I apologize. Because it was a fake-ass page. I'm yeah. like, fool, I'm chilling right now watching TV with my family. What you talking about? But sometimes we all... Uh, Accept the bait Like this might not even be there And this might be someone Just at home like Fuck dog I'm gonna start some shit You know what I mean You never know That could be fucking Another rapper That's getting off on this shit But If not it is what it is Uh 2023 Crime Family Entertainment Mr. Criminal On Air Live Before we get up out of here I am going to Give a moment of silence For my homeboy Lonnie Mendoza 
Stomper, rest in peace. Miss you, brother. Hell yeah, huh? Amazing, doggy. Yeah. Hey, one thing Stomps like to do is rap, huh? Yeah. So before we get up out here, why don't we uh, honor the homie Stomps and kick a little freestyle? Can Let's we do go. that? Hell yeah, easy money. Look, look, look. Rest in peace, Stomps. Still smoking on these motherfucking blunts. Giving a fuck and I'm still that Mr. Criminal when I hit him up once. Dump, dump from the front. Motherfuckers know when I come and I stomp. Uh, balls are right here to the left, passive shit. <laughs> was turn, turn. I knew the beat was about to flip. Go ahead. Up my head. Go ahead. It's yeah. about to redo. Come Look, on. Yeah. Uh. Look. Yeah. Big blow is big Cubans in the intersection. New pick what I'm flexing. South side representing. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look. They say, look. They say respect. Come with credibility and virtues. These motherfuckers come around the block and they'll murk you. Shit, I stay in all blue, baby. Ride around the hood in that brand new Mercedes, bitch, pay me. Man, ain't shit for free. We ain't sweet around here. We just got off level three. Got the G's right here. I got temps with me. I got visual with me. I got a crown with me. I got that AR. And I'm squeezing out the black car. Shit, I'm the G riding homie. Wanna see him fall. See, I let my nuts hang. I do my thing for that new pig gang. Let that shit bang, little homie. Let it bang. Man, uh -huh. I was catching my rhythm. Hey, you kept that whole, you kept that whole beat though. Yeah. I, I thought yeah. I was like fucking up. And then the beat keeps switching. Let's see if Critical got one yeah. for us right here. I'm gonna start this one. Look, look, look. Bang, bang. Back in the West Side, homies used to slang Kang. And nowadays we rapping about that shit like it's the same thing. Slang thing. Motherfuckers know that I come through in that low, low. Banging out, lean to the side like I'm a cholo, but I'm a gangster. Straight for the West Side, they know the difference. Motherfucker know that I don't think don't, 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 don't. for instance, I'm lifted off this cushion. And I smoke till I die all the day. Still skipping that power and I stay high. Cause yeah. I'm original. They call me criminal. The one that took that label to platinum. Yeah, they already know. That's the way that I do it. Go placing that back to back. Cash used to say, here's a hundred thousand. You could keep that in an impala drop top. Deliver to my front door. Smoking up on this cushion. Now it's crime friendly because I want more. Set the scores. I ball hard. Fools know I'm a ball hog. Motherfuckers know I'm Kobe from the Lakers. West side dark hard. Uh. There we go. I don't really freestyle. I yeah. Still, I still kill half yeah. these fools. Yeah, <laughs> look, look. This reputation ain't no credit cards getting swiped, bitch. We come through and we be doing this shit. Uh, 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 shit. Oh shit, I got caught up. All right, one last one. Let's ah, go. One I'm last fucking one. up right now. I'm fucking up. Good. My shit. Let's go. Let's go. Catch it, fool. We're back. Uh, shit. Yeah. See, I've been swerving through the traffic, looking cautiously. I know the cops and the enemies is after me. See, I pray to God every day as I rise and shine. Told these motherfuckers, boy, go get on your grind. See, you've been begging. See, you've been asking too much. I'm on the portion. I jumped off that bitch just once. Never made it back to the path. Hit that level three yard and I went all bad, dog. See, I was in the hole. Shit, my dad died. Shit, my uh, everything passed by. It was just a glimpse in my eye. I see my whole life pass right before my eyes. But now I ride through the city, pouring the mirror shining. I got my little girl in the back and she, uh, yeah. Everything's real good. I thank God for everything that I made it out the hood. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we made it out Rest the hood. Rest in peace, Stomps. Rest in peace, Stomps, man. Yeah, I love you, fool. No pick, all sick, fool. Yeah. I love it, dog. That was a fucking fun little moment, dog. That yeah. was that's what we gotta do. I you know, I think a long we're gonna start time. doing that once a week, fool. Jesus. When I was on the uh, bus with King practice. Little G, I fool was literally kidnapping me at the gas station. Like, hey, fool, stay in the the sprinter with me. Smoke this blunt. Let's freestyle. That's what he wants next... to do all the time. Now, all the time, we be busting <laughs> for like shit. Homie. That shit was <laughs> fun. We were doing that at the strip club last week. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Well, shit. Much respect. Ah, my nah. mouth got really dry. Hold up. Much respect to everybody out there. We appreciate all the subscribers, all the haters, all the people that have been tapping in. Much love to everybody that's uh, out there still supporting what we've been doing for all these years. Shout out to Bozo for pulling up. Shout out to Tense, Street Visuals, Baby Girl, um, you know, the whole the whole crew, Critical. And this is how we do it, man. Uh, I want to say a prayer before we get up out of here. And uh, that'll be it. We'll give our final words. Father God, I come to you today humbly to thank you for another blessing, another day. 
sitting here with my brother Bozo to be able to hear his testimony and inspiration to from from struggle to victory from victory to being able to be an inspiration to the community and his people and his people that he follow uh, that follows him and that he's able to take care of and give opportunities to we thank you for every single person that supports out there we thank you for all the uh, people that are continuing to support this lifestyle this movement this culture that everything that we're pushing for for our gente we just hoping every single person has a blessed weekend bless all our subscribers our members every single person that's tapping in and all, the, all their families keep everybody in good health and safe this weekend amen amen that's how we do it you know what i bought a, a notebook this week bozo yes sir and it, it's a it's a notebook where you can write your notes mm -hmm. and it has like quotes from mm -hmm. the bible on each one well, i'm sweating it's so hot in here what happened to the air quick so look it says right here look this one, I'm going to end it with this this week. I put my notes right next to it, and it has, like, notes on the top. So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Yes, sir. That's where we're going to leave it at, homie. Hunger Games 4 out now. That's how we do it. God got me on the way. Mr. Criminal, check out Temper's, Temper's new album uh, and video coming next week called I Put My Name On It, Free YC Tokes. And that's how we're going to do it. Shout out to Baby Girl, Street Visuals, Critical, the whole crew, Crime Family Entertainment. Shout out to all the members in the section. Let's get up out of here, Wes. <laughs>